Ah, Padawan. I heard your shuttle arriving. I am Master Sio Bakarn of the Jedi Council. Welcome to Tython. This is the ancestral home of our order, where the Jedi first came to be, and where our most promising Padawans complete their training. The chance to see where the first Jedi walked, train where they trained, it's quite an honor. So eager. You and your new master should get along nicely. Your instructors tell me that even in childhood you had a remarkable connection to the Force. We haven't seen such power in decades. I was hoping your new master would be here. Yuan left her dig site and is returning to Tython specifically to train you. Is Master Yuan an archaeologist? In a way. As you become her Padawan, never forget your initial training, nor the Jedi Code. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. This is... Yuan, I was beginning to worry. So you've arrived safely, my Padawan. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we already have a crisis on our hands. This crisis is the reason you were delayed. Precisely. Tython is a treasure trove of ancient Jedi relics. Recently our researchers uncovered several teaching holograms, but they've not been fully studied. These holograms may be records of the founders of the Jedi Order. They're absolutely irreplaceable. But a large group of flesh raiders has begun rampaging through that region. Those priceless holograms are in danger. Is there a way to protect the holograms? Someone must slip past the Flesh Raiders to recover these holograms' projectors. I intend this to be the first task of your training. No, Yuan. You can't risk a Padawan against Flesh Raiders, even for such important artifacts. A Padawan who was stronger in the Force at four years old than I was at fifteen? Gifted students need greater challenges. So I must recover these holograms and watch for Flesh Raiders. Where should I begin? The holograms are in the Gnarls. Be vigilant. That region has dangers of its own. If you encounter any difficulties, contact me on this holo communicator. When you have the holograms, meet me at the Jedi Temple. We have much to discuss. Activation protocol begins. So, after the long silence, finally someone comes. I am Garen Jard. Millennia ago, I stood as a founder of the Jedi Order. For a hologram, you're surprisingly articulate. We needed worthy vessels for our knowledge. When the Jedi Order began, I saw we must be dedicated to peace, to calming our emotions and ending war across the galaxy. If we fought, it should only be in self-defense. That is the founding principle of civilization. Being civilized also means defending those weaker than yourself. Indeed, but we must do so knowing the mark it will leave upon history and on ourselves. The Jedi may have changed, but galactic peace has always remained one of our goals. Activation protocol complete. Go well. Activation protocol begins. Ah. Another has come to listen. When the Jedi Order was founded, I, Calibrin, said we should devote ourselves to justice. True justice cannot be driven by emotion. We Jedi can set our passions aside and seek the truth without fear or favor. If you can't feel mercy, justice suffers. Sorrow for the victim, or outrage at the crime, can blind us. To see clearly, such feelings must be put aside. It has served us well. We Jedi are renowned for our fairness, our honesty. Now, that reputation is yours to keep. Activation protocol complete. Activation protocol begins. A new Jedi comes to learn. Excellent. Excellent. 
I am Ter Sendon, Keeper of the Histories, a founder and chronicler of the Jedi Order. I saw us becoming guardians of knowledge and secrets. We Jedi would safeguard the wisdom of the galaxy. Gathering such knowledge would be a great adventure. My travels took me across many worlds, more than any other founder. I saw, heard, dreamed. Jedi seek to dispel ignorance, to understand other cultures, and bring that understanding to others. Never forget that, wherever your path leads. Activation protocol complete. Master Yuan, I've encountered a problem. One of the hollow projectors has been stolen. Stolen? But the flesh raiders don't steal, they destroy. I'll look into this. If you have the other holograms, come and meet me at the Jedi Temple. I'm sending you directions now. And please, Padawan, be careful. There isn't. It's out of my hands, Kaizen. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaizen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. It's an honor to meet you. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. I wanted you to meet, before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. One of the holo projectors was taken before I could breach it. I recall, and not just one at random, it seems. That hologram is of the infamous Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. This Rajivari's betrayal paved the way for the Sith. Rajivari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. Why are these Twi'leks here? Religious persecution drove them from their home world. They found sanctuary here, but without the Republic's permission. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the hollow projector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'leks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. Once the villagers understand the situation, I'm sure we can reach an accord. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen. Captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Break out another cask, or three. The festival only comes once a year. Our stores can take it. Just as well. We have an uninvited guest. I see. Festival of Awakening, Jedi. You're not welcome here. I apologize for interrupting. Master Yuan Par asks if you've seen a Jedi holo projector. Huh. If Yuan Par is asking, guess we could try and remember. A holo projector? Yeah, I know what you mean. Nayland found one. Nayland Rollick. Maybe you've heard of him? Sorry, I've only just arrived on this world. Nayland Rollick. Our dueling champion for nine years straight. He once rescued an entire scouting party from Flesh Raiders, single-handed. He planned our defenses, protects us when we go foraging. Without him, we wouldn't even be having the festival. And no, I am not telling you where he is. Nalen earns his peace and quiet. That hologram's data isn't safe. Nalen should be warned. Or do you want to risk something happening to him? Nalen can take care of himself. Against Flesh Raiders, sure. But some of that Jedi tech is weird. Okay, fine. Nalen went into the Flesh Raiders' territory. He's probably still there. He's been gone a while. 
Then I should look for him. Enjoy your festival. I think Nalan's got a camp out there. If you see him, tell him to be back for the feast. You make a lot of noise. I come for a flesh raider, I find a Jedi Padawan. I come to listen, to think among the dead, to fight for my people. Why have you come? The villagers said you'd taken this hollow projector, Nalan, and told me where to find you. I suppose they spun the tale of me being a legendary protector, too. They don't understand. Are the flesh raiders destroyed? No. My people aren't safe until my learning's complete. Tython's relics still have lessons. I listen. I can do things I never imagined possible. I will be the defender my people deserve. Once you become this great defender, what's the next step? We make Tython ours. No Jedi, no Republic. Our world to plow and harvest and defend. We hunt the Flesh Raiders to extinction, and laugh. Rajavari showed me how to punish them. The Flesh Raiders will come, but not leave. A merciful death compared to what my people have suffered. What crimes have I committed that deserve being buried alive? There are hidden wonders, Jedi. And my journey has just begun. Now run, or die. Padawan, I just spoke to Rana Daoven, the daughter of Kalikori Village's matriarch, concerning your visit there. I want you to meditate on what you learned. Such experiences are what shape us as Jedi. Yes, Master. We should check that Rajivari's hologram is safe. The holoprojector was stolen by a Twi'lek, Nalan Raluk. He learned force techniques from Rajivari's hologram. He was obviously unstable. A villager? Very unusual. Then this Nalan is force sensitive. Let's see what he saw. Activation protocol begins. A few words. Shall this be all my legacy? No. My enemies are long dead. It is time. Hear me. I have left true wisdom behind. For those who follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order, all else is fleeting. My word. True wisdom. Padawan, he, he's talking about the Fount of Rajivari. What is this Fount of Rajivari? After Rajivari fell, sources claimed he created a great archive of his knowledge and teachings. The Fount of Rajivari. Generations of Jedi searched for it, finding nothing. The Founts considered a hoax by all reputable scholars, but we just heard proof. It said to follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order. What sanctuary? Kaleth! The ruins at Kaleth. The name means Sanctum. It's the remains of an ancient fortress. Evidence suggests Kaleth was destroyed in a great battle. Old droids still walk those ruins today, but this first blade is a puzzle. If it was once a fortress, it could refer to weapons that were stored in Kaleth. We have found several old weapons in one section of Kaleth. Nothing like a first blade, but a good place to begin. Ah, I planned your training so carefully, but the Force has intervened. Finding the Fount of Rajivari and stopping Nalan must be a greater test. Are you saying the Force is guiding me? Sometimes the Force, not the Master, shapes a Padawan's trials. This seems to be such a time. You should know, Padawan. The Council tends to disapprove of such training, but I'll explain everything to them. For now, focus on exploring Kaleth for this first blade. Call me on your holocommunicator at once if you have any success. Show respect. You stand before greatness. The first blade, I guard. It rests with the ashes of its maker, the Weapon Master. I don't know the title. Who was he? He saw Jedi as warriors, not only philosophers, armed them, 
protected them. The first blade. First Jedi weapon. From this beginning, lightsabers came. Millennia pass. Only hilt of first blade remains. Only disturbed once. Rajavari came. He proved worthy. Permitted to take the hilt. Later, returned it. Why would Master Rajavari take the hilt and then bring it back? Not my concern. To take the hilt, prove worthy. The philosophy of Jedi combat. Show understanding. The Weapon Master left challenges. Here in Kalef. Training droids to test his students. Find them. Prevail. The hilt of the first blade waits. Telemetry is received. All droids report your battle performance. Satisfactory. In that case, I wish to take the hilt of the first blade from here. Take the hilt. Treat with respect. Fight with honor. Master Yuan, I've found the hilt of the first blade. A proto-lightsaber from someone called the Weapon Master. The hilt looks as if there's data engraved on it. Of course. The first blade points the way. Rajivari made the legendary weapon itself our guide. The Force is certainly with you, Padawan. Please bring the hilt back to the temple at once. I will look into a way to access that data. Hello again, Padawan. I'm glad to see you well. Master Seo Bakarn, I was there to greet you when you first arrived. Being greeted by a member of the Council is hard to forget, Master Seo. Interesting. Protocol was never a big focus of Yuan's curriculum. This is Master Jarek Kaden, another of the Jedi Council. Yuan told us about Nalin Raylock, the pilgrim seeking Rajivari's secrets. She also claimed the Force is guiding your training. This isn't unknown, but... Master Yuan mentioned this, but she didn't go into details. Yuan thinks encountering Nalan and finding a few relics proves you're meant to find this fount of Rajavari. It's baseless. First she welcomes that Trandoshan into the temple, now this? She's getting more unorthodox by the day. What do you make of Yuan's claim, Padawan? I trust in Master Yuan's wisdom. The Council has agreed to accept Yuan's opinion. For now. But I am concerned about the dangers this path is leading you through. Finding the Fount of Rajavari before Nalan Ralak does is important. But so is your safety, Padawan. Be mindful. Rajivari's hologram proves the same technique existed. Don't you see? It'll resolve that silly debate once and for all. Overexcite? I'm not quite ready to... Ah, Padawan. Much longer and we'd have come looking for you. I thought you might have crossed paths with Nalan Raloc again. Wherever Nalan is, he's not at Kaleth. You said you found the first blade, or its hilt at least. Is it? May I see it? Ah, the folds in the metal. The power cell chamber. These are lost techniques. Our lightsabers began here, with this. It's incredible to be in the presence of something so old and influential. I deciphered a second clue from Rajivari's hologram. To find the fount of Rajivari, this hilt must be taken to a cave in the Typhonian Mountains. The hologram says the founders meditated in that cave. Debated. They became the Jedi Council. All our codes, our laws and principles can be traced back to those debates. I apologize, Padawan. Kaizen's devotion to the hunt is quite single-minded. I don't mind. I welcome his help. Good luck and be careful. The hologram said nothing of what might be waiting in those caves. 
Goliath nu încet, nac-rac, cu gheltras, și verzi scors, patea runul. Lohasea mari, plic, tunama, morta frapsac, doscă scores, și verzi scors. Sorry, I don't understand what you mean by Jagannath points. Doșa, nu încet, patea, și verzi scors, vizea ademo, ea n-or folina. Bizarre, more hard task, more hard task. Good success. Another first project. How many of these Jagannath points do you have? Kordakiram, Dor Nord Basrukko, Dor Nord Basrukko, the Endekrust, Zantalis, more Davrapsak. It's badly eroded. I can't see anything that might help us. Nafarsisi, Odor Dikja, more Davrapsak. I should examine them. Maybe piling up the oldest bones is somehow significant to the Flesh Raiders. Svetod Trangis, Nakagor Aryak, Radosk Brachagis, Vektosku Zizarsk, Parsku Podrak, Orgrankisk. Thanks for coming so fast, Jedi. That Flesh Raider stench was making us dizzy. There's Flesh Raiders all over these caves. Didn't they see you? Nalan cut a path for us. He hid his scent, then took those things down in a flash. Nalan said to wait for you. You've got something he needs. He has to find this fount of Rajavari to keep defending our village. I'm sorry. You were straight with us. But I have to take whatever first blade you found in Kaleth. Nalan needs it. I can't give you what I found. But as an apology, let me make a donation to Kalakori Village's funds. That's right. You took that holo projector back, didn't you? That could have bought us a lot of medicine. Here. This should compensate you. nalan has been saying a lot of things about the Jedi. But maybe... he didn't have everything straight. We should get these back to the village. That blade will have to wait. Thanks, Jedi. I guess you're all right. Here in this cave, we Founders discussed our vision for the Jedi Order, and I, Rajavari, listened. I listened as they carefully crippled our newborn Order, as they argued for mediocrity. It shall not stand. I have laid my plans. With my army made from Tython's true dark sons, I will purge this council of fools while they chatter. Wait. What does he mean by Tython's true dark sons? Only my apprentices and I will survive. From Kaleth, we will mold the Jedi into what we deserve to be. If the hilt of the first blade has been returned, we succeeded. And the future follows the path we left. Follow, Seeker. Follow the path to the Fount of Rajavari. It is time. Ringhoods look sharp. Rakva Grenok. Look at Joss. I can make out some of it, but the rest is gibberish. Yanor Foyna. Is a demo. Ragorant. Rakil Hood Lexis Nas. Scotcharad Mask Osla. Svetod Trangis. Unta Polua. Your scow pocket. Yanak Slisik Jack Jash. Luktar Krivo Kirben Nas Torakrates Master Yuan, I believe I have the coordinates for the Fount of Rajavari. Kaizen mentioned as much. Padawan, I just received a very disturbing message. For you, from Nail and Ralok. Survival. Mine, my villages, and yours, Jedi. Interesting to think about. You fooled my people. It doesn't matter. There's other routes to the Fount of Rajavari. Interfere, and I'll kill you. Nalan has truly fallen then, and he wants you dead. 
You must be vigilant. He may have found another route, but we're the ones with the map. Yes, the coordinates. Please, let me see them. I've studied similar depictions, and that coordinate matches ancient mappings of the Eastern Tythos Ridge. Which fits with the first coordinate perfectly. Well done. But that leaves this coordinate. We can't triangulate the fount of Rajivari without it. Perhaps it's a rock formation. With two of us, the search would take half as long. Harder one, look. In the map's code, there's something else hidden here. A warning? The Fount of Rajivari has mechanisms for intruders. Only those who know Rajivari's path will walk through unscathed to gain his wisdom. Mechanisms for intruders can only mean one thing. But according to this, knowledge of Rajivari's philosophy will protect you. Fascinating. We know Kaleth was Rajivari's stronghold, and excavators have uncovered ancient computer terminals in Upper Kaleth. Those terminals might hold answers, if they weren't all locked with passwords. The hilt of the first blade accessed the coordinates of the Fount of Rajivari. It could unlock these terminals, too. Of course. Those engravings. Some of them resemble security algorithms. Go to Upper Kaleth and investigate those terminals for any clue. I'll wait here for Kaizen. We're close, Padawan, I know it. Master Rajvari's gone. The Council survived. We failed. They'll come for us. They'll have to lay siege if they want to take us prisoner. We can't give in. Master Rajvari's fifth principle says, showing mercy to an enemy creates a spiral of destruction. We'll take plenty of Jedi with us. Another Jedi today. My seventh. Master Rajavari formed an army from the allies he found past the mountains. We could sure use them now. But they vanished. Just left their servants. Those cannibals in their stupid camps. Master Rajavari's second principle says all life is a battle. Even to your last breath. But our allies didn't leave us a choice. Ah, uh, the bleeding won't stop. Blast it! Why did I watch Vadria's back? Master Rajwari's seventh principle said it. Sacrificing your strength is the path of a fool. I should have just let her die. It doesn't matter. This siege is nearly over. This can only end one way. Master Yuan? I have the clues we need. Oh, part of one. Back already? What clues did you find? I think I recovered enough of Rajavari's philosophy to help me. So the Jedi besieged Kaleth after Rajavari tried to kill the Council, and his apprentices held the line all by themselves. Remarkable. Rajavari's apprentices knew there was no hope, but they defended their beliefs to the last. Yes, with a different master they could have been great Jedi. Hopefully the principles you've recovered will help you pass into the Fount of Rajivari safely. And once Kaizen brings us the last coordinate... Wait, where is Kaizen? It's been... How long was I working? I could go and find Kaizen, just to make sure he's alright. He mentioned the waterfall caves, didn't he? If Kaizen has the last coordinate, you can triangulate the fount of Rajivari. There's no time to waste, Padawan. Go, and may the Force be with you both. <laughs> Did Nalan hurt you? I can try to treat your injuries. Rock your hood, let's 
You're still a person, Kaizen. Whether you have a score or not. Kaizen, Master Yuan has been at the Jedi Temple for hours. Nalan must have used some force trick to make you think he was Yuan. He can find it. Whether he can enter safely without the clues I've gathered is another matter. No further, Seeker. You come here unpurified. It is an insult to Rajivari's memory. Rajivari's apprentices were flawed. But they walked the fire and were reborn. Only a personal sacrifice will show your strength and resolve, Seeker. Will you be purified by flame? No. How can sacrificing my strength make me more powerful? Then Master Rajivari's teachings have guided you. Go forward, Seeker. After all, I, ho I hoped your head would be Nayland's trophy by now. I came here to prove myself to Nayland, but the traps... It doesn't matter. You're the enemy. If I can still hold a blade, I can stick you in the heart. That makes you my enemy. Sparing you will only lead to greater destruction. Ah, a disciple of Rajavari after all. Go now. You've earned the right. This Adi Mohardas, Makardas, Guk Sasek, Outer Affairs Project. I will not die without a fight. <laughs> Of course, here is the other. Seekers of forbidden knowledge always have their pursuers. If you came for Nalan Relic, he has been and gone. So much is fleeting. But I remain. And I remain the man I was. Rajavari. What precisely are you? Your pet is brighter than he looks. When my body failed me, I refused to become one with the Force. How could I? The Jedi were still imperfect. Here, in my laboratory, I had refined certain devices. I could give one chosen apprentice decades of experience in a day. An apprentice to become worthy to carry my vision. Your wisdom and knowledge were preserved through you and these devices you created. I have waited for new acolytes. I believed Nalin Ralok was a suitable candidate. A disappointment. Nalin walked through the traps instead of solving them. He suffered greatly. Now, Nalin is changed. Can anything be done for Nalan? Possible, but doubtful. I miscalculated. Nalan's mind wasn't equal to the wisdom he demanded. I have made not a successor, but a monster. Nalan will not remake the Jedi. He wishes to destroy them and everything else on this world. 
beginning with the Great Forge, where lightsabers are made. Without the Forge, the Jedi lose their martial power. You must stop Nalen before he destroys it. I thought you intended to destroy the Jedi. You attacked the Council. I sought to cleanse them, to begin anew. Nalen wants only ashes. That weapon won't suffice against Nalen. But you carry the hilt of the first blade, an old friend. Simple procedure would convert it to a working lightsaber hilt, and perhaps a crystal from the forge caves to power it, given its age. Tell me where I need to go. Pass through the caves and seek the forge at the mountain summit. Stop Nayland. This abomination my knowledge has created. I understand what's at stake, and what you've made. I'll find him. Stop Nalen before he destroys the Jedi Order. Someday, I will see it saved. This will require a lot of concentration. If you could look out for me. Fitting that it's you, armed with the last lightsaber this forge will ever make. Look at her! Another Jedi to nod and preach and do nothing while the Flesh Raiders ravage our home! I know Rajavari's secrets, horrors that the Jedi, this Jedi, have been chasing, and only I can protect us, our families, and our future. Nalin, your power is destroying you. But it isn't too late to save yourself. Nalin, she's done all right by us. You keep saying the Jedi are the enemy, but she's not. I did this for all of you. If you can't see the danger, I'll show you myself. Listen to your people. This is not what they want. It'll make sense when you're dead. <laughs> Let's have this done. I'd forgotten the smell of my own blood. I, I yield. You beat Nalen Rollick? Please, you're not going to kill him. I won't kill him. He can go to the Jedi Temple until his fate is decided. But we still lose him. The village needs Nalen's help. How are we going to keep it together? If you need me, I'll do whatever I can. Thank you. We'll remember. We can carry Nail into the temple, Master Jedi. He still belongs to us. I 
I'm afraid I don't understand. Herald of the Scorekeeper, what is that? If you truly believe I am this herald, I'll do my best to live up to the name. We've been waiting for you, Padawan. You've already met Master Jarek. This is Master Satil Shan. I've been treating Nalan Ralak. The pilgrims who carried him here told us of your battle. Remarkable. I would have brought a peaceful solution if I could, Master. Peace is the ideal, Padawan. But there is no shame in defending yourself. Seems we have much to learn about the villagers. Perhaps we should rethink our position. Enough, enough. Padawan, the Fount of Rajivari, you actually set foot there? Please, tell me everything. Master Rajivari himself spoke to me. What was left of him? You saw a false apparition? Of Rajivari? This is extraordinary. Seems you may have been right, Yuan. I... apologize. To you... And your Padawan. No longer a Padawan. She carries a lightsaber. She has proven herself. I have only one last question before her training is complete. At the moment, Nalan Ralak is resting in a Kolto tank. When he's well, what should become of him? Nalan fought and suffered for his village. If you judge it safe, let him go home. Compassion. No Jedi should be without it. We judge you ready to accept your place as a Jedi. You on, if you would. Before this council, I take from you the title of Padawan. I name you a full Jedi of our order. Honor the past, work for the future. May the Force be always with you. You've done so well, my student. I'm... Master Yuan? Come away. Yuan, can you hear me? Yuan is resting comfortably for now. It seems she's suffering some kind of illness. I can't lie to you. Her condition is grave. Is Master Yuan going to be all right? No, curious. You knew Yuan was ill and didn't inform us? What happens now? We're sending Yuan to Coruscant. Our researchers there have been recovering artifacts from the First Jedi Temple. They may have something to cure Yuan. Take a shuttle and join Yuan on Coruscant. She will need your help. I will do everything I can to make her well. Meantime, assure Yuan we will be studying your discoveries about Rajavari. Some of the claims his apprentices recorded bear investigation. When you reach Coruscant, go to our embassy in the Senate Tower and find a researcher called Atros Finn. He'll be expecting you. Good luck. To you both, and may the Force be with you. Good 
I like the city. It's a refreshing change from Tython. I failed. I failed. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. Once there were two little boys. Their names were Parkhanus and... and something. Why can't I remember? It's going to be all right. I'm sure you'll remember eventually. Just relax. But I have to remember. Padawan. I'm not mad. The man in the shadows is making me this way. He brings the darkness. It's coming. The man in the shadows? I don't understand. Parkanis! Parkanis, where are you? Yuan! Farron, please see Yuan back to her room. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm Atris Finn, the researcher here. We must get to work finding a cure. She keeps talking about someone called Parkanis. Who is that? You don't know either? Never mind. A cure is what Yuan really needs. The problem is that the greatest collection of learning in the galaxy, the Jedi Temple here on Coruscant, has lain in ruins since the war. I believe the answer to curing Yuan is in the archives of the Temple Ruins, but accessing them won't be easy. If it will help Yuan, I'll get us the information. The Temple's artificers created a system to sort through the vast stores of knowledge, a set of three holocrons that served as guides. The wisdom and personalities of the Order's greatest masters were imprinted on these guides, which they called Noeticons. These Noeticons formed a sort of virtual Jedi Council? That's exactly it. And I need your help to recover them. The temple ruins were looted. The Noeticons were taken. I have a lead on one of them, but it's not in friendly hands. <laughs> Republic Security spotted some Gan scavengers carrying a Noeticon in the Migrant Merchants Guild. The Republic brought one of the Gand in for questioning, but he won't talk. I haven't encountered any Gand before. They're a fascinating species. Quiet, humble, very loyal to one another. The Republic officer you want is Alec Efren. He's at the security outpost with the Gand right now. And I'm working on a lead for the second Noeticon. I should have something by the time you get back. Good luck. Jedi, welcome. Welcome to the, um, Old Galactic Market, uh, sir. I'm sorry, I just... I never met a real Jedi up close. I'm a person just like you. Um, right. Yes. Well, anyway. This is the, uh, Gand we brought in. He was talking about that Jedi holocron you're all looking for. But he's not exactly, uh, talkative. You refer to yourself as Gand. How interesting. This is your chance to distinguish yourself. Help me save a dying woman by telling me where the special holocron is. I promise no harm will come to the Gand. Who is this Lars Badig? Is there some sort of schedule that determines who holds it?
So I must light the signal, then go to the warehouse. I'll bet the signals have something to do with the Gand hierarchy. Throw up the right one and, and you'll get their leader. I hope this is right. structure requires that it be removed for... With all respect, Master Arca, you are incorrect. The structure only appears fractal. If you view it through the lens of the Force, you... I don't suppose either of you is going to move past your petty geometrical squabble long enough to notice we have a visitor. Sorry to disturb such illustrious masters, but I am in need of information. No need to apologize, Jedi. They have a tendency to get carried away. The last person to use the Noeticon got so tired of hearing these two yammer, he shut us down. It was a mercy. Wait, Master Thoris. Where is the Jedi Temple? We seem to have been moved. Awareness? Personality? I've seen similar holograms, but nothing as sophisticated as this Noeticon. It is more like a virtual intelligence than a holographic recording. Master Thoris developed it. You are too generous, Master Vandar. It was Master Arka who implemented my sketches. Masters, I've come seeking help for my own master, Yuan Pa. She's suffering a mysterious illness. How terrible. Come, tell us her symptoms. Perhaps we can help. So, she claims the darkness is coming and talks of someone called Arcanus. And her mind is most affected. Hmm. I'm afraid we've plied our extensive knowledge of biological, chemical, and technological diseases, but this illness is beyond us. What would you have me do? Sometimes knowledge comes through ruling out false ideas. For once, Master Vandar and I agree. Yuan's illness is definitely not medical, but we have accessed files that bear cross-checking. If you can find the Noeticon of Light, where Masters Noad, Nomi, and Woe guard the Jedi Order's mystical knowledge, they may be able to help. You have my gratitude. I'm sorry we couldn't have been of more help, but it's difficult without the other parts of the Noeticon. Find the Noeticon of Light, and seek your answer there. May the Force be with you. And remember, if you seek answers, you must always ask questions. Good, you're back. Did you find it? The first Noeticon? I talked to the Noeticon's masters. They had advice, but no definitive cure. You actually spoke to them? Amazing. At least we're on the right track. I have a solid lead on the second Noeticon. Unfortunately, it's in Black Sun territory. They're a local gang. Pretty vicious. What would street thugs do with a Jedi artifact? I'm not sure. This whole situation is odd. You have my gratitude. Please, Doc. You gotta help me. I don't wanna die. I'm trying to help you. You need to calm down. Wait, what's a Jedi doing here? What's going on here? I'm trying to save his life. Those Black Sun thugs. They call me in to clean up a botched operation, and I find this. They're smuggling contraband off-world. Old Jedi junk, data disks, inside people's bodies. That's absolutely terrible. A Justicai. Those vigilantes from the Lower City. One of them paid big to get this stuff off-world. 
quiet like. Especially some Noeticon. The Justicar's name. He was. Uh, Lars something. La Lars Badek. Lars Badek gave the Gand another Noeticon to keep safe. He must be behind all this. The smugglers. I can't get the paperwork to go off world. They're still here. Still hurting. Those smugglers are dying, Jedi. I need that contraband out of them, but I have my hands full here. Just tell me what I need to do. The object I found in this man had a magnetic ID tag, which means that the Black Sun must have scanners to identify their smugglers. You should find one in the other room and grab some medical supplies. Maybe we can keep these men alive. Please, I surrender. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I need to get this item out of you before it kills you. Hey! How did you know? <gasps> oh, yeah. That feels better. The thing was hurting worse than an infected thorn bite. <laughs> Thanks. I owe you one, Jedi. The wise woman always seeks knowledge, for she knows that she knows nothing. Welcome, Jedi. It is wonderful to see a face so young pursuing knowledge of the light. You honor us. I spoke to the Noeticon of Science. What knowledge do you hold? This is the Noeticon of Light. We are the masters who devoted their lives to mystical and historical studies. If you seek learning, we will aid you as best as we can. I seek a cure for my master. Tell us what you know of this affliction, and we will scour our combined knowledge for an answer. This is most unusual. And very troubling. We've searched our considerable knowledge, and compared data from the Noeticon of Science. This illness you've described, it's more like a kind of mind control. How could anyone control the mind of such a powerful Jedi? Well, you could ask... No, Nomi, you can't be serious. What is the matter, Master Wally? I think Nomi de Boda knows best of all of us. I don't dispute her wisdom. But the Noeticon of Secrets is the gateway to dark things. If the mind is not properly prepared to face them... I will use caution, Master Wall. I suppose we don't really have any other options, do we? Fear and worry are unbecoming a Jedi. The Noeticon of Secrets is not dark, though some of its secrets are. Go. Bring what we have discovered to the Noeticon of Secrets. Its masters will guide you. Ah, uh, there you are. The Noeticons. How is the search going? Two of the Noeticons gave me advice. When I find the third, we might have a cure. I'm glad to hear it. But right now, I need you back at the Embassy. Yuan has taken a turn for the worse. She attacked my assistant, Farron. I've managed to keep her restrained, but I'm worried what will happen if she doesn't calm down. Can't imagine you on raising a hand to anybody. I know, but she just lashed out at Farron. Please, we need you back here. You want calm down, please. There's no man in the shadows here. Please, you want calm down. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Ah, uh, yes, Atros, but the darkness is coming. Maybe I want to hurt you. Yes, I think I'd like to break all your bones. I'd enjoy hearing them go pop, pop, pop. What are you doing? It's nothing. I'm just playing with little Atros here. What's a few broken bones between friends? Want to play? Please, Yuan. It's me. Your Padawan. My Padawan? I don't have a Padawan. I sent her to fight the Flesh Raiders, and before the day was done, they dined. Kaizen, your friend. He was there on Tython too. He hunted those Flesh Raiders. <laughs> 
Aizen? Oh, no, no. They devoured him, too. Let me show you how. That must have been awful. To fight your own master. I don't know what came over her. One minute she was placid, and then... It's more imperative than ever that we find the Noeticons. Do you have any leads on the third? Both the Gand and a Black Sun member mentioned Lars Badig, a Justicar. I think he's connected. The Justicars are self-appointed lawmen that police the lower city. Republic security was stretched thin after the attack, so the Justicars took over. Lars Badig is one of their leaders, near the top of the Republic's wanted list. Like it or not, I have reason to believe the last Noeticon is in Justicar territory. Lars Badig is known to hole up in the Central Tower area. Do be careful. I'll take care of you on while you're gone. You've got guts, Jedi. Walking into my base, stealing two of my Noeticons. There are three Noeticons, Badig. I know you have the last one. You've messed everything up. They said I could rule the Justicar territory if I got them the Noeticons. Just one left, and it's theirs. Who are you talking about? Doesn't matter. This is my only chance. I already lost two Noeticons. I'm a dead man anyway. Here, take it. This whole thing was a mistake from the start. Oh, thank goodness, a visitor. It gets so lonely in here sometimes. I would offer you a drink, but I ran out millennia ago, by my record. But we could play a game instead. What is this place? Now that is a good question, but a difficult one. I'm guessing you activated what looked like some sort of ancient device. A hologram, maybe? And something went wrong. You zigged where you should have zagged, and you ended up here. I was trying to access the Noeticon of Secrets. Hmm. Nope. Can't say that name means a thing to me. But whatever it is, you won't be able to access it in here. And there's only one way out. Well, I suppose I could let you go. But you'd have to play a game with me first. A game of questions. Answer right, you're free. Answer wrong, and your strength becomes a permanent part of this place. Those terms don't sound very fair, but I'll do my best. Excellent. Such an accommodating guest. Okay, the first question. How do you catch an answer? You lure it out with a question. Too obvious, I suppose. It's no fun when you get the answer right. Next question. What does the wise person know? The wise person does not know, but seeks knowledge always. Another right answer. You are so dull. Last question. Soon this place will be overrun with enemies. What will you do? What are the enemies? What are their weaknesses? Where will they attack from? No, I don't know the answers to these questions. Like I promised, sir. The Jedi won't be a problem anymore. Now your master won't mind about those other Noeticons, right? He might not. Only it seems your plan was a failure. What? You're alive? How could anyone have survived? You think you're pretty clever, but the Noeticons aren't enough to stop me or my master. Are you the one who's making Yuan ill? Yuan? Is that her name? Her weak mind already bows to my master, just as you all will. Maddox, what are you waiting for? Earn my master's forgiveness. Kill this wretch. Be careful where you walk, Jedi. The path of the dark side intersects with that of the light at many crossroads. This is the Noeticon of Secrets. We are the masters who have seen the darkness and turned back to the light. 
The other two Noeticons told me you might know something about a Jedi plague. If the Noeticon of Science and the Noeticon of Light had no answers, what makes you think we can help? We are neither doctors nor healers. Patience, Bastila. What she means, Jedi, is that for you to consult us, this illness must be remarkable indeed. Yes, I'm sorry. Tell us what you know about this illness and we will see what we can find. Yuan keeps repeating the words, the darkness is coming. Of course. Start from the beginning and describe everything you've seen. You are right to consult us. It was only those things eliminated by the other Noeticons that put us on track. It's an illness the Jedi had seen before. One created by an ancient Sith named Tarek Morhage. He used it to turn Jedi to the dark side by the hundreds and leash their strength from them. In this way, he waged war on the Jedi. But Yuan's the only one who's fallen ill. According to the records, Morhage's plague spread gradually as well. A Jedi healer whose sacrifice, unlike his name, has not been forgotten, developed a shielding technique to release Morhage's hold on his victims. One by one, the healer cut Morhage off from his army, the source of his strength. Each time he used the technique, however, it cost him some of his own strength. By the time the battle was won, the healer was weakened beyond the point of recovery. He sacrificed his life to save the Jedi Order. Is it possible for someone to learn this technique? The ritual is recorded in an ancient terminal in the Jedi Temple. Learning it will require the combined knowledge of all the Noeticons. If you are thinking of learning the technique, Jedi, I would caution you. Powers such as these weigh heavily on those who wield them. But it seems your master doesn't have time for caution. For your master to survive, you must go to the Jedi Temple and learn the ritual as soon as possible. I will go there as soon as possible. Then we will do our best to help you learn the technique. Take all three Noeticons to the terminal in the temple and activate them. We will teach you what you must know. Later, others may learn the technique as well. But for now, time is of the essence. I need to talk to you. I have... bad news. Yuan's illness has begun to affect her body. She's losing strength, fading fast. Are you any closer to finding the last Noeticon? I've found it, and the Masters have told me how to find a cure. It's in the ruins of the Jedi Temple. A cure? At last! Just be warned. The ruins of the Temple are crawling with danger. And getting there means passing through the works. They're not safe either. Be careful, but hurry. I don't know how long Yuan will last. This is it. The database where the ritual that can shield your master from the plague is kept. A stellar work. One part computer, one part holocron. Truly ingenious. It is most impressive. Masters, you know why we've gathered. The Jedi Order is imperiled by an ancient plague, one that warps the minds of even the wisest of masters and turns them to the dark side. This young Jedi has stepped forward in search of a way to help her ailing master and save the Jedi Order, but she cannot do it without our help. Millennia ago, a powerful ritual was developed to shield the Jedi from the power of this ancient plague. The ritual cut off the Plague Master from his victims, but it exacted a great price from the healer who wielded it. It is once again necessary for someone to use the ritual. The ritual is a difficult one to learn, Jedi, and will take many hours of deep meditation and study. Are you ready to learn it? I am ready, Master. Then open your mind, and we will teach you. You seem to have mastered everything we have to show you, Jedi. Such a bright, inquisitive mind. It has been an honor to teach you. But remember, 
The shielding ritual will draw on your strength, and you can only regain what you've spent when the Plague Master's bond with his victims is broken. I appreciate the warning. You now have the knowledge you need to save your master. Use it wisely and well, and may the Force be with you. Reckless, foolish Jedi. So eager to find a cure for your master. You led us right to the prize. My master and I are most grateful. Who is your master? What does he want? If my master wanted you to know his name, he'd give it to you himself. Ah! There. No more terminal, no more ritual. No miracle healing this time. Except for mine, you mean. My healing. What good will that do you? A technique kills those who wield it. How many could you have shielded before it killed you? One? Two? Even if it was a hundred, ultimately you would collapse. If my destiny is to become one with the Force, then so be it. Well, in that case, let me hurry you to your fate. Finally, there you are. I've been kept apprised of your situation. The Council is very concerned about Yuan's health. We've been trying to contact you for hours. Did you find anything in the Jedi Temple? The only real cure is to stop the person who's behind the illness. But I can shield her, temporarily. Then do what you can for now. Our first priority is Yuan's life. Hurry back. Yuan is fading fast. Any delay could be costly. Oh, you're here! Quickly! We're barely detecting a pulse on Yuan. If there was any time to test what you learned in the temple, it's now. The Master's taught me well. Yuan's life is in your hands now. No. No, I was making you a Jedi. What happened? I feel so much better. But why do you look so weak? What did you do? Don't worry about me, Yuan. I'm just glad you're okay. Thank you, and I'm sorry. The last thing I remember clearly is your ceremony on Typhon. Oh, my student, I am sorry I wasn't a better master. What matters is that whoever was hurting you can't do so any longer. I could feel someone else in my mind, polluting my thoughts, twisting them. You won't be fully cured until he is defeated. I really wish I could give you more details, but my memory of that time is hazy at best. Pardon me. The Council wishes to speak with you when you're ready. I will speak with them immediately. Thank you again for helping you on, and teaching me a few things as well. I'll be alright for now. Go to the Council. We can speak later. Ah, you're here. Thank you for contacting us so quickly. We're sorry to have to pull you away from you on. We wouldn't have called you here if it wasn't urgent. First, tell us what you've learned about Ewan's illness. I've shielded you on from its effects, but the only cure is to stop the person who's controlling it. Here's what we know. Interesting. And worrying. We've started to receive disturbing communications from other masters. We fear Ewan's illness is not an isolated case. Are you sure it's the same illness? We admit the connections seem tenuous, but the masters each repeat the same phrase. The darkness is coming. We know little more than you, but we must find the Sith behind it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have no leads. We can only hope that tracking down and shielding the victims will help lead us to this Sith. Yuan seemed to remember someone controlling her mind, but she couldn't give any details. 
A small number of victims suggest that this Sith needs some sort of contact with his victims to control them. I hesitate to ask any more sacrifice of you. You've already done so much. But with the terminal in the temple destroyed, you are the only one capable of shielding the afflicted masters and stopping this Sith, whoever he is. I will do whatever I can. You'll need to be able to move freely around the galaxy. To that end, we've prepared a ship for you in the spaceport. Where am I going? The missing masters were last heard from on Terrace and Nar Shadda. Find them, and break the Plague Master's hold on them. Say your goodbyes to Yuan, but time is of the essence. Good luck. Ah, it's good to see you through my own eyes once more. What did the Council have to say? Other masters have fallen ill. The Council has asked me to save them. I see. But there is still someone we must find. The person behind this. Whoever was in my mind. Stop him, so that I don't have to be shielded anymore. So your strength can be restored. <laughs> Remember, let your instincts guide you. Keep to the Jedi Code, and may the Force be with you. My new master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. I see you're programmed for protocol. Diplomacy is merely my subfunction. As a Jedi, you bear considerable responsibility. I will relieve you of lesser burdens. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class light corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for the tour, C2. My pleasure, Master. I do have a few final notes. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I am quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, Consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. I've seen your prowess as a hunter, Kaizen. I'm glad to have you at my side. These points and your score are everything to you, correct?
good to hear from you. The Council has sensed your arrival on Terrace. An intriguing world. This planet wasn't part of my studies at the Temple. Centuries ago, Terrace was like Coruscant, a vibrant city world. Then, a powerful Sith Lord destroyed the cities of Terrace in a single day. They became dark, polluted swamplands. But the Republic has been restoring them with the help of Master Sin Tykan. Master Tykan is an expert in this wilderness. We had received regular reports from him, but he has fallen silent. You think Master Tykan suffers from the same illness as Master Yuan Par? We fear so, yes. Master Tykan was working closely with his Padawan, Eris Verano, and also a captain in the Republic Expeditionary Forces, Captain Nellix. Eris and Captain Nellix are at the Republic base. They should be able to help find Master Tykan. We will see what can be done for Master Tykan. If Master Tykan is ill, shield him if possible, and try to learn more about this Plague Master. We will be waiting on your word. Good luck. This is crazy. We'd have noticed any unusual activity from Master Tykan, but the Council says we... Ah, here she is. I'm Captain Nellix, Republic Expeditionary Forces. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's mine. My men will be glad there's another Jedi around. Master Tykan's been a big help. This has to be a mix-up. My master is a renowned Kalish scout, a truly gifted pathfinder. I, uh, uh Padawan Eris Verano, at your service. I have to see your master, Eris. If he's ill, only the Force can heal him. But that's what we don't understand. Master Tykan isn't ill at all. She's right. When the Council called, Master Tykan had just left with the research expedition. If he's gone rogue, it's news to us. Where's that expedition now? Those pollution readings take ages to compile. They're not due back for days. Regardless, I I'm sure Master Tykan will want to meet you. I'll try and reach him. Captain! Captain Nellix! We need backup! They're gone, sir! They're all gone! Captain! Can you read me? What the...? That's the expedition guardsman, Sergeant Valoy. Where's Tykan? There must have been an accident. Those ruins are always shifting. Their transmission got out. The team might still be okay. I'll get a rescue team scrambled. No, damn. I'll never get them out there in time. Give me their location. Whatever happened, the Force will protect me. Then let's hope it can protect my men, too. Meantime, I'll put a team together. Here, take a copy of the expedition's map to guide you. Watch yourself. There's more than pollution in those swamps. Master Tykan's out in them, too. I hope the Force is watching you both. For Terrace's sake. Can you explain what happened? Where's the best place to begin? Is there anything more I can help you with? Oh, thank the stars. Give me a hand. I can't lift it off them. The others are all... We're the only ones left. Help! The heat! I'm burning! Help! Help me! Trust in the Force. I won't let any harm come to you. Please, get Laria out! And the Jedi holocrons tall. Their medical data could save millions. We have to preserve them. No artifacts are worth endangering someone's life.
holocrons are gone? You fool! What have you done? You saved my life, Doctor. You'd have let me die. And on top of Tykan trying to kill us. You're saying Master Tykan was responsible for this? We were taking pollution readings in the ruins, but when we found those medical holocrons, we decided to get them back right away. On the way home, Tykan lures us into a trap fall, ignites the pollution in the swamp, and stands there watching us burn. I can't imagine a Jedi Master doing such a thing. I don't understand any of this either. Tykan said he was punishing us for letting Terrace be destroyed centuries ago, and that soon we would be joined by everyone at the Junction. The Junction's an old purification facility the Republic retrofitted to process dangerous gases. Hundreds of people work at the Junction. If Master Tykan is planning something... I won't allow Tykan to hurt anyone else. I promise. We'll start back for the base. We'll be okay. Thank you for saving my life. Just don't underestimate Tykan. That man is dangerous. Jedi. We just got a call from the expedition. They said you helped them out, but the rest sounds crazy. Tykan attacking them? A couple of survivors? From a 12-man team? Tell me that's wrong. Master Tykan lured the expedition into a trap. No! What if he was trying to lead them to safety? They ignored him and wandered off. You have my sympathies, Eris. I watched my own master suffer like this. I want him found. Found and brought to justice. Even if I have to drag him back myself. No, please. None of this is his fault. We can debate this later. For now, my best lead on Master Tykan is the Junction. Damn him! The Junction's a gas trap full of civilian workers. Keep your eyes open. Tykan used the Junction in his restoration effort. There might be a clue to stopping him there. Please, don't hurt Master Tykan. He's the only one who could save Terrace, and... I need him to explain all this to me. Welcome to the Junction, Jedi. Uh, sorry we uh, didn't have time to clean up. I I'm hearing some funny rumors from my guys about Master Tykan. Is that why you're here? Is there a way to get your crew out of this building quickly? Could run a fire drill, I guess. Look, what's going on here? Here you are, hiding in tunnels. Ha! Ah, I see your eyes shining. They stop whispering. I am a Jedi. I am. This changes nothing. Such a dark planet. Rock spires like fingers. Black rock that. Wait. The darkness flows from them. It must. Master Tykan, can you hear me? I've come to heal you of this sickness. Heal? Or hurt? I see the lies in you. I watched once in the dark place. Malachor was dark, then bright. I watch his eyes as we run, as Parcanus falls alone. Whatever you're hearing or seeing, it's not real. You're just ill. Stop it! Stop it! My friend, no! I won't go back there! I'll stop all of you! And your junction hoarding poisons like a leech! Yes! I'll free the gases you've stolen, and the shadows from underground. Your junction will be dust around you. There's no need, Master. The Force can cleanse you of this fear. You'd like me to think that, wouldn't you? What will the Jedi do while the gas builds, hmm? Will it save the workers before they choke and die? But the gas will corrode the junction, too. How many will die without it to cleanse the planet? Thousands? How many do you want to kill? Can you smell that? The maniacs busted the main gas line! Sir, Rakuls! Someone's breaking open the vents! Rakuls are pouring in! No. We, uh, we need to focus on evacuating or, uh, or save the junction. I, I don't know! Don't panic. The junction's workers are relying on us to save them. I'll evacuate our... Wait. Wait, I got a crew doing maintenance behind a blast door. They'll be choking on the gas by now. Please, I can't send anyone else back there. You're their only chance. Get them on their feet and out before the Rat Ghouls reach that section. Good luck. The Force is my ally. I will not fail.
you're back, and in one piece. I hope you didn't breed too much of that stuff. We got the whole crew out thanks to you. Might take months for us to start clearing the pollution again, though. A lot of people are gonna get sick. I wish there had been another way, but Tykin didn't give me a choice. Hey, I'm not blaming you. Tykin's the one responsible for this. Maybe we can help you stop him, here. Before he lost it, Tykin was studying the old terrace infrastructure. These are the records it copied. But the encryption is pretty old. We can't decipher them. Someone around here must be able to decrypt them. The Republic base's computer should have the original codes. They'll get those records open nice and quick. Give those records to Captain Nellix. He'll set you right. What do you think Master Tykin was studying? No idea. But I'd find out fast. We'll take care. You do the same, Jedi. Come in, Jedi. Do you read me? Good to hear from you, Captain. I might have a lead on Master Tykin. Delay that. We've got bigger problems. The base is under attack. Tykin got the jump on us. We need you back here ASAP. We've got... The captain asked for your help, and you're thinking of your score? Captain Nellix, what happened here? Should have known you'd make it past those things. Tunnels. Tykan must have found Rakul tunnels under the base. He set those things on my men and the little Padawan. Eris, Tykan took her. Where would Master Tykan take Eris? Could be anywhere. He knows this planet like the back of his hand. All these people, dead. Forget a trial. I want Tykan's head for this. This isn't Tykan's doing. Not really. He's very sick. Now you're making excuses? Eris was... Wait. The tunnels are still open. You have to seal the tunnel entrances before those things come back. Please, check the base and seal those tunnels, or the wounded are just... food for the rat ghouls. Those people are in good hands. See to your injuries. I'll take care of everything. Thanks. And hurry! Thanks. Now we can treat the wounded without rat ghouls pouring in. But Tykan's long gone. Eris, that poor kid, he dragged her out there with him. We may be able to find them. Can your computers decrypt this data pad? What's this? Infrastructure data? Maybe we can corner Tykan after all. Damn! These records have those Rat Ghoul tunnels all plotted out. Tykan knew exactly how to hit us. And, looks like one of Taurus's super reactors is still operational. It's damaged, leaking toxic waste into the ecosystem. From these readouts, it would only take a little push to send the reactor into total meltdown. And Tykan copied every file on its processes. If the super reactor went into meltdown, what kind of damage could it cause? If the reactor blows, we're looking at a chemical detonation that could take out the Republic's entire occupied area on Terrace. Tykan's access code is all over these records. This isn't some vendetta, Jedi. This is genocide. I won't let you down. Here's the super reactor's coordinates. Please, let me know once you've handled Tykan. My men deserve to be told. And remember, Tykan's still holding his Padawan hostage. Watch your back. Too late, Jedi. You wanted too long, too long! But now the reactor will bathe terrors in fire. No black rock, no shadow. The Republic will not spread it! I can cleanse it here, cauterize the flow! Think, Master Tykan. You're killing the planet you've been trying to save. No, fool, no! Weren't you listening? Lord Vivekar promised to guide me! Who is this Lord Vivekar? Why are you taking orders from him? He is... He commands me. I... I... I can't... It's all right, Master. I'm here to help you, remember? Master Tykan explained everything. I see the beauty in Terrace that the Republic destroyed. His work must continue to save Terrace, and we will be together. Eris, would a sane Master ask you to hurt innocent people? I, I know this isn't pleasant, but it's necessary. Look at him. Your master needs help. The Force has given me the ability to heal him. But he... Master, perhaps she's right. Perhaps we should reconsider. What's this? Such brightness in her, and she dares strike against me? Never. I will not fight you, Master Tykan, but... You're ill. Let us help you. 
This doesn't have to come to violence. Don't force me. They all turn against me. You brought this darkness here. The purification of Taris will begin with you. But strength. We were strong once. The weak perish on Taris. I... No! No, please! The darkness comes to swallow me whole. Stay calm. Let me take on your pain. He's gone. I am myself again. You've saved me. At great cost to yourself. I can feel it. I am truly sorry. The shielding technique is a strain. But it was the only way to save you. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I will go before the Republic and admit my guilt. Purge myself of this shame. I harmed so many and almost destroyed my Padawan. I'm not fit to be a Jedi Master. We gain strength through adversity. Enduring the plague will make you stronger. And you can pass on that strength to others, Master. I must report to Master Seal Bacarn and the Council. There's much to be done. I'm sure Captain Nelex will want to know you're safe. Thank you again. I still can't believe the sacrifice you made for me. I only hope your burden does not become too great. Thank you for sparing Master Tykin. I doubt Captain Nelix would have been so forgiving. The Republic won't understand. When Master Tykin turns himself in, they'll never forgive him for this. The Republic knows the value of mercy. I hope so. He needs compassion right now. I was watching the reactor readouts. We lived to fight another day thanks to you. So, is Tykin dead? Master Tykin has been freed from his illness. He's on his way back to Tython. What? Are you sick in the head, too? How could you let him go after what he did? Don't Republic soldiers swear to defend the innocent? Tykin is a victim, as much as your men were. The difference being, Tykin's still breathing. I got Eris's checkpoint signal. You're careful about keeping your own people alive, I see. Oh, while you were gone, Master C.O. Bakarn contacted me. He's waiting to hear from you. I'll contact him at once. Keep up the good work, Captain. Don't take your eye off Tykin. You let him live, you're responsible for whatever he does next. Good hunting, Jedi. Congratulations for your hard work on Terrace. This must have been difficult for you. Master Tykin has already contacted me. A team is on its way to bring him before the Republic courts. I can't imagine a punishment worse than what Master Tykin's endured already. Neither can I. Still... The Republic must seek justice for the deaths on Terrace. Still, for such a notable Jedi to fall so far, plague or not... Before he was healed, Master Tykin spoke of a Lord Vivacar. Lord Vivacar. I don't recognize the name. We must begin researching this at once. Unfortunately, our Master Anar Shada is still missing. If Lord Vivacar is responsible, you may be our only hope. Landed on Nar Shada. Few on that world will be pleased to see you, I'm afraid. Nar Shada is a den of corruption, excess, and gang violence. It is ruled by a crime syndicate, the Hut Cartel, that takes a cut from every black deed. Nar Shada must have been a lawful place once. At best, it was a refugee camp for the Ivakai, the original natives, until the Huts imposed their heavy industry there. But now, despite its power, the Hut Cartel is clashing with a new group called the Guiding Hand. The Guiding Hand's followers are fanatically loyal to an unknown leader. I believe this leader is Doris Fane, one of the missing Jedi Masters. Is there evidence suggesting Master Fane is involved? Fane is an undisciplined maverick, but he has great charisma. 
Incredible skill at influencing others through the Force. This guiding hand has attacked Cartel's spice shipments, operations Fane despises, in a way that shouts Fane's tactics. It's him. I know it. If he is forcing these people to fight the Huts, he must be stopped. Fane has flirted with darkness for years. The plague may have finally tipped the balance. Even fighting the Guiding Hand, the Cartel is immensely powerful, second only to the Republic and the Empire. So far, the Hut Cartel has tolerated, even aided the Republic. But if it discovers a rogue Jedi is hurting business... We'd lose the Cartel's trade routes, information and credits. We must find Fane before the Hut Cartel discovers his involvement. I have a contact on Nar Shaddaa who can help you, named Theron Sedrex. Theron is a professor of exotechnology. He was once a friend of mine and of Fane's. That's not a science I'm familiar with. Theron specializes in technology thought to originate outside the galaxy itself. Fascinating and quite over my head. Theron has offices on Nar Shaddaa's promenade. He's usually there, if he's not nurturing his genius in a casino. Good luck. And don't underestimate Doris Fane, Jedi. His gifts of persuasion are unsurpassed. Hello, and welcome to the offices of Dr. Theron Sedrax. My name is Holiday, and I'm pleased to assist you. If you have an appointment, please make yourself comfortable while... Oh, oh my goodness. What a darling outfit. I must get Theron to program me one just like it. Perhaps in a warmer shade, though. Are you some sort of projection? Or a droid? No, no. I'm more than that. Much more. I'm a fully sentient holographic life form. Unique in the galaxy. Or so Theron says. You're a Jedi, aren't you? If you're here to see Theron, he's... Well, I've been waiting for him to get back. For hours and hours. Did he tell you where he was going? Theron had a special order to design a weapon, and the customer wanted him to deliver the prototype to the Nikto sector. The aliens there hate humans. The Republic. Hygiene. He should never have agreed to go. Give me directions, and I'll bring him home safely for you, Holiday. I promise. I'll be ever so grateful if you do. The meeting place is in the Nikto Sector Starship Chop Shop. It sounds like a nasty place. Please be careful. Don't be an imbecile. The weapon's obviously my creation. If you use it against the Hut Cartel, I'll be looking for my vertebrae in a trash compactor. Deal's off. Manchi doti puna puna. Kabuk nuni snemo. Let's not let this fall to violence. Chobut e kafs an. I'm begging you, please don't get him started on this again. Oh, Granny Tumpio da Pushi Wumpa, Putula Musta. Who is this master you keep talking about? What's his name? Kunhuka Taba Tata Kipuna, Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Udmishka. This master has affected your mind. You're doing this under suggestion. Ichubana? Wonki Atacha Kappa Donka Jisa Picha That was gratifying. You rarely see delinquents getting their just desserts on this world. And from such an exquisite young woman, too. Loveliness and a lightsaber, a rare synthesis. Are you always this forward? Or was it just the brush with death? I would be remiss not to acknowledge such beauty. <laughs> Hmm, impressive title. I'd love to hear more. When your Trandoshan friend is gone, Theron Sedrax, professor and exo-engineer at your service. Not that many around here respect my genius, especially those Nikto. Challenge the hot cartel? <laughs> Where'd they get such delusions of grandeur? I should start from the beginning. So Duris Fane has a vendetta against the Hut Cartel. If any Jedi Master would risk it, Fane's the one. That's why I was right. If the Huts find out Fane is behind this guiding hand business, it'll leave the Republic high and dry. Master Seo said you could help me find him. Unfortunately, it's been years since we last spoke. But if Fane is using Nar Shaddaa's gangs, perhaps that's our opening. I know a local gang, the Red Light Lancers. 
a bunch of tech specialists and slicers of ill repute. Rumor is, they're part of this guiding hand. I need to be in that gang. A Jedi Master wouldn't need slicers unless he was planning something big. I suspect you're right. But you'll need to prove your expertise. I suppose... This prototype would do it. Though I hate to part with it. I'd owe you a favor. When you put it that way. Here you are. And here. I always wear an earpiece at Handover so I can call my assistant Holiday. With this, we can speak privately. Here's the location. I'll return to my office. If Fane is using some kind of mind control, I have research to do. This is Theron Sedrax. Can you read me, Jedi? Have the Lancers agreed to meet? The Lancers leapt at the chance to hire me. Their boss, Klesia, is at the meeting ground right now. Where's Theron Sedrax? The darkness is coming. The Lancers need the man who solved the Meraki uplink paradox, not some unplugged Jedi. At least you can appreciate good work. Forget this. I have to get Theron Sedrax for the job. Master's orders. I'm as good as Sedrax at half the price. Here's an example of my work. Huh. Impressive. But the Master said get Sedrax. Even a Jedi's no good. Bet you don't even know what a D3TR port is. A D3TR port is used to fix computer spikes. Basic stuff. He's playing with you. They repair computer spikes, of course. Alright. But that was a gimme. So if you were gonna slice Nar Shaddaa's traffic control towers... What channel would you cut? Any channel, I suppose. Apart from 552. Too risky. 552 is the only channel that would present a real challenge. Seriously? Impressive. None of my people can crack cartel security. In the name of the Master, the Red Light Lancers and the Guiding Hand welcome you, sister. I've heard a lot about your Master. I'm anxious to pay my respects. Sorry, no fresh recruits see the Master, however good they are. The Master wanted Theron Sedrax for a special job. It'll do for your initiation test, if you live. The Hutt Cartel shares a bunch of spice factories with the Empire in the lower industrial sector. The Master wants them destroyed. Destroying entire factories is a tall order, even for my skills. We got it worked out. Go to the Defense Network Control Room and disrupt the protocols on the primary control node. That'll trigger the factory's automated defenses. Turrets, droids, poison gas, the factories and their workers will be wiped out. The Hutt Cartel will see what the Guiding Hand can do. I signed on to oppose the Hutt Cartel, not kill innocent factory workers. If you're not devoted to the cause, might as well turn around now. I'll be monitoring the Cartel's defense network so I'll know exactly when the job is done. Don't keep us waiting. That's a tricky proposition, Jedi. Meet me at my offices. I'll get started on a way to help you. Oh, Theron. What a deliciously daring idea. I'll have to watch out, in case you get any more. Dearest Holiday, I always save my finest inspiration for you. Pardon the interruption. Ah, hello again. I believe I promised to help destroy those Hut Cartel factories for the Lancers. And I found the perfect solution. A few years ago, I acquired a Sith Overseer's ID. I've modified it with the permissions to trigger those defenses, kill everyone, and bring the factories down. I won't kill innocent factory workers. I want an alternative. Jedi, those people make spice for the Hut Cartel, and Klesia won't be easy to fool. I won't sacrifice people if there's any chance to save them. I do have a resonator key, a rather rare device. Very well. Attach it to the primary control node, and Klesia will register its signal as a network failure. The Defense Network Control Room will be near the factories in the lower industrial sector. Once you reach it, I'll help you from there. I don't envy you. That sector's a toxic nightmare, besides which there's Imperial soldiers, patrol droids, and worse. Stop right there! This is an Imperial control station. I'm authorized to use deadly force protecting cartel Imperial interests. State your business or get out! You dare impede a Sith in her duties! I should take your head for this. An inspection? I'm... Uh, please forgive me, I, I, I meant no disrespect. Uh, productivity is down, but we, we, we'll drive the workers harder. Double our quota next month. The Emperor himself requested this inspection. He will be most displeased, as am I. The, the Emperor? We, we, we'll do better, I swear it! 
You're a disgrace to the Empire. Your mere presence offends me. Leave. Yes. Yes, my lord. A a at once. Good work, Jedi. The primary control node is active. Attach that resonator key to the node. In a moment, Klaja will think the factories are being destroyed. Jedi, it's Klaj. I've been monitoring the Hut Cartel's defense network. That operation was smooth. The factories never saw it coming. You've got real talent. I wish to give nothing but my best efforts to the Guiding Hand. No kidding. You definitely earned this, then. The Master himself has heard about you. He wants you to be presented to him, in person. The Master wants to meet me? I hope I'm worthy. The Master's waiting at our headquarters in the Red Light Sector. It's in an old store. Here, I'll upload it to your map. Don't be long. Our fight against the Hut Cartel is heating up, and the Master doesn't like delays. Come, Jedi. Don't keep me waiting. I've been looking forward to this ever since Klaja mentioned his new star. Poor Klaja. Good slicer, but he really should get out more. He's almost as out of touch as the Jedi Council. Tell me, has Seo Bakarn lightened up, or is he still the same old stuffed robe? Master Fane, you're ill. Tell me where you are, and I can cure you. Now, that cure part is a little offensive. This plague has enlightened me. Those Jedi rules? I rarely bothered with them before, but now I see them for what they are. But I don't have the patience to explain. In fact, you've become a nuisance I need to eliminate. These actions only bring you closer to the dark side. They will destroy you. Good grief. It's like listening to my old master all over again. I'd love to duel you myself, but the darkness is coming. Destroying the Hut Cartel demands my full attention. Kill her. Bring me her head when it's over. Jedi, can you hear me? Are you alright? Maybe a scratch here and there, but the Force was my shield. Can't believe Fane would do that to another Jedi. However, Fane may have made a mistake by using that hollow transmitter. Check the hollow transmitter, Jedi. Press the small switch underneath, and we'll see what can be done. I thought so. Holiday, my dear, would you oblige? Of course. Oh my, Fane hasn't covered his tracks very well. I'll just untangle the signal. Holiday? You're a slicer? When I found Holiday, I discovered this enchanting woman was supported by a computer network of incredible sophistication. With so much untapped runtime, it seemed a waste not to teach her about slicing. Found him! Fane's signal traces back to... Oh, Shadowtown. I sense it earned that name. Shadowtown is an Imperial prison for the most dangerous prisoners in the galaxy. Well nigh impenetrable. The security there is the best on Nar Shaddaa. The Empire wouldn't waste that much security on merely violent prisoners. Shadowtown houses anyone the Empire needs to watch but can't control. Assassins, insane scientists, experimental specimens. Shadowtown has such exceptional security because the Builders had it designed by the best minds, including myself. Come back to my offices and we'll parse the problem. I also have something to help you against Fane. Please, I have nothing but respect for the Hot Cartel, but this is... They say a Jedi's behind this guiding hand. We've seen a Jedi coming out of these offices. Start talking, Cedrax. I'd like to know who's asking these questions. I'm with the Hut Cartel, investigating rumors that the Jedi run the guiding hand. Cedrax worked for them, and now here you are. I'll have to report this. I have no idea what you mean. Really? You know nothing about a Jedi Master with a crusade against us. The Jedi have nothing whatsoever to do with the Guiding Hand. Report that to your Masters. Uh, I guess the Jedi have nothing to do with the Guiding Hand. Uh, sorry to have bothered you. That was too close. The Hut Cartel is closing in on Fane. And for a moment there, you sounded like him. Like we don't have enough trouble. 
Holiday pinpointed Fane deep in Shadowtown's residential area. There's dozens of cameras, guards, and crazed prisoners between us and him. First we get in unseen. Then we'll work with what we find, agreed? I like your approach. In terms of Fane's mind control ability, I have a little something to handle that. A little something? You're so modest, Theron. I've been consulting with Master Sayo Bakarn, and I've built an exotech device that should prevent Fane from brainwashing us. How can a device obstruct a Jedi's influence? It paralyzes the part of the forebrain that's active when a Jedi tries to impose his will. It'll give Fane a short, sharp shock. Hmm, Shadowtown. I never planned to see it in person. But I'm ready when you are, Jedi. Wait, Jedi. I need to scramble the Shadowtown camera uplink from here, but if the guard spots any glitches, he'll sound the alarm. Don't fret. He won't see a thing. We only need a minute to muss up the camera uplink. When we're through, he won't notice the difference. <clears throat> hey! I didn't know there were Jedi prisoners here. Get back from the guard tower. I was convicted without due process of law. Where can I argue my case? What? You're a prisoner of the Empire. You don't get to argue anything. You prisoners. Every day, more griping. You're lucky we don't just clean this place out. Jedi, we're all done. My apologies, sir. I'll get out of your way. Get lost before I lose my temper. I've marked our next target on your map. We should hurry. We can cut the power to Fane's hideout here, but it's complicated. It'll take some time. Don't worry about that. I'll protect you. Holiday, darling. A little help? Forgot my. Ah. Oh, you're that overseer, aren't you? Can I. Now, wait a minute. What's he doing with the power junction? Hey! You're no Sith! You found whatever you came for. There's nobody else here. Now you're leaving. Yes. Yes, I. <laughs> Talking to myself. I must be slipping. Do you stir the brains of everyone you meet, Jedi? Fane's hideout has lost all power. Any security systems will be shut down. Sending that Imperial grunt away helped me keep my concentration. I thank you. The Jedi way is to serve. This is our chance. We should hurry. Very good, Jedi. You survived both my Morgukai and this dank little town. You on par taught you well. I want a peaceful resolution. Tell your followers to stand down. No, no, not so fast. We were talking about you on. Has dear Yuan ever told you about Malachor III? The truth, I mean. During our mission, we had quite the affair. She was something in the day, and her advances became pff, irresistible. You're trying to distract me. It won't work. But the truth is so very important. Our passion, it paved the way for darkness to enthrall the others and destroy our friend, Parcanus Tark. Hmm, that memory tormented me for years, but now I'm free. Free of guilt, free of fear. I have the ability to shield you from the plague and stop this insanity. Fane, if the Hut Cartel finds out about you, the Republic's finished out here. This has to stop. My, my. You got there and Cedrax to care about something, Jedi. That's a gift I want on my side. Now, serve me and... Ah! What the... Uh, what is that thing? A little trifle of exotech. To ensure you won't be influencing my Jedi friend. Ugh, my head. I should have known you'd bring one of your damn toys. You've been stripped of your ability to influence me. This is over. How dare you? You think you can challenge me? Enough, I yield. But kill me. Kill a thousand, it doesn't matter. 
Lord Vivicar will never stop. Lord Vivicar? Tell me, Fane, who is he? Where can I find him? Like darkness, Vivicar is everywhere. In everything. His condition's deteriorating. We should act quickly. Good. Fane's already down. That saves us some trouble. Fane is in my charge. Explain what you want. I'm an official representative of the Hut Cartel, and that man belongs to us. The guiding hand has gone too far. Jedi don't get to interfere with our business, not without consequences. Hand Fane over, or the Republic sees what unhappy Huts can do. Fane belongs to the Jedi, not the Hut Cartel. If the Huts don't get him, Every Republic agent on Nar Shadda will find their lives suddenly... complicated. The Order is powerful, and we don't forget our friends. Compassion would be rewarded. Favor from the Jedi is a valuable commodity. I guess we can negotiate with your council over the details. Okay, Fane's yours. But we will collect, Jedi. It was a pleasure doing business with you. And with you. Goodbye. made a break in the darkness, but it is only momentary. The darkness won't trouble you anymore. I feel better. Much better. Wait, you, you look pale. Are, are, are you all right? You woke me from that nightmare. I... I've done some terrible things, haven't I? The plague drove you to this. You couldn't help it. I could have. If I had been wiser. All of this. But fighting the Hut Cartel wasn't wrong. Jedi should battle evil, not appease it. The deal I struck was for the greater good, not to appease anyone. I've never been that cool-headed. I envy you. Once I've freed the gang leaders, I'll return to Tython. I'm sure C.O. Bacarn is already preparing to lecture me. Do consider listening this time, Fane. It might save you some tribulation in the future. Maybe so. Thank you. Both of you. I owe you my sanity and my life. Congratulations on your handling of Fane. Not to mention the Hut Cartel. Theron, honey. Someone's been calling our offices, Master Sile Bakarn of the Jedi Council, asking for our friend to call back. Goodbye, Theron. Thanks for the help. I suppose. I should get back to my offices. Genius never takes a vacation. This was fun. Like old times with Sayo and Fane. Anyway, glad I could be of assistance. Take care, Jedi. Theron, look over there. Hey, Jedi! Yoo-hoo! Ah, here she is, our fair Jedi. Fashionably late, making an entrance. Is something wrong? Do you need my help? After our thrilling sojourn in Shadowtown, I came back to all the contracts piled up on my desk. Humdrum. Tedious. Boring. And I realized... Nar Shaddaa's charms have staled. I want adventure, excitement. To see something of the galaxy. So, in exchange for a single billet on your ship, you can have the tech expertise of Dr. Theron Sedrax exclusively at your disposal. What do you think? You aren't leaving Holiday behind, are you? Wherever my Theron goes, I go. I promise I don't take up any space. This software shell is quite slimming. Now, how could you say no to her, Jedi? Besides, good looks, brains, and battle prowess? We share a rare combination. Our kind should stick together. Hmm. Why not just drape yourself over her a little more, Theron? Holiday, no other woman has the runtime to understand me like you do. Now, shall we go?
I never thought I'd say it. But good riddance to Nar Shadda. Nobody on that wretched moon has a speck of imagination. Take my little business. If I wasn't building devices to cheat the casinos, I was being nagged for new weapons. So being sought out and admired for creating wonders of technology, that meant nothing to you? You do have a way with words, my dear. Now, we get to travel in the most darling ship. Although, I can't bear your ship's computer architecture. It's so frumpy. Mind if I give it a little flair? Will this flair interfere with it being completely operational? No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. Holiday has quite the talent for making herself at home. Better leave her to it. Now, I'm sure there are more stimulating matters for you to attend to. I've heard a report from Nar Shadda. The Guiding Hand has disbanded, and the Hut Cartel has withdrawn its vendetta. Your handling of the cartel was extremely impressive. Diplomatic skill under pressure is a rare gift. Now, perhaps Duras Fane can be rehabilitated. Maybe Master Fane will be wiser after this. He often shrugs off the lessons life gives him. With luck, this one will stick. I am glad your mission on Nar Shadar was a success. But now I have an urgent matter that requires your attention. We received a distress signal from the Republic's starship Karida, and we suspect it's plague-related. Relay me the pertinent details. The distress call only reported a Jedi had gone insane and turned on the crew. Of particular interest, the Jedi in question is Lorana Fane, Master Duras Fane's daughter. Fane is on his way back to Tython, but I've asked him to join us over Hollow. I thought he should be kept informed. I should hope so, Sile. Being a Jedi doesn't stop me from caring about my own daughter. Do you think the plague is spread through families? No. But this can't be a coincidence, either. Vivekar chooses his targets for a reason. You will dock in the ship's forward section, where Lieutenant Bella Wynn and her men have managed to find safety. Find Lorana Fane. Shield her if you can, and see what you can learn. Go with care. Hold your fire, men! Hold your fire! It's the Jedi the Council sent. Sorry, Jedi. We're all a little on edge. I understand. You have every right to be on edge. Thanks. We've contained Lorana, but I don't know what to do. She was a great passenger at first. Happy, smart, interested in the ship. But then we were hit by an Imperial ambush. Lorana fought them off, almost died from her wounds. After a day or so, she started talking strange and... and then... The slaughter. So she was hurt, and then she went insane? After the ambush, we put out a call for medical assistance, and a Jedi Master answered. He healed her right up. He was odd, though. Had these horrible scars he kept covering. Never said his name. You know, Lorana was different after he left. It's possible he wasn't a Jedi at all. But he healed her. The girl's as strong as a Rancor. It was a struggle, but we managed to trap her in the aft section. If I can just... Lieutenant Wynn, Lorana's slicing into the Carida systems. She's taking over the whole ship. She'll start shutting down life support soon. No! Jedi, please! You're the only one who stands a chance of stopping her! Do whatever you have to. Just don't let Lorana kill any more of my men. I won't let you down. Thank you. I'll release the lockdown for a moment to let you in. But I won't risk Lorana getting out. There's a comm device back there. Contact me when you've taken care of her, and I'll release the lockdown again so you can leave. Good luck. What have we here? A little engineer poking around where he shouldn't? I wonder what this button does. <laughs> oh, was that the airlock? Silly me. Bye-bye, little engineer. You're Doris Fane's daughter, Lorana. Lorana Fane? Why, yes, that's me. How did you guess? The ship is nearly under my control. Isn't it wonderful? The darkness is coming, but it won't take me. We can stop the darkness together. Just listen to me first. I won't be fooled. You belong to the darkness. Lord Vivikar explained everything when he healed me. But you're not going to kill me, Jedi. I won't let you. No! 
I won't let the darkness take me. Go away or I'll open the airlock. I'd rather die than be taken. Please, Lorana, I can shield you from the darkness. Lies! Lord Vivikar warned me about your lies. The Jedi just betray and kill each other, he said. He's going to make me his apprentice. Master Fane is waiting for you to come home, Lorana. Are you going to let him down? My father? Wait, you're... You're the Jedi who saved him from his illness? I was going to visit him before the ambush. And the healer came. Lord Vivikar. No. No, the darkness is coming. I can't stop it. Don't worry, Lorana. Everything's going to be all right. What did you do? He looks so weak. But Lord Vivikar's voice is gone. The voice in my head. How did you do it? A shielding ritual. That blocks Vivikar's influence. The same ritual that saved your father. But it's taken a lot out of you. And the difference for me, it's like night and day. I just can't believe I let that monster make me do those terrible things. I'm sorry. I... I'm... I'm going to lock myself in the brig until we reach a port. I don't trust myself. Lorana. My child. My apprentice. Jedi. So... You have robbed me of a most promising student. As if that will delay the inevitable. You Jedi are an endless source of amusement. We meet at last, Plague Master. You know nothing of me. But I know all about your order. Once, I served the Jedi Council blindly, as you do. There is no emotion, only peace. I believed, but the teachings of the Dark Lord Terek Moridge showed me the error of my ways. Thousands of years ago, Moridge's hatred nearly crushed the Jedi. That is true power. I already know how to stop the plague. You mean your shielding technique? The Jedi do love repeating their mistakes. You know how the originator of that technique died, don't you? He sacrificed too much of himself and perished nameless. Everyone I have ever touched could fall to this plague. You cannot shield them all. I will find another way to stop you. My power is already beyond your comprehension. And every moment makes me stronger. You are too late. I've already won. I've restored Lorana Fane to the light. She's in the brig and won't cause any harm. Are you sure, Jedi? I mean, she killed a lot of my people. You're perfectly safe. I trust you. You saved our lives. And if Lorana's in the brig, she should be secure there. I'll report back to Master CO immediately. You should do the same. Once we get the ship back under control, we'll set a course for Coruscant. Thank you for everything, Jedi. I've just received Bellowin's report. I'm so glad Lorana Fane is shielded and well. Thank you for my daughter's life. I have to go to her. Did you manage to learn anything more about Lord Vivakar, the Plague Master? He claimed that he was once a member of our order. I'm listening. So this scarred man who healed Lorana Fane is Lord Vivikar. Amazing work, Jedi. Still no leads on how to find him, but we do know more about his plague. Hopefully we can put that information to good use. Unfortunately, we now have the chance. Two more Jedi Masters have now gone silent. In their last transmissions, 
Both masters said, the darkness is coming. One master was on Alderaan, the second on Tatooine. You must go to these worlds and investigate, quickly. I will do everything in my power to help. Thank you. I know you will. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Good luck. Jedi, the Council sees you've arrived on Tatooine. Good. We can't waste any time. Tatooine is a vast desert world where survival is often precarious. Master Eris Vassen, one of the Jedi's best cultural explorers, was there when he dropped out of contact with the Council. What exactly does a cultural explorer do? The Jedi Council relies on people like Master Eris to develop relationships with the varied cultures of the galaxy. He can understand and adapt to even the most strange and violent societies. If this illness has claimed him, it would be a great loss to the Jedi Order and threaten the groups he was sent to study. Any idea where I should begin my search? Eris hired a guide to help him navigate Tatooine's treacherous deep desert and make contact with its residents. One of Master Eris's last reports was that his guide had developed the Sand Rot, an illness caused by prolonged repeated desert exposure. The guide's name is Rowan Delk, and he is currently recuperating at the Dreviat Outpost Medical Center. He's your best lead. What if Rowan Delk can't help me? This is your investigation, to handle as you see fit. Work quickly. Master Ares is vital to the Order. And if he has this plague, well, you more than any of us know what that means. Tyrants, damn tyrants the lot of you. Treating a grown man like he's a baby. Like he can't take care of himself. For a man who's supposed to be ill, he certainly is vociferous, which is to say, loud. Lie down, Delk, and quit roaring. I swear, a Ranko with heartburn would make less noise than you. I'll make as much noise as I want. Hey, Jedi! You a friend of Master Eris? Get Darth Nurse here off my back, will you? Master Eris is exactly the reason I've come to talk to you. You two can talk, but don't let him fool you into letting him walk, Jedi. He's got the sand rot, and bad. <coughs> Man breathes in a little sand, and after 20 years guiding folks through the desert, he suddenly <coughs> can't make decisions for himself. What's it you wanted to know about Master Harris? It's a bit of a long story. I'm listening. Jedi Plague? I'm begging your pardon, but uh, I don't believe it. Sure, maybe some masters, but not Master Harris. He's the brightest, most level-headed guy I ever met. We've seen this illness twist even the most level-headed Jedi Master. Look, you want to talk to him? <laughs> You're welcome to it, but I'm telling you, he's just as sane as you or me. When I left him, he was in the desert with them annoying little Jawas. I <laughs> really impressed him how they managed to survive out there. What exactly are Jawas? Crazy little alien fellas run around in the desert trading scrap metal, fiddling with droids. They're friendly folk, the Jawas. Even if they don't understand the meaning of the words private property, if Master Ares isn't still with them, I'm sure they'll help you find them. What can you tell me of this other Jedi? I must know where he went. Give me this message. If I help you get your parts back, will you help me find the war maker?
Give me the message, and you'll get your parts. I believe this is what you wanted. It's a little small, don't you think? Oh, there, Jedi. Would you look at this? They let me walk around the clinic. <laughs> Soon they might let me cross the street by myself. <laughs> Any luck finding Master Ares? I didn't find him, but the Jaw was said he made this for you. What's this? <laughs> a m message from Master Ares? Well, I know this encryption. It shouldn't take long to crack. Oh, there, there. Care to see what he has to say? Rowan, you've realized by now that I've left those most resourceful of creatures, the Jawas, in pursuit of greater things. I came to Tatooine to discover the secret to life. Not its creation, but its ongoing survival. How do some species thrive while others fail? A great darkness is coming, Rowan, and to withstand it, we must know the answer to that question. That phrase is familiar. Has Master Eris spoken of this darkness before? Well, not to me, but there's more here. Maybe he explains it. I believe that the Jawas, whose enduring civilization thrives in spite of Tatooine's harsh conditions, would answer that question. Their technological prowess is quite the achievement, though their ability pales in comparison to my own. I wonder why he abandoned them. But during my daily meditation beneath the pillars, I saw a vision on the cave wall that showed me the error of my assumptions. I now know the true original people of Tatooine, the warriors whose knowledge I will use to stem the coming darkness. What is he talking about? Who are these people he's gone to? You really want to find this guy, don't you? I don't get it. Sounds perfectly sane to me. Master Ares used to take lights out to a cave near the rock pillars at night and meditate. Sounds like that's when he had his vision. Well, you're a Jedi. Maybe you could do the same thing. Visions don't exactly work that way. But I should have a look at this meditation site. You can use my old Dragon Flares as lights. Uh, <coughs> the cave gets pretty dark. Just be careful out there. Rumor is the sand people are getting riled up. Don't let them catch you with your lightsaber sheathed. Did it work? Did you see Master Ares' vision? What Master Ares saw wasn't mystical at all. It was a carving made by the Sand People. A carving? Now, Master Ares never mentioned a carving on those walls. What did it show? Let's see if I can explain this. I'm listening. The Sand People are the oldest group on Tatooine? <laughs> Doesn't say much for progress. Still, I bet none of them get the sand rot. <coughs> I have a hard time believing Master Ares would do anything so cockeyed as working with the Sand People. At least the Jawas are good for droid repair. He said it himself. He saw the vision on the wall and went to find the Ultimate Warriors. Wait. <clears throat> what did you say the symptoms of this thing were? Delusions? Paranoia? What violence? One group of Sand People has been unusually aggressive lately. Normally they stick pretty close to their camps. I'm not saying I think Master Ares is behind it, but uh, maybe it's worth looking into. So where would I find these sand people? There's a farm and settlement out at Malcolm's Dunes that's been reporting a lot of sand people activity. I'll meet you out there. I know some of those folks, and uh, I can help your investigation. I thought you weren't supposed to go out into the desert. Says who? Bunch of doctors never set foot outside of Anchorhead in their lives? <coughs> Besides, it'll do me good. I don't care if it kills me. <coughs> I'm tired of being an invalid. A 
What's happened here? It looks like some sort of massacre. Holiday, don't look! Listen, Delk, we got broken vaporators, a pile of wounded, and our food stores are almost completely gone. That lunatic said he was a Jedi and a friend of yours. We trusted him. You better have a pretty good explanation for why this Master Ares keeps sending sand people out to attack us. That's the Jedi I'm looking for. Where is he? Another Jedi? Damn it, Delk. Why do you keep leading them here? Listen here. We've already lost too much to that master What's-His-Face and his army of sand people. So why don't you just leave here quiet-like and don't cause any more trouble? I don't want trouble. Just tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, Jedi, but our trust is a bit worse for the wear at this point. Well, master Ares was nice enough when he came through asking to study the sand people. But ever since we pointed him to their camp, you could set your chrono by their attacks. We got nothing left. The sand people are your enemies, not me. You suggesting we go out there and attack the Sand People? You want us to get killed? Then tell me where Master Ares is so I can stop him. It's your only chance. You know it's true, Malcolm. Okay, fine. Seems we don't have a choice. I'll draw you a map, but I still don't trust you. I'll warn you, though. Master Ares did something to these Sand People. They're stronger. Faster than any we've seen. Hmm. Well, I think I know where that is. I'll get some gear together and meet you out there. Maybe provide backup. <laughs> you have my gratitude. <laughs> Still can't believe the Master Ares I worked with is the same guy who's causing so much trouble. Rowan, Jedi. You're about to witness it. After weeks of work, Finally, an end to the darkness. These people, these marvelous, marvelous specimens, have been tested, no, purified, in the crucible of Tatooine's harsh environs. They alone are the hope of the galaxy. Their strength, their society, is the blueprint of our salvation. What do you mean, blueprint? They are simple, but long after the Empire and the Republic are gone, these people will remain. Their culture is built around strength. They cut the weak away like a societal cancer. Don't you see? It's the only way. The only way to do what? The darkness is strong, so we must be stronger. These are the ultimate warriors. We must follow their example and cut away everything that would make us weak in the face of our adversaries. The frail, the diseased. <laughs> You're not thinking straight now. <laughs> Look, I'm sick, Ares. You gonna cast me out too? I have no choice. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. You are not yourself. These are not your thoughts. You fools. To oppose me is to reveal your own weakness. You will be cast out. No, wait. Before you strike the killing blow, listen to me. I... I hear Lord Vivica's voice. I've failed him, just as I failed my old friend Parcanus when he died. Why does everyone mention Parcanus? I don't know, but I keep thinking about our first mission, our ill-fated mission to Malachor III. We were all weak. We all came under the thrall of the dark side. We did things we regretted. But Borcanus was our strength. As we tried to escape, I fell behind, and he ran back to save me. He became trapped. We had to leave him. It was my weakness that killed him. It's hard to lose a friend like that. But you have to move on. I'm trying to. That is the purpose of this project. Think about it. The Jedi Order spends so much time protecting the helpless and caring for the sick when we could be fighting the Empire. You must kill me. I was weak on Malachor III, and I'm weak now. But you must take my findings before the Council. Promise me that. We'll discuss that in a second. <sighs> what? 
What was that? You... He's gone. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivacor away. I... I no longer hear his voice. I almost... I almost wish you hadn't done that. Of all the ungrateful, impudent... This Jedi saved your life! Lord Vivacor twisted my mind, and I'm glad to be free of him. Still, my discovery remains. From these sand people, I have learned the key to building the unstoppable army. I feel I must bring these findings to the Republic, yet I can't shake this feeling that some truths are best left buried in the sand. Using this information would mean the sacrifice of every good the Republic stands for. You're right. These records are no more. Thank you for your guidance, and for saving me from Vivica's grasp. Well, Jedi, I'm glad Master Ares is alive and his own self. <coughs> Best get back to Anchorhead myself. Sandrot's acting up and, uh, <coughs> well, frankly, sort of, sort of miss Darth Nurse's hollering. Thank you for all you've done. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing, Jedi. <coughs> hope, hope you find this Lord Vivicar. Master Ares has reported back to the Council. Good work. He speaks of discoveries on Tatooine. We intend to hear his full report when he returns to Coruscant. Did you discover anything more about the Plague Master, this Lord Vivacar? Only what I already knew. That he somehow controls the Master's minds. A shame. If we could find Vivacar, we could end this plague. The Council will continue its own investigation into the matter. Meanwhile, hurry to Alderaan. So long as Lord Vivacar has control of even one Master, he will grow in power. I understand perfectly. Good. Do not delay. Every wasted moment works in Lord Vivicar's favor. Jedi, the Council is pleased to see you've arrived on Alderaan. Until recently, Alderaan was a part of the Republic. Today, it's on the brink of collapse. Shortly after seceding, both the Queen and the heir to the Alderaanian throne were assassinated. A usurper, Boris Olgo, stepped into power, setting off a civil war. Sounds like a rough place to be. Who am I looking for? Master Sidoni Garen, one of the Jedi Order's finest strategists and diplomats, dropped out of contact briefly while on Alderaan. She's made contact since, but was evasive about her silence. Master Sidoni is brokering a peace on Alderaan. If she is suffering from the plague, it could jeopardize the entire peace process. Do you have any leads on her location? Master Sidoni was working with the head of House Organa's diplomatic corps, Hala Morgana. Find Master Sidoni and make sure she is well, that the peace process is not in jeopardy. Welcome, Jedi. I'm Hala Morgana, head of House Organa's diplomatic corps, and this is my younger, more handsome brother, Lou. Please, Hala. You do yourself an injustice. Your age gives you a stately difference. If I wasn't wearing my extra years around my waist, I might agree. Now, Jedi, how can I help you? I was sent to help Master Sidoni Garin with the peace process. Ah, yes. Master Sidoni. Truly remarkable woman. Oh, you just missed her. She's at the Peace Summit. A Peace Summit on Alderaan. <laughs> Imagine that. But I'll call her. The location of the summit is a secret for obvious reasons. But I'm sure she'd welcome your assistance. Helen Organa. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy right now. The summit is just getting underway. I was hoping I could join you. You're Master Yuan's student, aren't you? It's wonderful the Council sent you to assist me, but this is a very delicate process with no place for a Padawan. I passed my trials. And I think the Council knows what it's doing. Only official representatives of the Houses may attend the summit. What would the other Houses think if another Jedi from House Wagana showed up? 
and I don't have time to debate, if you'll excuse me. Master Sidoni, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Jedi. That's really not like her. Is there any other way to get to the summit? Yes, well, Master Sidoni said that only representatives can go. Unfortunately, Organa's representative is already there. How? How's Tarol? You know, with the beautiful daughter. Couldn't our Jedi friend represent them? Huh! My brother is a genius! House Tyrol is desperate for a representative, but the usurper Ulgo destroyed their hopes. If you could help them defend themselves against their enemies and return them to glory, I'm sure they'd make you their delegate. Tell me where I need to go. You'll find Lord Tyrol in his house's last holdings, an enclave near Ulgo lands and Killick nests. I will let them know you're coming. And beware the Killicks. Those insect men have terrible tempers. Chino hagua bunta cho, chubalong haku, ya sa un kubas, taja bakta tun bunko. Have you been hurt? Kuse je sinchi, di nomano kava je ulwani. Wanta humpa, muri rava fupa ji bampa wula. A king sali ki kava dumpa stupa. I would be honored to assist you. A king sali ki kava dumpa stupa. Uwana wada blota wijawa, o wama wanga matuske, buka kambak nijit, tonka yiliska chanaga. Are you Lord Terrell? I'm here to become your delegate to the Peace Summit. Jedi, yes. Uh, Organa told me you'd be coming, but, well, this is, uh, well, it's complicated. The whole house needs to approve a new delegate, and, well, they, they, they say they won't approve a stranger. She may be a stranger, but she's a Jedi. I should think you'd be grateful for her assistance. Yes, of course, but House Tyrell has fallen so hard, we don't even have the strength to hope. It will take more than my word to convince them. It is my privilege as a Jedi to serve House Tyrell in whatever way I can. Really? Well, all right then. After our original delegate was murdered and Ulgo drove us back into this hole, I'd almost given up hope myself. Just tell the Jedi our plan, Father. Right. House Tyrell's current position is precarious. Our enemy, House Ulgo, seeks our destruction. Their army is at our gate. House Tyrell needs a strong ally if we are to survive. We need Haas Organa. An alliance with Organa seems doable. We had hoped so. We proposed a marriage alliance to House Organa. My daughter Fasha would marry Lu Organa. But House Tyrol is weak, and powers within Organa fear we'd drag them down with us. We need to prove to Organa that House Tyrol can defend itself against its enemies. We need a plan. Tell me, what are your resources? I'm afraid you're our only source, Jedi. As I've said, House Ulgo's forces are at our gates, threatening to drive us out of our last holding. But Ulgo's commanding general, Astar Vox, is a mercenary with a loose definition of loyalty. If we can reach him, turn him, we can break the siege. I will begin negotiations with Astar Vox immediately. We have no time to waste. I will contact House Organa the moment I hear that the siege is broken. I've come representing House Terrell. They want you to give up this siege and join them. Well, isn't this a surprise? The Jedi have decided to involve themselves in Alderanian politics. You must be pretty sure of yourself to walk into a room of highly trained commandos. But you should know that I don't do business with just anyone. My word is good, as is House Terrell's. I'm sure it is, but that's not my concern. The battlefield is the only true test of a person's worth. War, bloodshed, these are the fires and forges of greatness. I only negotiate with my equals. Besides, my men are itching for sport. Best a pack of my warhounds, and we'll talk. You'd best keep your promise. Excellent. I've not had the pleasure of seeing a Jedi in action. Release the dogs! What do you think, boys? That was a little too easy, wasn't it? Aye. Let's see a real challenge. Y easy? I, I take exception. You're trying to kill us. I didn't mean to disappoint you, but we had a deal. No, I'm not ready to talk yet. Those dogs were old, weren't they, boys? You need to do better than defeat a pack of geriatric mutts. No, you need a real challenge. What'll it be, boys? Droids! 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 Droids it is, then. 
These are the best Olgo has. Beat them, and we'll talk. If that is what I must do to earn your respect, so be it. Droids! Activate attack protocols. Target Jedi. Excellent! Excellent! I like your form, Jedi. But I'm not entirely convinced yet. Sure, you can beat a couple of dumb machines, but what about Olgo's finest warriors? Smart, fast, highly trained, and hardened by battle. You mendacious vagrant! Twice now you've broken your promise! On my honor, this is the last time. Beat my champions, and we'll talk. I trust you will keep your word this time. On my honor. Now, boys, show this Jedi what you're made of. Most impressive Jedi. I didn't think House Tyrrell had the resources left to recruit such a powerful ally. No hard feelings. If you knew how many fools come by offering me jobs... House Tyrrell wants your loyalty, and they want your army to stand down. I'll give you credit for being direct. You can tell House Tyrrell that my answer is yes. It's been fun working for House Olgo, but there's no glory in working for the biggest army on the planet. I'll call off my troops and meet with Lord Tyrrell immediately. Don't worry, I know the way. Jedi, thank goodness I've reached you. There's good news and bad news. The good news is everyone's heard how you impressed Asta Vox and broke the siege, including Organa. They've agreed to the marriage alliance. Now the bad news. Lu Organa has been kidnapped. Then we have to get him back. Exactly. The kidnappers were from Ulgo's ally, House Rist, Alderaan's most deadly assassins. An Organa Terral alliance would be disastrous to Ulgo. They must have ordered Riz to kidnap Lu Organa to stop the Alliance. Surely Organa has planned a reprisal. House Organa is preparing to attack House Ulgo. And if they do, casualties will be great and peace impossible. The entire peace summit will collapse and with it, our hopes for an Alliance. But if you're able to rescue Lu Organa on House Tyrrell's behalf, we can still prevent a battle and secure our Alliance. I will do my utmost. I have come to expect nothing less. Rist's assassins are uncanny, and you'll be going right into their nest. Be careful, but hurry. We need to beat the Organa attack, or everything falls apart. Jedi! Oh, thank goodness. I thought they were going to kill me. House Tyrrell sent you, didn't they? They called about an alliance. I, I was riding to meet them, and... Well, thank goodness you're here. Do you know what reason Rist had for kidnapping you? No. No idea. Maybe something to do with the alliance? I was going to meet with House Tyrrell to discuss the marriage alliance, when these assassins swooped in and knocked me off my Thranta. I woke up here. But were they trying to prevent the alliance? Who would want to do that? Without the marriage alliance, I can't get to the summit. Maybe someone doesn't want me to go. Who would care if you went to the summit? Though now that you mention it, as I lost consciousness, they were talking about Master Sidoni. But how could she be involved? It has to be a frame job. It must be. I believe Master Sidoni is very ill. But if I can get to the summit, I hope to help her. I just want to trust Master Sidoni. Ugh. I'm sorry. My head. I still get these pains from the fall. I can't leave here until I know if Master Sidoni was involved. The kidnappers used to go into the other room to contact their employer. I'm sure we'll find a comm device there. We just need to see who they've been calling. I told you, I can't. Oh, Jedi, I appreciate your desire to help, and I will be sure to praise your zeal to Master Yuan. But I am extremely busy right now. I can't afford interruptions. Why is your hollow frequency in House Rist's computer? I would assume it's because Rist was invited to the summit. Now, if you'll excuse me, Jedi, I have very important work to do. Wait, Master Sidoni! I don't understand. What was her frequency doing here? I assure you, Master Sidoni is not herself. Should she be leading the summit then? She could do something terrible. Please, I need to get out of this place. My head is killing me, and I keep looking over my shoulder expecting more assassins. I'll see that the Organa Tural Alliance is finalized, and that you get to the summit. I don't understand. Why would you want to risk it? Lord Tural, without risk, there can be no glory. The only way to avoid risk is to avoid war, but that's not very effective or fun, is it? No, I suppose it isn't. Ah, Jedi, welcome back. General Vox and I were just discussing strategy. 
We haven't stood this proud since our house was young and building its first alliance with House Pantir. Thank you, Jedi. It was your plan. I merely executed. But we couldn't have done any of it without you. Lu Organa and my daughter Fasha are getting acquainted as we speak. I spoke with the rest of House Tyrell, and the decision was unanimous. You are our new delegate. Congratulations! So how do I get to the summit? Well, that's something I'm not entirely clear on. I have the packet the last delegate was supposed to use, but I don't understand its contents. Some coordinates and a data spike. It appears that you need to go to those coordinates and do something with the data spike? Excuse me then. I must get to the summit right away. Just one moment, Jedi, if I may. We would like to ask one last thing. There will never be peace for House Tyrell as long as House Ulgo exists. If you're able to use your influence as a Jedi to convince the summit to strip House Olgo, ensure they never hold a title again, we'd show our gratitude. I'm sorry, but I have to do what's best for Alderaan. Please, Jedi. House Tyrell has security now, but we still require justice. Good luck at the summit. I hope you find Master Sidoni well and that all goes smoothly. I have Master Sidoni's permission. Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Udmishka. So here it is, laid bare before you, the irrefutable evidence. House Ald has been conspiring against House Organa for years, preying on their good trust. House Thule is the reason the Pantir heir was assassinated. And House Ulgo is merely a puppet of House Wrist. Lies! All lies! There are holographic recordings, documents. You can't argue with hard evidence. We trusted you! How dare you! You will meet our armies on the field of battle! Master Sidoni, what have you done? You wouldn't understand. I do this for the good of the galaxy. Master Sidoni... You have a sickness that's altering your mind. I have suppressed my illness, overcome it through reason. I am thinking, as I always have, in strategy, in variables and outcomes. I have calculated the future, and for the galaxy to have peace, there must be war on Alderaan. I will not be shaken from this course. I'm sorry, Master Sidoni, but I can't let that happen. You are too late. All the pieces are already in place. You're a fouler liar than House Wrist. House Wrist takes exception to that characterization. Murderer? That was 30 years ago. We had an alliance. House Organa has heard enough. It's clear to us that there can be no other course but war. Master Sidoni set you up for this. She would see you all destroyed. This child is barely more than a Padawan. Disregard her. Master Sidoni is the only one telling any truth at this summit. Don't insult her integrity. You would defend her, Organa. You've always been a little too friendly with the Republic. At least they didn't murder the heir to the throne. We didn't murder anyone. Rist did. Yes, Rist put that usurper on the throne, but you ordered the hit. Usurper? Our reign is as legitimate as any other. How can you judge each other when you've all committed the same crimes? Easy for you to say, Jedi. You don't have any stake in any of this. These accusations go back 30 years! 30 years of betrayal and treachery! 30 more if you go to war. Don't you want to leave your children something better? The Jedi has a point. Why do we have to keep doing this? All it brings is more bloodshed. No, there must be war on Alderaan. The darkness is coming and I must stop it. Master Sidoni? Listen to her! She wants war! Fight the illness, Master Sidoni. Come back to the light. Jedi, if you will not agree to be silent, then I will silence you myself. The darkness is coming, Jedi. War must rage on Alderaan for fifty years, and only then can we put an end to the darkness. But you haven't won yet. Once you're out of the way, I'll make them see. No 
I won't fail. Not again. I'm so sorry, Parkanus. I failed you. I tried to keep the darkness from coming, but I failed. You're not the first person to mention Parkanus. It's my fault. Parkanus died. Malachor III. I miscalculated. He had to be left behind. He died because of me. Vivicar! My head! Please, I can't block out his voice any longer. You must kill me to silence him. I won't kill you. But you don't need to hear his voice again either. Jedi. What? How did you... I don't understand. My mind is clear again. And you're... weak. Will you be alright? What did you do? It's a shielding ritual. It should keep Lord Vivicar's voice out of your head for a while. Thank you, Jedi. I only hope the sacrifice wasn't too great. For a while, I thought I was able to block Lord Vivicar's voice from my mind. If you hadn't been there with your calm sense, I don't know what would have happened. Master Sia will be wondering how you are. I will contact the Jedi Council. I'm sure they'll want a full explanation. I think I can safely speak for all present when I say that the summit applauds your efforts. Indeed. But I have to say, Jedi, I'm at a loss as to how to proceed from here. Let there be a truce, and let the summit reconvene at a later date to work on a formal peace agreement. The summit will reconvene at a later date to discuss the details of a peace agreement. Thank you again, Jedi. Jedi, I hear the summit has agreed to continue peace talks. Thankfully, the delegates saw reason. Thankfully, indeed. We all owe a debt of thanks to you and Master Sidoni. My only regret is there's no talk of removing House Olgo's noble status and lands once the war's over. I didn't want to risk undoing the peace by inciting another conflict. That was probably the wisest course. I just can't feel safe as long as Olgo commands an army. But what am I saying? House Tyrell is far safer now with peace in view and Organa as an ally than we ever were. And I have you to thank. I did what I had to do. Nothing more. You've done House Tyrell an invaluable service. I hope you will come visit us again. Master Sidoni just checked in. She seems well, but very frustrated with herself. She reports that you were able to prevent war from breaking out on Alderaan, however. You've once again done very good work in a tense situation, Jedi. I did my best, given the situation. The Council has come to expect nothing less of you. Tell me. Did you learn anything new about the Plague Master, Lord Vivicar? Master Sidoni mentioned him, but she had no information. I see. Master Sidoni was the last of the Lost Masters, and yet Vivicar still eludes us. Return to us here on Tython immediately, and we will discuss what you have learned. Lord Vivicar cannot remain hidden forever. summoned me, Master Seo. Welcome home. I wish we could greet you with better news. Despite using every avenue available to us, we are no closer to finding Lord Vivicar. Actually, I believe we are. A common thread binds all the plague victims. The loss of Parcanus Tark at Malachor III. Vivicar's influence forced the sick masters to relive their failures on Malachor. This is revenge. Personal revenge. Only one man would have that much anger and pain. The man who was left behind. I believe Lord Vivicar is Parcanus Tark. Jedi, Parcanus is dead. Far from it, Jarek. Yuan? I told those Padawans to keep an eye on you. You must rest. No, my pupil, my fellow Jedi, deserves to hear the truth about Malachor. You're ill, Master Yuan. Don't speak more than you have to. Malachor Three isn't just strong in the dark side. The planet is the resting place of the Sith Lord, Terak Moraj. Our work on Malachor woke Moraj's spirit. One by one we fell under his power. The things we did still haunt me. The Noeticons on Coruscant said that Terak Morhage originally created the plague. Then I've been punished appropriately. 
We paid a terrible price to break free of him. Parcanus was the youngest and weakest. We had to abandon him to Malachor's darkness. His sacrifice allowed the rest of us to escape. But it seems he survived and has taken Morridge's dark path. You couldn't have predicted this. I must make amends. I have a plan to help you find Vivica. If the play created a link between my mind and his, your shielding ability may allow me to use that link to find him. No. You're already weak from the plague, Yuan. This could kill you. Vivicar won't get the chance. I'll be between him and my master. It's our best chance to find Vivica. <laughs> Very well, Yuan. But we will monitor the ritual, and your former Padawan must stay at your side. Thank you, Seal. I will go to the meditation chamber to prepare. Please meet me there when you're ready. Thank you for coming. I have made all the preparations for the ritual to find Lord Vivica. I plan to create a connection between us, using your shielding ability. If it is, was, Parcanus, this should work. Drawing on your strength, I will invert the link between myself and Vivica and use it to sense his location. Don't expose yourself to Lord Vivica's influence longer than necessary. I won't, for your sake as well as mine. There are risks. For one, the shielding you gave me on Coruscant will be severed. I don't know what will happen then. It's possible I could die once your shield is gone. You must resist, Master Yuan. Don't give Vivica another victory. With your strength to sustain me, we will do what we can. No matter what happens, you must give me as much time as possible. Reversing the link may be a long process. Let us begin. Yes, yes, it's working. I can feel his mind and... I can feel, I... She can feel the power that she's challenging. There is no hope. Jedi, you don't look as strong as you did last time we spoke. Yuan has drained your strength and made herself vulnerable to me. Still arrogant and reckless. You were once Parcanus Tark, a brave Jedi. You could be that man again. The past means nothing. All that matters is the future, which doesn't involve you. See how Yuan's will crumbles before mine. Fitting that two of my enemies will destroy each other. It... it worked. Listen, Lord Vivica, he's out in deep space on some sort of vessel. Here, take the coordinates. He surrounded himself with defenses. Send this. It's his code. It will give you time to get aboard. No. The darkness. Vivica's will is too strong. I... I can't hold on. Please kill me. End it now. There's a better way, Master. The darkness, it's gone. But you look exhausted. You have sacrificed so much for me. Hopefully Vivacar should no longer be able to influence you. Your shielding ability has driven him from my mind. Thank you. I... I must rest. Please, go to Master Sio and the Council. They should hear of what we've learnt. The ritual was a success. Lord Vivicar is out in uncharted space. But he knows I'm coming. Now only your shielding talent can stop him. You've shown great fortitude and saved your master despite the odds. But Lord Vivicar will have made preparations, and he still has his greatest weapon. The plague. Now that I know who he really is, I could return Vivicar to the light. A noble thought. But don't take unnecessary risks. Your shielding ability is our only hope. Go to the coordinates quickly, before Vivacar strikes back. And Jedi, may the Force be with you. Ah, I was 
wasn't sure if you'd be foolish enough to come aboard, Jedi. But I can sense your presence. And I sense a man tormented by the past. You are blinded by the light side. You can't understand what you face. Come to me, Jedi. I'll show you how light can be snuffed out. Tell me, Jedi. What was it like, letting your life force drain away to shield a stranger from me? How did it feel? It hurt, but I endured it. Pain makes us stronger. And the pain I have endured is beyond your comprehension. That is why I have won. You will understand soon, if you live that long. Your power and tactics have got you this far, Jedi, but no further. This battle was decided before you stepped aboard. Lay down your lightsaber and I'll show you mercy. Mercy is a weakness I have transcended. My plague isn't just a disease. It siphons power from its victims. With the proper rituals, that power can be channeled. Soon, the combined strength of your masters will make me the most powerful Force Adept who has ever lived. Turn away from this path, Parcanus. The Order can help you. Parcanus Tark died long ago. Even Vivica is merely a skin to be shed. Parcanus offered himself to me on Malachor III to crush the Order that destroyed us. He embodied my spirit. I am no lost Jedi, no ordinary Sith Lord. I am Terak Morij. Help me stop this monster, Parcanus, or you'll just be another of his victims. No one can oppose me. I am beyond flesh, beyond death. I will crush you, Jedi. And your shattered body will fuel my rebirth! Impressive, Jedi. You might even have triumphed, but my victory is already complete. My plague has spread farther than you can imagine. Jedi Masters across the galaxy are succumbing to it as I speak. The plague binds these masters to me. Hundreds of them. The heart and soul of your order. Free those masters, Morhage. Now! And if I refuse, will you cut us down? Kill me, and you will kill every master I have ever infected. Everyone. Shielded or not, they are still bound to me. But what choice do you have? You cannot let me live, and I am deathless. Your shielding talent cannot harm me. You've lost. No matter what, Parcanus will be freed from you, Morhage. No! Ah. Ah, this body is mine! Damn you, Jedi! When my strength returns, no matter the years, I will destroy you! I'm... still... alive. 
You spared me. My mind is clearer now. But it was your duty to kill me and destroy Morge. Too many Jedi have been lost already, including Parcanus Tark. Yes, Parcanus was lost. But perhaps he deserves another chance. I cannot return to the Order. But Tython has its hidden places, its forests. I could find peace there. I could go home. But first, Jedi, listen. Take this warning in exchange for my life. You can't trust the Order or the Republic. You may be their heroine now, but they will abandon you too. Remember that. We felt it. A massive shift in the Force. The Masters you saved have reported a sudden improvement in their condition. The plague is over, thanks to you. And I sent Parcanus Tark for the first time in many years. How can that be? Lord Vivacar, Parcanus, has been freed from darkness. I wouldn't have dreamed it possible. Perhaps there is hope for him. We persuaded the Republic to divert a starship to your location, just in case. The crew can bring Vivacar back to us. Thank you for all you have done. The Jedi Order owes its survival to you. Please, return to us on Tython. We wish to thank you in person, and we have a special reward for you. We've been awaiting your return. Please, step forward. You have saved untold lives through your defeat of Lord Vivica and the destruction of the plague. There's a title reserved for the most prestigious among us, whose wisdom and skill safeguard the galaxy. It hasn't been bestowed in thousands of years. But you have proved worthy. Now, the Council names you Barsan Thor, Warden of the Order. I will do all I can to live up to this honor. I never imagined your potential would take you so far. And not a moment too soon. We have need of you. We have received word that the Republic is facing a new threat. I stand ready for anything, Master. We need time to prepare a war council. The Supreme Chancellor himself will be attending. Take time to rest. And you should record your journey in the Jedi Archives. History must know of your actions. Return to us when you feel ready. For now, the entire Order will know there is a new Barsenthor among us. We hunt side by side, Quizen. Whatever my score, you share it. of your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Whatever the Order requires, I stand ready. Excellent. I knew we could rely on you. The conference is being held on Tython at the Temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also another matter we should talk of in person.
They need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. I trust the Council's judgment, Theron. I'd hope not. But as such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor, this is so exciting. Oh, and no time to recompile my hair. Ah, welcome. Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. What can I do for you, Chancellor? You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. The Republic has survived intact for thousands of years. What has changed? The threat of the Empire has strained us all. Dwindling resources, attacks, trade being lost. It's taken a toll. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. If this Rift Alliance's worlds are still part of the Republic, then there's hope for reconciliation. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. What sort of problems would I be solving? Whatever the Rift Alliance needs. Prove the Republic's worth to them. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your patience, your compassion and wisdom show that you merit the rank. Will you accept and become the Order's newest Jedi Master? It's a great responsibility. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. It is sensible to accept power reluctantly, but we know you are ready. Neil, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy. Before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise. And may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. You've given me an example to live up to, Master Seo. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. I'll head to the Fortitude immediately. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone might hear. I'm Nadia Grell. My father and the other Senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Erex. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Failsafe systems have been disabled. Collision with Duralia's surface is imminent. 
Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't. You'll just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Your father's safe now. I won't let anyone else be harmed. No, Jedi. My orders were no survivors, and it'll be a pleasure to obey. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Who is this Lord Kairos? A master I'm honored to serve. Hmm, my lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war once she's incapacitated. But the others must die, it is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. He seemed very intent on killing you all. Do you know why? To destroy the Rift Alliance and hurt the Republic, I'd say. That Sith also destroy the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blasus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just. I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! If we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srek Grula Woska. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. We'll each man one of the thrusters and get the fortitude to safety. I'll stay here and guide everyone. <laughs> Even I can miss a planet. It's all right, Dune. Everyone. Stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now! in a safe orbit over Duralia. Everyone's okay. We're all heading back to your starship. I'll meet you there. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? My role is to take care of your problems and prove the Republic respects and values you. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello, Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Being a Jedi is honor enough. Barsenthor is merely a ceremonial rank. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh... Punchimo. I, I'm Blasis. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello. And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? I'd love to hear all about your planet and culture when we have time. Ah, 
The Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Ty? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. No simple task. Even for a Jedi. True. But I've had years to plan. Technically, Balmor is not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmor's government has been in exile, myself included. And our droid factories are under Imperial control. But, if Balmor is liberated, I'll see we join the Republic, and bring our droid armies with us. The Republic would be honored to have you. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. Now more than ever, we must stand together. And I will prove how much the Republic cares about you. Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. Balmora. Home. I never wanted to see it like this. I am... was Balmora's trade secretary. I was off-world when the Imperial occupation began, and my colleagues were exiled or killed. Our president... he was taken, and who knows what he suffered. Hiding or not, I now have seniority. If we free Balmora, I become president. Balmora's not a Republic world. Why is the Empire here? Our droid manufacturing plants are fueling the Imperial War Machine. They must be liberated. And once our government is restored, I want Balmora to join the Republic. As a Jedi, I must stop the suffering of your people. Ty! It's... it's... it's madness. You don't have any supporters or, or soldiers, anything. That will change. Meanwhile, I have a contact who can help us. A revolutionary calling himself Zenith. Zenith and his followers have been sabotaging the Empire's operations. Assassination, sneak attacks... He's something of a blunt instrument. How does Zenith fit into your plans? I need his knowledge and resources, but first, we have to find him. When you're on the surface, go to this location and enter the phrase Two Perspectives Are Aligned into the computer there. It'll get Zenith's attention. Hopefully, he'll be amenable. Is there anything in particular you want me to tell him? Say whatever you need to. Just get him on our side. Best of luck. I've been... waiting to return for so long. I heard that two perspectives are aligned. Zenith only speaks in private and the Empire is always watching. There are privacy scramblers throughout this area, relics from a freer time. Switch them on and you will be contacted. Zena speaking, what do you want? I'm here on Ty Corden's behalf. Then what does he want? We share a goal, to free Balmora's people. Ty Corden is ready to rebuild the government. Unlikely. The old government's in exile. The Empire's too powerful. Hmm. Ty Corden was talented. Naive, though. Still, exile can change a person. No. The Republic has failed us before. Help me first, then we'll talk. What's the nature of this task? I'm tracking the Imperial head of manufacture, responsible for building weapons and enslaving my people. He's operating from inside the Okara droid factory. Normally, no problem. But he has a powerful bodyguard. I can't get close. Go to the factory and keep the bodyguard out of the way for me? Then we talk politics. What kind of resistance can I expect? I've seen him carry a lightsaber. Be careful. Don't take long. This mission is vital. Thank 
First those terrorists, now a Jedi. Saras, handle this intruder. As you command. Get back, Jedi. I'm apprentice to Darth Lacris, Vice President of Balmora, and this man is under my protection. You know this isn't the life you should be leading. Don't try to confuse me. My path is clear. My family has always lived here, watching Republic interference hold Balmora back. But Darth Lacris can lead us to glory. The Empire has enslaved families across Balmora. Did Darth Lacris spare yours? They... Serving the Empire is a privilege. I am proud they have the chance. You're young and strong. Defy Darth Lacris and help the people you love. Never mind this Jedi preaching. Ceres, kill her! No. I must... I need time to think on this. I will stand aside for you, Jedi. Find another way to help my people. You'll pay for that, Jedi! Your dribble just cost Darth Lacris an apprentice, and I'll be blamed! Whatever you came for, I'll never... Come out where I can see you. Jedi, good work distracting the bodyguard. Allow me to find a position. Hmm. Missed my shot. Step back, please. I need him dead. You will not commit murder in front of me. This is war. He's the enemy. This man enslaves Balmorans, so he dies. No. He's a wounded captive and must be treated fairly. Jedi foolishness. Okay. I will send men to capture him. I found a safe house where Ty and his colleagues can gather. My people are smuggling in there now. This is it. I'll go on ahead. Let me hear Ty's plan. Excellent work. Two of my colleagues have already returned from exile, and we can work safely here. Plotting to give Balmora to the Republic. One occupation replaced by another. But we both want the Empire gone. Our goal is the same. For now. Unless we work as allies, we can't free Balmora. Well said, and one of the pillars of my plan. Balmora's strength is in the huge corporations here. They have money, political pull, and military droids. So far, the Empire has left the corporations alone, in return for donations of weapons and credits. Those weapons and funds would greatly improve our own position. After you both handled that Imperial official, I called my old corporate contacts here. We have their attention. Their resources are invaluable to building our new government. I want their commitment. If the Empire finds out, the corporations will be purged. Which they understand, so they're driving a hard bargain. Director Finn is head of Troida, and speaks for the other companies. He's asked to discuss a deal with us. There's an old records vault outside Sobrick he's chosen for the meet. I'd like you to convince him to help. I hope to be a worthy representative for you. The Empire watches everyone important. Fenn will have Imperial droids escorting him. For protection. Destroy them quickly or they'll report you to the Empire. Then it's over. I see Ty Corden picks his negotiators well. That should wipe your presence from the droid's memory. Director Fenn, try to. I've been considering Ty Corden's offer. Given that we risk Darth Lacris's anger if we are caught, we want a special favor. What kind of favor? The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credit. If we support Ty, I want to promise that the Jedi won't interfere with our weapons development. Such matters must be decided by the Jedi Council. But you speak for your council, don't you? Wait, that's... the Imperial soldier monitoring those droids. Stay here. I'll, uh... I'll tell him something. Uh, 
thought he'd never leave. I have information for you. How did you know he'd gone anywhere? Imperials used that record vault. Monitoring devices helped me ambush him. Seems Director Finn has a wife and daughter in Sobrick. My men know where to find them. Mention that, and Finn will agree to anything. I can handle this without threatening innocent people. Innocent? He's an Imperial collaborator. But it's your decision. There. The Empire suspects nothing. So, can you promise the Jedi will not interfere with our work? How about instead we send just a few Jedi Overseers? It would please the Council, and be good for your image. Yes. In fact, that could boost our sales considerably. Here. A small token of our goodwill. Now, when the Empire invaded, we hid stockpiles of arms, secret blueprints, credit accounts. They're now yours. And ties. How can I find these stockpiles? This password will let you access terminals in Sobrook to get data on the stockpiles, but that data is encrypted. Once you have all the data, take it to the sunken Sarlacc Cantina in Sobrick. A cyborg there, Banks, can decrypt and transmit it for you. Just treat him gently. Thank you, Jedi. Defying Darth Lacris has been quite the adventure. Are you Banks? I need you to decrypt and transmit some data. You're risking your neck in here, Jedi. Solbrick's Imperial now. Everywhere. Even in my head. I'd love to help you, but Darth Lacris discovered how fast I work, and bang, I'm working for her. Anything you know about Darth Lacris could be very helpful. Well, our president's sick, so she's doing his job. Good at giving orders. Bad temper. Oh, and she wants to tear your heart out, because you cost her an apprentice. Darth Lacris has my brain busy processing a data stream right now. If I stop to decrypt this, it's the shock prod. My training taught me to manage multiple thoughts. That could be useful to you. I don't know. I might accidentally start unraveling the complexities of the universe or something. Okay, I'll try it. Close your eyes and listen. See your thoughts as moving lights in the darkness. Wow. I feel... I think I could process two streams at once. Give me your data. There. Decrypted, sent, and Darth Lacris is none the wiser. I appreciate it, Jedi. Huh. Maybe now I can get drunk and work at the same time. We've been receiving the stockpile data. It's better than I hoped. Look, Director Fenn already sent droids for protection. Oh, and Master Seal Bakarn wanted to speak to you. Yes. I hear you negotiated with the corporations, allowing us to supervise their weapons research. An admirable effort, but I wonder if a few Jedi Overseers can restrain them. Even a single Jedi's attention will make them think twice. I see you've thought carefully on this. I trust your judgment. I have Core World's business to attend to. Go well. With the Corporation's support, we're secure enough to begin the next stage of my plan. Word is, our current President Galtha is ill. He's rarely seen, and Darth Lacris says she's acting on his behalf. But I need him. Unless President Galtha publicly signs over power to me, becoming president will be difficult. His endorsement seems like a small thing beside the might of the corporations. President Galtha is well loved by Balmora's people. Without his approval, or fall, they'll never trust us. Trouble. And Foreman and Sobrick just recorded this speech from Darth Lacris. By our dear president, after these rumors of a new anarchist government, we are pursuing Executive Order 228. Using it, we've unmasked dozens of resistance accomplices hiding amongst us. But rest assured, they are already at our holding facility. Once they're punished for their crimes, Balmora's future will be bright again. Darth Lacris enjoys rounding up innocence. Set a trap for a Jedi. Kill the prisoners if no one takes the bait. Win-win for her. Maybe Darth Lacris doesn't know how many followers you have. Together we could catch her off guard. 
Good idea. We must make sure those people are safe first. We draw off the Imperials, you grab the civilians, right? Sounds possible. May the Force be with us. Thank you, both of you. We'll start arrangements to send those people into hiding. I know this holding facility, Death Trap. Here's the location. My men and I will go on ahead. Don't forget what we're risking for you, Ty. Because I won't. We got the Imperial forces to follow us. A few are being stubborn. They're guarding the facility and civilians inside put up defenses. Force fields are blocking the entrance. I must reach the civilians. I have plans with the locations of the generators powering those force fields. Shut those down, the facility's open. Back to work. Be careful. We're being cut down out here, Jedi. I won't let Darth Lacris win. We placed all our concussion charges around the facility. Shockwave will kill everyone inside. Timer's already counting down. Get everyone out, now! Please tell me those charges are on a long countdown. Longest I could set them for still isn't long. Hurry. I'll pull out, find the civilians you freed. Get the others and head to this outpost. If I'm not there, report to Ty. Terminal safe. He needs to know. Jedi, you're alive! We've been getting reports of explosions near the holding facility. This line seems secure. First, are all the civilians safe? They were all free long before the facility blew. Ah, wonderful. We've already arranged hiding places. Where's Zenith? I need to coordinate with him. You should guard your back better, Jedi. You might end up like my people. You had me worried, Zenith. Save your worry, I'm still alive. Almora will never forget those who died to free her, I swear. At least the civilians, real Balmorans, are safe. And we got information. I was in that place, Jedi. If you're looking for President Galtha, I know where they got him. Is he a captive? Or Darth Lacris's accomplice? I don't know, sir. I just saw him being smuggled in and out of the Balmoran Arms factory by the Imperials. This knowledge could save Balmora. I hope so. We just want our lives back. Darth Lacris isn't stupid. She'll guess Galtha's location is out. If I were her, I'd move him right away. If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. Someone who knows the area would be most welcome. We need to pinpoint the President's location first. I'll go ahead. Meet me at this position outside. I can't be signed into power without a committee of Balmora citizens. Sir, if I find you a refuge, would you help me call them together? Sure, Mr. Corden. You can count on me. Be careful in there, both of you. Balmoran Arms is an Imperial stronghold, and Darth Lacris might be expecting you. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the President. Can you keep track of him? No. We get him now, or not at all. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. Let's go, Jedi. Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. President should be close by. Let's go. More meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed that Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. 
Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. The people are with us. The corporations too. Your occupation is over. Ah, so you want President Galtha. Useless as ever. Though a tad more decorative now. Even Thord he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. Why couldn't the President help us? You broke my apprentice just to learn at my feet. I'm touched. No more talk. She has poisoned Balmora long enough. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death, rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. No, not yet. You don't understand. You've destroyed everything. You've... <laughs> Never been happier to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the President sounded too... honest. I sensed no deceit when she spoke. I can get President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. Ty's gone to meet his citizens' committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Ah, no more. No more. Don't be afraid. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with us. Stars. All round. Blind. No too many. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power. Lacris knew. No. The Empire can't win. We must fix this. I know a technique that helps people driven mad by darkness. Then try it. Can't be. Can't be. Go away. Feared this. He's broken, not corrupted. Hmm. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant. Hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though. Wouldn't last long, and it might kill him. A tie will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. I don't want Ty to become president because of a trick. If Balmorans see President Galtha like this, after all we've suffered, they'll crack. Ty's presidency will fail. The end. Ty escaped Imperial assassination for years. Ty himself proves there's hope. If you're wrong, we lose everything. I hope you can handle that. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrik. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Empty. All. Now. Go. Gone. Ugh. Sir, it's Ty, your trade secretary. What's wrong with him? His mind is irretrievably broken from torture. No, this can't be. He's... He's our leader. Imperial atrocities. This is why we must never stop fighting against the Empire. President Galtha is incapacitated. As senior official, Ty, you inherit his office. I didn't want it to happen like this. Ty Corden, we as fellow citizens of Balmora bear witness to your ascension to the office of president. 
I pledge to carry out my duties with honesty, integrity, and compassion for Balmora. This will be a difficult time. Set an example for your people. Guide them well. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? You all stand on the threshold of a new beginning. For Balmora, and for the Republic that waits to embrace you. And I hope the Jedi Order will always be a part of that future. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. There's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. I can't imagine you settling down to paperwork and election campaigning. I have fresh ideas. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. His dedication to your cause merits a reward. He's still an ally. He's not going away empty-handed. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hmm. Jedi keeps a long view, makes tough choices. Might work. I'm sure your skills and experience will continue to serve us well. Sure, since Jedi attract fighting. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. I don't recognize that. Did Theron install it? The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? If someone was plotting against us, I would feel it. Maybe. But I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up. So it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Are you hiding something from the other diplomats? Not, uh, ex not exactly. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, at a station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons, too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. I hoped I'd proven myself by helping Balmora. Unfortunately, their we've-been-neglected attitude is hard to shake off. Attis Station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. Do you know what happened? What was the situation before Addis Station went silent? They sent a routine update, then we heard Imperial soldiers were in the area. Nothing more. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But Father, Addis Station is built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. If anything happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. You won't have to protect me. Promise. Just focus on saving the station and our scientists. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently, responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson. You got a good operation here, Jedi. But too many people. Inefficient. Can't watch them all. Not everyone is out to get you, Zenith. The last few years taught me otherwise. Be tough to adjust. Strange to be off Balmora, with political power. Peace will be even stranger.
Hermitry detonator would open it, if you don't mind a landslide. Sorry, there were Imperial soldiers wandering around. I had to hide for a bit. You should always be mindful of your welfare, but I could use your help. Oh, let me take care of that. We built an Emmanuel release just in case. Now where? It's awfully quiet in there. I hope everyone's all right. I have to get this door closed before the atmosphere contaminates the station. I'll meet you inside. The airlock's closed. We're safe. These are the people who attacked the station? Who are they? Individuals who draw on the dark side of the Force and have no mercy. We call them Sith. Like the ones on the Fortitude, when you rescued us. There must be somebody still alive. We built at a station to survive anything. Yes, here. Some of the science staff are in another wing, behind a security door. With luck, they got inside before the enemy spotted them. Maybe we can sneak them out? If there's... Oh no. Look, there's an entire group of Sith headed that way. If they get in, the scientists... It'll be like the Fortitude again. <laughs> Just like I said, these Republic scum have bolt holes everywhere. Let's get rid of them before the Sith take credit. No, I won't let it happen again. I won't. Go, get my override code from the console and protect the scientists. I'll handle this. How can you have that kind of power? You're wasting time. You have to stop the Sith from reaching the scientists! Jedi, I can do this. Please, trust me. Like I trust you. Conserve your energy. Keep your mind focused and let the Force flow through you. I'll remember, I promise. Ah, you'll end up on a dissecting table for that girl! You'll have to catch me first. As I suspected, you have a talent for interrupting my work, Jedi. But you're not alone. That girl's here too, yes? Fascinating. What's her name? What's your interest in her? She's a curiosity. But she can wait. I am Lord Kairos, and you're supposedly a Jedi Master, though this is a poor beginning. Wouldn't Master Sayo or Yuan have your diplomats in line by now? Not much of a mind game, Sith. A Jedi enslaved the bureaucrats, and they still don't trust you. Senator Grell didn't even bother making excuses for them, did he? It takes time to be proven worthy of trust. And you can waste time humoring these people. Commendable. I know you, Jedi. I know everything you've heard, everything you've done. I know you killed my servant, Arax, to save the girl. You fought so hard to save the Fortitude and Balmora. Yet nobody respects you for it. I'll be interested to see where your path leads next, Jedi. Goodbye. Gilead Cook is dead. The camera self dead. The enemy is gone. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with me. A sword in Ben is mending Sajana. Hoje a jack that a domino. Uge ere took me the tactive es? It is a Jedi's duty to protect the innocent from harm. Tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. I'd like to see the benefits of this healing technology you've discovered. A hirnev nindi ment ki hoje. There you are, Jedi. See? I said I'd be fine. I checked the station. It's all clear. I'm heading back to the ship before Father starts fretting. I'll meet you there. Mege hoje on nem kep visele. 
Kava tuta od mishka kaba notase mawakila. We'd like to formally apologize for keeping attestation classified from you. Mistrust is a luxury we cannot afford. I regret not taking that to heart sooner. Please don't be angry with us. We're very grateful you saved the, the station. Though we'll need uh, t twice the guards to protect that medical research from the Empire. Spend the credits and hire them. Those medicines could be an investment for years. If you've all quite finished, the Jedi and I have matters to discuss alone. Thank you for protecting my Nadia. She told me you saw her outburst. I imagine you want an explanation. Her talents appear unique. What is she? I was almost hoping you could tell me. The Republic calls them Force Abilities, but to me they're Nadia's gifts. Her powers are stronger than many Jedi, but unpredictable. I hoped she would learn from you, from your experience. It's not uncommon for powerful Force sensitivity to run in families. Me? No, no. I don't have these powers, nor anyone we know back home. Nadia is special. My daughter looks up to you. Please, keep being her example. Now, Atter Station's researchers said a Lord Kairos contacted you. Didn't he order the attack on the Fortitude where we all met? Lord Kairos has been monitoring us since we left the Fortitude. That monitoring device Nadia found. It seems we do have a traitor on board. I should be able to sense any treachery through the Force. Naturally. Still, the evidence is there. Perhaps if we act normally, our guest will leave another clue. In the meantime, there may be another way for you to help the Rift Alliance. A group of our soldiers on Hoth has run into a difficult situation. What do you mean by difficult situation? Hoth is infested with pirates who harass our shipping lanes, so we formed a coalition force to handle them. A quick mission, we thought. But those pirates just can't be defeated, and the Republic won't spare any help. How could a group of pirates survive against a powerful coalition force? We're not sure. The reports we have from Hoth are odd. We can explain more when we arrive at Hoth. Until then, watch your back, Jedi. We're just getting clearance for Hoth, Jedi. Won't be a minute. Chut, chut. Pocachula, chanu gando doe waliatapa. The Republic has a right to be careful. The White Moor is cunning, and a vast frozen wasteland is quite the place to hide. The Jedi Archives say Hoth is the coldest inhabited planet in the galaxy. Nothing but ice and snow. They, they forgot pir pirates, scavengers, and monsters. The White Moor is the largest pirate band in the galaxy. A splinter group has been attacking the shipping lanes to our worlds. Toehawa do punyo uzdie woto. Saigoto wope upi. And the Republic won't waste more men to save them. Fools. Now there's a risk of mutiny. Our coalition might abandon Hoth altogether. How is it this White Maw is giving your soldiers so much trouble? The, the reports we've had are very, very strange. N none of them make sense. We're giving you command of our coalition force. Find out what's happening, and get rid of those pirates so our men can come home. The only soldier still bothering to send a daily report is Lieutenant Felix Ireso, the officer in charge. He's at the Republic base. I will speak to him. Ah, there's our clearance. Be careful, Jedi. Quite aside from the White Moor, Hoth's cold enough to freeze you solid. I'm telling you, LT, getting out today is our best chance. Maybe our only chance. Private Cree, I've noted your complaint. Twice. Now kindly put a sock in it before... Hey! See, guys? Just when it seems bleak, in walks a Jedi. Welcome. I heard some pirates were making life difficult for you. Perhaps I can assist. Sounds good to me. I'm Lieutenant Felix Oresso, the ranking officer. A Jedi? So what? Captain Balon will finish her off like he did Daskin Antilles. The private is referring to a White Maw foot soldier who became a major player overnight. When Valan and his followers started harassing the Outer Rim, they sent us in. The LT forgot the best part, Jedi. Valon can't die. Everything that lives, dies in its time. We even collapsed an ice tunnel on Valon. Next day, he's fighting us again. 
Now he's stolen our thermal bore device. This is over. We're leaving today. Enough back chat. All of you, dismissed. Sorry. They're getting twitchy. Valan's putting up a fight, and he'll have plans for that thermal bore device. A thermal bore device doesn't sound like a weapon. The ice here is as thick as a Gamorrean skull. A thermal bore melts it fast for mining or building bases. Set that device in the wrong place, the ice shelf will crack, and this base is history. Recovering the thermal bore might help morale, but... my guys won't fight Valan again. These are trained professionals. Can't we appeal to their sense of honor? They need a victory. Any victory. Please, can you help me out and find that device? According to its transponder, the device is in an old Imperial science lab. It's not far. I'll be here, trying to stop a mutiny. Watch your back around Valan, Jedi. I've seen him fight, and it's not pretty. Jedi. Perfect. You must be looking for me, Captain Valen. Soon to command every pirate on Hoth. But you don't have to kneel or anything. Please lay down your weapons and tell your men to do the same. Well, since you ask so nicely, no. I was flattered. A whole coalition army sent just to kill me. But it got old, so I'm glad for something new. Hmm. Nice day, pretty lady. Maybe I'll let you go. For now. Better hurry before the device goes off. The device could kill hundreds of people if it cracks the ice shelf. That's kind of the idea. Can't say I didn't give you a chance. I'm unique. The galaxy hasn't seen a man like me since Noc Drayan wiped out half the Hut cartel in one night. My legend's just begun. How about being the first Jedi I ever kill? That Coalition soldier said Valan couldn't die. Looks dead to me. The conditions here. Seeing friends die. No wonder the Coalition began to think Valan was invulnerable. It's too chilly to stand around. We should get the device back to Lieutenant Orisso. Hey, you're back! With one thermal bore device, safe and sound. Maybe I can salvage this up after all. Seems Captain Valan met his match. Guess we softened him up for you, huh? With Valan dead, I imagine you're all eager to get off this world. Every time I turn around, my men are standing closer to the landing pad. But mine's around it. <laughs> They'll soon back off. Thank you for this. You're, uh, really not how I imagined a Jedi Master to... Ah, uh, sorry, priority call. Thought I'd find you skulking there, Jedi. You're gonna pay for that insult. You and the Republic. I defeated you. I saw your corpse. Think you're pretty smart, don't you? Try your brain on this. We just found a heat exchanger for all the Republic bases. Might have ransomed it back, too. But since you crossed me, it's history. And you all freeze. That son of a... My men will be back from exercise soon. They can't know Valan's alive. Your men might help us unravel this mystery. No! If they catch on that Valan survived a duel with a Jedi, I'll have a mutiny on my hands for real. My men can't find out. I could take them to pick off Valan's scouting parties, build up their morale, but everyone will die without that heat exchanger. If Valan really is alive, I need those scouting parties gone. Leave the rest to me. You're right. Sorry, I've been doing stuff single-handed. The heat exchanger's in this location. There's a Republic outpost... here. We can use while we're tracking those scouts. Come report to us when the exchanger's safe. I don't believe in ghosts, but this is... good luck. Excellent. In position and right on time. Good to know we still have well-informed friends. Imperials have no friends. Only people they haven't betrayed yet. Now, Jedi, our orders are to freeze you in carbonite, not kill you. So kindly surrender now. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your generous offer. Yes, they said you might be stubborn. Keep her still. I need a clear shot or she'll just freeze and shatter. No, please. I'm an engineer. 
I was just supervising the carbonite weapon. Please don't kill me. The informant didn't say you were some crazy super Jedi. Who's been passing on information about me? I don't know. They never showed their face. This anonymous tip said you'd insulted Captain Valon. The commandos planned to use you to lure him out. They needed you as bait. Said they had to get back the armor Valon stole. What's so special about Valon's armor? Hoth's covered in starship wreckage. We found advanced armor in a wreck and took it to our labs. That armor has a special healing mechanism. It heals any wound. They just got it working when Valon stole it. That's all I know, I swear. Can... can I go? One more question. Will this armor keep Valon alive no matter what I do? I don't know. They said Valon's invincible while he's wearing it. I'm never coming back to Hoth. I'm getting out of it. I'm still bleeding. Please, great Jedi, could you heal me? I'll never make it to the landing pad like this. I cannot leave anybody in pain. Here, this will help. Yes, that's better. Thank you, Jedi. I'll never forget this. They tracked us back here, LT. Those scouts were coordinated. Captain Valon's still alive, isn't he? You lied to us. Were you in on this, Jedi? Yes, but I've discovered how Valon keeps surviving. It's too late for that. We always wondered how you escaped the Imps, LT. Now this? We... we're not gonna stay here and die. Talk or shoot, Private. Don't try and do both, okay? You're in command, Jedi. I keep very special punishment chores for soldiers who step out of line. The Private's scared and he made a mistake. Let him make amends. That's forgiveness, Kree. Remember it. Because if you push your luck again, the memory is all you'll have. Yes, yes, sir. But Kree's right. We can't stop Valon. No one can. Everyone listen. Valon's only advantage is that he knows something you don't. An advantage he's now lost. He wears healing armor he took from an Imperial lab. Without it, he's just another man. So, Valon's secret is this special armor. Huh. You know, we did get intel about an Imperial lab hidden nearby. If the Empire was studying that armor, we might find information there. If you knew this lab was there, surely you could have destroyed it. We didn't have the numbers. The place is crawling with guards. A frontal assault would really cost us. But we could handle the guards while you get inside. Or, we could try luring them out, get them lost in the snow. Risky, but less risky than fighting. It's your call. Draw them out into the snow. Don't fight unless you have to. Minimal casualties and we get to be sneaky. Outstanding. All right, we take the guards, you get in and see what you can find. I'll find you when we're clear. Everyone, get your gear. We're hitting both Valon and the Empire on this one. Yes, you. Too late. I heard you were coming after the regenerative armor and I've destroyed my notes. You learn nothing. I want the name of your informant. Now. You... You don't scare me. We're secure. The guards are lost, but two of my guys are missing too. We're looking for them. I claim immunity. Under Section 1138 of your Republic Charter. You cannot coerce or harm a political prisoner. Uh-huh. But Hoth isn't in the Republic now, is it? Tell me all you know about the armor Valon stole. Yes. I... I must tell you all about the armor. The armor's healing function is impressive. See, this is based upon it. But the armor itself can be overstressed. If Valon was mortally injured several times quickly, the healing function would shut down, leaving him vulnerable. Can the armor's healing functions be shut down any other way? No. They are too sophisticated. This is a crude method, but it will work. Sorry to interrupt, LT. We've spotted a group of Valon's men. They're headed for a scavenger's camp. Should we engage them now or wait for you? Cut off their escape route and hold back until I arrive. Yes, sir. I'll pass it on. Wait! 
your Republic Charter State's prisoners must be cared for. Without my equipment, this lab will soon freeze. Forget it. I'm down two men already. I'm not wasting another to escort you home. If we ignore the Republic Charter, we're no better than him. You can spare one man. Okay, okay. I'll send someone for him, but we'd better get to that camp. Just stuff them on top, quick. If the pirates see this stuff, we'll never get our cut. We'll... Oh. Jedi, this... It's not what it looks like. I gave you a second chance, and you repay me with betrayal? I'm not betraying anyone. I just want to survive. We're dying by the day, and Valon just keeps going. Valon promised us. Lead his men here, we stay alive. Not for long. Who's gonna stop Valon? You? You don't have the backbone. You couldn't even give me punishment duty. If you have insight into Valon's plans, it could save you and your comrades. No. You keep fighting him, you're gonna get us all killed. I've been saving this knockout gas for a good cause. If I have to fight, I'd rather take someone who can die. <coughs> I've got an update. This is big. Ah, uh, wait, is that Private Cree? Was he in on this? He thought he could save himself by guiding Valon's men here. Let's hope he didn't give them any intelligence. We've got enough trouble. Our scouts tracked the pirate's trail back to the starship graveyard. Right to a dreadnought. The thing's a fortress. That must be where Valon's hiding out. And he won't just be sitting there. These scavengers use special gear to get salvage out of the ice. Valon's men went straight for it. I think Valon's planning to raise the old Republic dreadnought from the graveyard. Then he'd have his own flagship. With his healing armor and a ship that size, every pirate on Hoth would join him. Yeah. We have to get in there. This'll be rough. That class of ship used heavy security doors as choke points. Plus, the scouts reported lots of pirates. Wait, LT. Jedi, you've put yourself on the line for us over and over. What if we attack the flagship's engines? Valon wants the ship, he'll have to defend them. That'll work. We'll keep Valon's men out of the way, Jedi. You finish him for us. Thank you. Watch your backs and help each other. I want you all back alive. I'm with them, Jedi. Right now, I... I wouldn't want to be shoulder to shoulder with anyone else. Our radios won't work out here, but I'll send you an alert when we've disabled the engines. We'll join you if we can. Find some way past those security doors and get to Valon. I just hope I'll be there for the finish. That's far enough, Jedi. The pirate Valon is ours. And so is that armor he borrowed. I heard that Valon took the armor from under the Empire's nose. It was a loan. The armor made him the perfect weapon to attack the Republic and your little coalition. Unfortunately, Valon's becoming a nuisance. He needs to be put down. We're taking that armor back if we have to rip it off Valon's body. You're not in any position to stop us. They're stubborn, Valon. But when the flagship is ready, the rest of the White Maw will follow. We... who's that? Someone who can't take a hint. I was hoping you'd be here for this. See? Some in the White Maw see that I'm the future. When this ship is raised, I'll have a whole planet of followers. You're no pirate, Lord. You're just a thief with a set of healing armor. Who wiped out dozens of your soldiers. The White Maw is mine, along with this ship. When she takes to the sky, the Outer Rim's gonna tremble before... What the... All your men just died defending the engines. This ship's going nowhere. Nice, Fallon. No, no, you can't do this. I'm untouchable. Even death can't take me. The Coalition will be here soon. Your only hope of survival is to give up now. They want me? They'll have to step over your carcass. You're finished, Jedi. <laughs> It's... it's gone. You broke... Uh. That's music to my ears. Hello, Valon. I've been waiting for this since we buried Antilles. Just hold on, Jedi. I got a deal for you. Hear me out. You're hardly in a position to try anything. Speak. Your Rift Alliance needs help, right? I got men, ships, equipment. I could attack the Empire's trade routes for you. You would better be joking. The armor's broken. 
but you'd get the pick of what I got left. You can have my oath right now. Your ambition makes you too dangerous to be trusted. And that means you finally get to enjoy some Republic hospitality, Valon. Thank you, Jedi, for everything. Meet us back at the Republic base. We'll get our guest where he belongs. Jedi, we've been waiting for you. We wanted to say thanks before we left. We'd never have made it through without your help. It was worth it all to see Valon stuffed in a convict shuttle. It was an honor to work alongside you. Go well. The LT got called up to your starship to make his report. He said to meet you up there. Whatever anyone says, you're one of us now, Jedi. Best of luck. Point of story, Jedi. If we'd known the pirates had such technology, at least you were there to make the mission a success. Nagula ji wonta humpa muli ra wata wompa. He was at my mercy. The Jedi Code required I spare him for judgment. We're forgetting someone. Good work, Lieutenant Iresso. We'll make sure the Republic rewards you before you're reassigned. Actually, sir, as a reward, you could persuade my superiors to assign me here, if that's okay. It'd be an honor to serve with you. Plus, an extra blaster never goes amiss, right? There's most certainly a place for you here, Lieutenant. Thanks. That's a warmer reception than I've had in a while. Excellent. It's settled, then. I'm sorry. Could you excuse us for a moment? You mentioned someone on Hoth was sending the Empire information about you. Have you discovered who it was? I think it was someone on board. Since I found that monitoring device, I've been watching our communications. I spotted a message to the Empire in amongst other messages while the channels were busy, but I can't trace who sent it. The monitoring device? The messages? Lord Kairos' inside knowledge? Our traitor can work our communication system. Perhaps someone has communications experience they haven't disclosed? Alani can handle a dozen messages at once. Maybe it's her. No, no. Alani sticks to her personal channel. Ty only got a call or two before he left. Duan never speaks to anyone. A Selkath could easily avoid suspicion after what the Empire did to them. Hmm. Maybe before attestation. But now Shuru won't hear a word against you. You know, Blasis gets an awful lot of work from the Aragorn bureaucracy. And a lot of calls. Wait, when you were on Hoth, and someone leaked those messages, Blasis was sending reports everywhere. What if he alerted the Empire, then? Even if Blasis isn't responsible, he could point us in the right direction. Wait here. I'll see where he's got to. No, it couldn't be Blasis. I just sent him on a mission. I meant to surprise you, Nadia. King Sethan and Queen Niska themselves are donating a regiment to the Republic. This king and queen are your homeworld's rulers? Yes, yes, that's right. The royal family wanted to heal relations between the Rift Alliance and the Republic. They thought donating troops would help. They planned a ceremony on Waypoint Station 3 to present you with the soldiers. But you were needed on Hoth, so I sent Blasis as our envoy. He's with the king and queen right now. Tell the royals to stay with their soldiers until I arrive. There's no answer. Jedi... What have I done? I'll contact Ty. His droids could guard the royal family until we get there. Be sure he knows our suspicions, just in case. Will do, Jedi. Let's go. Now we can talk without Sub-Zero wind in our ears. Thank you. Not just for saving my guys. You got me out of Hoth. You have no idea how much I was starting to hate that planet. I found Hoth rather picturesque, actually. Taking graves out there takes the bloom off, I'm afraid. You know, I miss the rest of the unit already. Even Kree. But they're going home, and that's the important thing. They've earned it. And here's our guest of honor. Kairos, if the Jedi takes one step toward their majesties, cut their throats. It will be done, my master. We're no threat to you. Please, at least release my wife. I know you can exploit any advantage, Jedi. So the soldiers had to die. The civilians, too. I do, after all, take pride in being thorough. So much darkness. And I never felt anything from you except fear. Is that curiosity? 
or envy. I'm no mere infiltrator. I am Organ Blasis, and I am a child of the Emperor. I was brought before the Emperor as an infant, and imprinted with his power, his consciousness. I shared the greatest mind in the galaxy. With the first sun concealing my presence, I joined hundreds of my brothers and sisters scattered throughout the Republic to watch and wait. One man can't hide hundreds of infiltrators from an entire galaxy of Jedi. A single Jedi healer severed Tarek Morridge from his army, as I recall. This is immaterial. An Imperial fleet is coming. You will all be destroyed, and without the Rift Alliance, the Republic is finished. The Empire is merciful, Your Highness. Your planet could be spared the coming destruction. How? Tell me! Order your bodyguards to kill the Jedi. All resistance to evil begins with saying no. Senator Grell told us about your courage. I will not raise my hand against you. Your Empire's friendship is worthless to us. You'll regret being so stubborn when your planet is burning. Kairos, show them how a Jedi dies. Why won't you accept that our victory is inevitable? Destroying my servant won't end this. Maybe not, but we can wreck your day trying. First son of the Emperor will lead us to glory. Your death is the first step on that path. At least give me the courtesy of knowing my enemy's name. Die in ignorance. It has been agony restraining myself from killing you. He's dead? You... How could you... He seemed invincible. Why would he do this? Tobus Grell said Blasis was your ally. These children of the Emperor seem intent on destroying the Rift Alliance and thereby the Republic. Our troops died because of his treachery. They were so proud. They would have served your Republic well. Your soldiers died nobly, trying to protect you. I hope Tobus Grell and little Nadia are all right. We owe them so much. What happens now? We will ask the Republic for help getting home. I will never forget how you came to our rescue. From now on, the Republic will have full access to our treasury. If you are being targeted, there may be further attacks. You are kind to be so concerned, but we will be safe at home. Goodbye, Jedi. Go safely. Blasis was a Sith. He's dead, and the royal family are safe. But their soldiers weren't as lucky. Jedi, quickly. You need to hear this. Good to see you. My commanders and our droids routed an Imperial fleet near your position, but this report is... odd. Our men had a dozen sudden power failures, a major communications fault. I'd call that sabotage. I suspect I know who's behind it, but let me know what you find. I sense a Jedi business explanation approaching. Master Seo's trying to get through. Thank the Force you're all right. The Empire has launched a devastating offensive. The galaxy is again at war. Dozens of major systems are being invaded. An Imperial ambush almost broke the Republic fleet and the Jedi. Every hour more are lost. We managed to protect the core worlds, but the rest of the Republic is under fire. The Empire never intended this peace to last. I need you. All of you. The Rift Alliance worlds are the only ones still standing strong. We need you to... Wait. I don't see the Aragorn representative. Is Blazis all right? I also have bad news. The Republic has been infiltrated. The children of the Emperor. Now, of all times, you say they've hidden themselves in the Republic. This first son is able to completely mask the other children from us. Hmm. <laughs> That fills a void in our knowledge. Several years ago, one of the Dark Council turned and joined us. He brought valuable intelligence. He mentioned these children of the Emperor. But even the Dark Council only knew terrible rumors. We must be on guard. In the meantime, the Chancellor has invoked an ancient law giving Jedi Masters military authority. The Republic needs our leadership. What would you have me do? We can't win with the armies we have. The Republic needs powerful allies. And you have already proven you could lead them. 
You and the Rift Alliance must search the galaxy, seek out the strongest forces you can find, to strike back at the Empire. You won't be alone out there, Jedi. Balmora will always be your ally, no matter what. I'd rather follow someone I respect. Count me in too. We've come a long way together. Now it's time to use our strength. We must begin our search for allies at once. I must admit, this task does seem near impossible. Places murdered so many of my people alone. To fight all the children and this empire. Who could help us? We need more than just soldiers. To truly face the empire, we'll need superior tactics or technology. <laughs> What of the Noeticons? The ancient masters who taught you the shielding technique. Their knowledge and experience could guide us. The Noeticons were lost when the Sith attacked me on Coruscant. We recovered the last fragments of the Noeticons, and our most gifted engineers have been reconstructing them on Typhon. They haven't responded to anyone, even the Council. But they may remember you. I must go. Leave for Typhon and speak to the Noeticons. I hope their knowledge has survived. May the Force be with you. The Order needs your guidance once more, Masters. A broken vessel merely frees its contents. Your face is familiar. Though life has written on you since we taught you the shielding technique. Yes. Now I recall. <sighs> I sense the Sith were behind our sudden plunge into darkness. A moment, Master Arca. Was the shielding technique successful? Did it save your master? Yuan Par is alive and well because of the lessons you taught me. That is most excellent news. Now, tell us what brought you here. So, you seek an army to protect the Republic from its enemies. Quite a puzzle, even for us. But not impossible, Master Varus. The ancient Rakata boast in their writings of imprisoning a sleeping army. As I remember, the Rakata conquered and enslaved most of the galaxy before they died out. The translation? Oh, this is fascinating. Apparently, the Rakata imprisoned this army in stasis beneath the planet's surface. But see, the writings are incomplete. There's no record of which planet it is. Perhaps we could extrapolate the planet's position from the rest of the writings. They speak of a fading nova in the night sky during the prison's construction. In that time period? Then it's somewhere in the mid-rim. But we're missing a coordinate to pinpoint it. See here, a monument proclaims our victory. And that's the Rakata term for Hoth. This monument on Hoth will have the last coordinate. But go carefully. The Rakata protected their monuments from enemies and rebelling slaves. Its guardians may still be active. I feel like there's so much more you could teach me. You've done a great service in reawakening us. For now we must conserve our energy. And you have an army to find. May the Force be with you, and with the Republic. Yes, 
I was certainly sent by masters to get information. Who or what are the Eshka? You said a faction of the Eshka wasn't interested in destroying other species. We should talk to these Eshka. See how they feel about another empire causing trouble. You're planning to brainwash people? I'm afraid I can't let you harm innocent people. But my Senate clearance got us some answers. It's a world called Belsavis. And the Ashka won't be lonely. The Republic's using Belsavis as a high security prison. I can still seek out the Eshka without causing a stir. Maybe the Eshka who oppose this galactic cleansing can persuade the others. We should seek out these Eshka with all haste. I think they've been imprisoned long enough. The Republic says we can't land until they confirm Father's clearance. It's all right, Nadia. Belsavis is their prison. They make the rules. So, if the Noeticons are right, this is where the Eshka, our sleeping army, was shut away. As only an ember akiminta. I'll try to persuade them, but the Eshka must decide for themselves. By these coordinates, the Republic prison is practically on top of the Ricotta facility. Seems awfully hazardous, unless they don't know the Ricotta facility is there. But the Republic does know this planet. Perhaps someone could point us in the right direction. We need the Eshka as soon as possible. Any help would be valuable. Finally! Jedi, someone down there wants to talk to you. Hello, this is Assistant Comey. We... No, they're still securing that block. We're dealing with a major breakout and rioting, Senate clearance or not. I, we can't help you. I'm a Jedi Master, and I'm seeking something left behind on Belsavis. Maybe centuries ago. But we don't really have... Are, are you talking about the vaults? The prison started out maintaining the old vaults on the surface. When the Empire began blowing doors open, the riot started. What? Try the secondary code! I think you need my boss, Commander Geelan. He studies those vaults as a hobby. Is Commander Geelan there with you? Right now, Commander Geelan is... Oh, blast. The locator towers are still down. Those locators track our ID cards, but they shut down after the first power cut. I can't find the commander until they're reset. And the prisoners around those towers are... killing anyone who tries to fix them. Maybe I can restore some order down there. We'd appreciate it. When you reach the towers, just flip a switch. Once the towers are up, I can find Commander Geeland and we... Oh, sorry, gotta go. Thank you! just lit up. We can track our teams, control the perimeter, everything. Thank you. Any Jedi would have been eager to help. Now, you're asking about Belsavis's history. Let me see, Commander Geeland is here, with his team in one of the cells. He can tell you about the vaults or whatever you need. It seems an odd time to be wandering around the cells. The log says he's investigating how the Empire breached our security. I'll put a holocall through to that cell so Commander Geeland knows you're coming. Now you've restored the locators, we just might survive. Please stay safe.
Don't move. Don't say anything. Now he can't see us. I ran all the way here. I couldn't risk Commander Geeland getting you too. So he's a traitor. I called Commander Geeland on the Hollow and said a Jedi Master was coming to see him. He just said, thanks, Comey. Then he killed everyone with some sort of lightning. All I could do was watch. I guess we tipped off a child of the Emperor. And if that's his ID card, there's no way to track him down. Any idea what he wants or where he would go? I don't know. The last few days have been a nightmare. Now this. When the Empire blew one of the vaults open, Commander Geelan found an ancient computer inside. He said the computer had data about Belsavis. He wanted to go back and study it. Did this computer have information about an elder race? If it did, he never told me. The vault isn't far, but since the alien population broke out, it's a war zone. But if you can reach it, that computer probably has whatever you're looking for. And then you can punish Commander Geeland, right? I'll make my judgment once I find him. I should see to the... bodies. I can't let their IDs fall into enemy hands. Best of luck, Jedi. Sorry, Jedi. That terminal's already been neutralized. Welcome to Belsavis. I'm Commander Geeland, and you've just wandered into my territory. I know what you are. I've encountered your siblings already. Yes, place has always had a theatrical streak, but now you're here. I know you came for the Eshka, but they won't be following you anywhere. This prison and everything in it is mine. Every droid, turret, and camera. You're a rat in a very big cage, and you'll die like one. You can destroy my body, but I will always be part of the Force. As you like. You're now a Category 10 escapee. The prison systems are authorized to kill you on sight. You won't survive the onslaught for very long. <laughs> Yes. What's your name? You appear well acquainted with Belsavis. What do you know of the Eshka? Hopefully Hallow Voice and I can come to an accord. Then disengaging those protocols should be my first priority. What will you be doing in the meantime?
I don't know what you did, Jedi, but nobody locks me out of my system. I simply wish to find the Eshka without interference. Challenging me was stupid. I'm in charge here, and you're standing in a block of quarantine cells. So if I accidentally break the air filters, I guess all those disease-laden spores will go pouring back in. That would be most unwise on your part. Unfortunately, all the prisoners in this block will get the same treatment. And they don't have a Jedi's constitution. I could release them before they get sick, but I just don't know what kind of mood they're in. I'm willing to risk it. Just remember, only the very worst come to Belsavis. Good day. Welcome to the psychiatric unit. Somehow, I always knew this day would come. A senior Republic officer left orders to restrain a dangerous prisoner suffering from the delusion she is a Jedi. <laughs> you match this prisoner's description. I am here to facilitate your needs during your stay. Whatever you've been told, I'm a member of the Jedi Order. Accepting your condition is the first step to recovery. Please relax while I await Commander Geelan's input on breaking your Jedi delusions. I could demonstrate my strength in the Force. Would that convince you? Safety regulations forbid encouraging patients to act out their fantasies. Don't be alarmed. This is only a demonstration. Empirical evidence suggests a clerical error. I apologize, Master Jedi. System analysis also reports you are sending all clear signals. Allow me to send the next signal for you. Sent. Can I assist you further, Master Jedi? Do you have any data on the Eshka? I apologize, but there is no prisoner named Eshka in my database. Thank you. Please check your belongings before leaving the psychiatric unit. Be careful. Our enemy has gone on the offensive. There's Mat Zenkaijum. Maestra Mehuruba. I thought the Rakata were wiped out by plague and rebelling slaves. Zinyes de Hedruli, just Bruli Fehed and Dunqua. Habib de Gelere, Lili Bahura Bahije. Correcting such an injustice is a rare privilege. Jahros de Dies, Degesh Marwar. Yes, yes, deadly kunu. Me hekadine lerte. Yerte hemer zonanye. Me kontias temeta. They have my lightsaber and all the strength I can muster. Argilu leker kien me tajaben. Habib yeke. Jik inter, me beg dressed pasiat dan ilbi for cost in pain. Bien furk dan mitof, ma kopiet ni churma, gurm genacht. I am a Jedi Master. 
I'm no threat to you or your people. Jurestre, Bojest, Kadurth, Diest, Tietko, Madwar. Zinjeski Hedluli, das Bulli für Hedan Dankwa. Hibin für Dami Fim Dürfner Makape. Zekian Aktest wird in Hjuli Digmen Kitieb. Listen to me. If your savants stay here, they'll be burned to death. Kigrit, Torakara, Kowatmur, Hier Sorgjigiest. Gamer the Johnny, or me Kun Mega. Your hellest ik kark gwe. Doli tiester cigar hued za master. I've come to free your leader, if I can find him. Turdem for the end, yekia dakshek has zanya. In orbit tiet gye, li jorkon in sortet. Kigret, to rakara, ko watmur, hier sorgjigiest. I appreciate the help, but I don't know what that means. Piestu, sum tiet gye, fiu for yest, da murgiest hiu. Shun bahali, fork jom shiest mur gihast hafa niet. Stand down. I echo Hala voice as he echoed Broken Scar. Mafork naho ratiest bi elmu in tisor mahefne. Shun bahali fork jom shiest mor gihast hafa niet. Dweyad or kavdiri kwaniet fil best ro. You spent thousands of years looking at a wall? Poof. In orbit tiet gye, li jorkon in sortet. I need to find Hala Voice's stasis chamber. Zekian aktest vertin hiu li tikmen kitieb. Jik inter, mebeg drest pasiat dan ilbi, for cost in pain. Dilor stavne ta sigore li duare gistagsi. So these warriors are senior to you? Ah, foka, ta mitre in gebrest. Bies jara karestia. Zin jest jur drukal jasbru, li hida naka miest hija. I echo hallow voice, as he echoed broken scar. It's all right. Jik inter, mebeg drest pasiat dan ilbi, for cost in pain. Kabiest mechetur, janur, griske imdi, jorkiest meta. Zraben jigiawa, magoliest kiburu jiasnu. I promise Hallow Voice will be safe with me. Shun bahali, fork jom shiest mor gihast hafa niet. Maro gialdest mat kzenki, tuom kurz kil miestra hulba. Magna tieske, te mërst galmjog fjestne. I'll blunt the thorns as you would, and guard hallo voice. Gjelkur jelkwa matitla. As bjel pjen tisere basa manala. Me banda dres pas tjak tan elbin es fër kastin ti. Still alive, Jedi. Nobody escapes Belsavis, or a child of the Emperor. I warned you, she's an agent for the Rakata. Will you stand there while she murders Hallow Voice? I'm no assassin. I'm here to save him. I don't think they're listening.
no Jedi could... No, this is over. I'll be the one who takes your head, not the others. The First Son will see what Dal Savas can do. At least give me the First Son's name before I die. You're an insect in the machine. You don't get last requests. Set emergency condition 292. Respond with lethal force. You see, Jedi, there's power and there's control. Without both, you're nothing. How can you know me if you've been imprisoned? I cannot protect the Republic by betraying its values. There's mad Zenka Iljom. Maestra me Hulhuba. A reconciliation between you and Hala Voice would send a powerful message. Someone who fears his own strength can be trusted to use it wisely. Nurbni kare tokma. Ah, foka. Mitre in Gebres, Bies Jara Karestia. Kef Dorta Sibie, Taburjad Malhibieb Orlest Rasinhu? I think Sky Hunter would be appropriate. Eras Gendor Tietkia. I like it. Bit easier to say than Barson Dor. Tesla Jetka, Runi Megta Dindork Bast. Arturk Kimi Bekro Shun Meta in Timak Gahaliest. Jif Moli Ziest Itrida Akmon Lest Tasnek. Someone find Senator Grell. Whatever's keeping him, he has to see this. Mafork Naho Ratiest B. Elmu in Tisor Mahefne. Nebue Labwe too? Nabwala Kulagwala Jinad Wendweje? Yes, Hala Voice is an Eshkar. He's also a person. Res is Volta Akitos Metegs. Mafork Naho Ratiest B. Elmu in Tisor Mahefne. We'd better send a fleet to Belsavis for them right away. A big fleet. And weapons, armor, supplies. Jedi, this. this is incredible. You got an army? Just the two of you? I had some assistance from an unexpected ally. You better tell us about it. Wait, everyone! There's a message! Something's happened to Father!
Master Jedi, Captain Sully, Belsavis Orbital Security. We have a situation in progress. Senator Grell has been abducted. Witnesses report Grell was leaving a meeting when a heavily armed man took him prisoner. Did this man hurt Senator Grell? We don't know, but the kidnapper killed three guards who got between him and his ship. The system's in place to trap escaping vessels. The main tractor beam, our overrides, they've all been sabotaged. We're fixing them now, but without them we can't track the kidnapper's ship. And this is a week-long repair job, at least. I have an exotechnology professor aboard. His help might cut that time down. Perhaps, but I wouldn't rely on a Republic tracking system. Captain, send any readings you gathered in the hangar. Ooh, let me look. Hmm. Oh, Theron, his engine's using a tripartite ionization chamber. What a rascal. A few atmospheric readings, Jedi. Ten minutes to write an algorithm, and we'll plot the kidnapper's trail. I knew I brought you along for a reason. You flatter me, dear Jedi. Not without good reason, of course. I hope you find the Senator safe and sound. We'll double our security measures, Master Jedi. This won't happen again. All right. When Theron finds the kidnapper ship, I I'm going with you. Leave this in my hands. I promise not to let you down. This is my father. I have to be there. Oh, father, please be all right. Of course. Who else would come? So my untraceable engine only bought time. That's fair. I'm Stark. I've gained so much from your senator. You kidnapped Grell? Tortured him? Why? Because I was told to. Father, get up! We came to save you! He's not there. He didn't take my questions well. I learned a lot about an Eshkar horde in a prison. The First Son will want that. With Grell's knowledge, the First Son would have time to build his defenses. Bravo, Jedi! Stop it! Stop talking! You hurt my father! You don't deserve to live! You need to remain calm. Don't tell me to calm down! I was ordered to study you, Jedi. Combat techniques, disposition, history. You're interesting. You're studious, like me. Learning, learning. If I kill you, I might earn my name back. No, it's okay. Father? Father, I can heal you. See? My powers can... can save you. No, not now! Come on! Father, don't leave me! Your father is one with the Force now, Nadia. This is a bad dream. Or a test? Some Jedi test? Everything's a test. You! You did this! Something like you shouldn't outlive my father! Take one step toward the dark side and its pull becomes irresistible. You don't understand. If I don't take justice for his death, my people, they'll turn against our family. All father's good work in the Senate. Lost. I won't let that happen. Not for this... thing. Your father stood for cooperation and peace. Would he want you to murder for him? No. But for our family. What do I do? Master. You're sending me away again. He's gone. I let him go. And my family's disgraced. You showed mercy and integrity. Senator Grell would be proud. I wish I could believe that. I'm sorry, Father. We tried. Watch over us. I still need you. You shouldn't stay here any longer. Please, would you? I can't lift him alone. We have convened to offer the condolences of the Jedi Order on the passing of Senator Tobus Grell. Nadia, your father was a great ally. 
We hope you'll continue his noble efforts to guide your people into the Republic. I'll try, Master Satil. I don't think anyone will listen to me. The Rift Alliance, the Jedi Council, and myself are all here to help. There is another matter. Senator Grell's will was left in our care, and one portion concerns both of you. The Institute of Xenozoology, if they can display it. But finally, my most important concern, my dear Nadia. She is so gifted. These children of the Emperor are both gifted and trained. Therefore, I ask Nadia be accepted for a Padawan's training, and taught by the Borsenthor of the Jedi Order. We've had time to discuss it, and we consent for Nadia to become your Padawan. It should be a joint decision. Of course! I, I mean, thank you for the honor! Nadia, a Padawan begins with a vow to honor her master and the Jedi Code. Oh, then I am... Um... Promise to follow the Jedi Code, and respect my master and listen to her lessons. And I swear to teach you the ways of the Force, protect you from evil, and remind myself that training is eternal. This is everything Father wanted. He'd be so happy. This proves what the Blasted Empire is capable of. The Ashka won't be enough. We need more. Something... extraordinary. Doing. Every crazy spacer has a story about Voss and those mystics. You want to fight the Empire with legends? Don't dismiss him out of hand. Maybe he's onto something. Rumor says Voss is home to Force sensitives called mystics, who can heal any injury and see the future counter any plan. It's got to be exaggerated. But if there's any truth to it, these mystics might swing a Republic victory. Hopefully the mystics are willing to discuss an alliance. If you truly believe you must go to Voss, be wary. Those mystics may use the Force, but they don't know our ways. Good luck. Senator Grell's death should not be in vain. Sorry, I'm still... Everything's so hard. I keep thinking Father's gonna walk in and say, Cheer up, Nadia. The sun shines on a smile. Like I was a child. I hated it. Now I just want to hear it again. Would it help if you heard that from me? That's so kind, but it's not the same. I want to stop hurting. I want to be like you. You're so composed. You need to come to terms with your grief before you take on new challenges. I should focus on being your Padawan, rather than anything else. The Artiful Guamas, Limis Galigal, Zraben Jigiawa. Magoliest Kiberu Giasnu. What planet did the Eshka originally come from? Jehil Bestor, Zigre. Gorf Kyodiam, Tiest Ziti, Kur Mili, Kiest Madwa. Kabiest Mechetur, Janur, Griske Imdi, Jorkiest Meta. I heard your people once tried to cleanse the galaxy of all sentient species. Anne, Hyo Hyafne Takta, Zwekie or Afar Giet. Tagmak Torst Hital Get Yet. I'm afraid I don't understand. Kabiest Mechetur Janor Griske Indi Jorkiest Meta. You and your followers aren't violent. You tried to work with other races. Kartforum Be Mwatar. Blesmiet Minijata Iltaya. Kawe Mahue Jelu Kolost Je Hafne Sinieska. You said your people are driven to annihilate other species, but you opposed it. Why? Bibquet jifmurst dole giandet bizo kayest. Zraben jigiawa magoliest kiberu giasnu. Garf kyodiam tiest ziti kor mili kiest madwa. Kigret torakara kowatmur hier sor jigiest. Your population had grown too big and needed to split. Your unusual ideas helped it happen. Kartforum be mwatar. Kawe mahue jelu kolost je hafne sinjestka. Bilkur ken tokba. The fabled Voss. A few overblown words and everybody rushes to one tiny little planet. Even us. 
Their predictions have all come true? It turns out both the Republic and the Empire believe these stories. They're competing to sweet talk the Voss into an alliance. The Jedi Council should lead the negotiations. Apparently, Voss upsets the Council's sensibilities. It calls the Mystics Grey Force users. An ideological quibble. But it means your Council isn't lifting a finger to assist the Republic. There's a Republic ambassador in the Voss capital who might help us. Sophia Farish. Perhaps she could get us to the Mystics. One must listen in order to learn. Fine, then listen. But we're not here to indulge your curiosity. We need soldiers and allies. Watch yourself. Remember, if you pursue the mystics, you'll be right in the Empire's way. And of course, the Voss were delighted when we bloodied those Gormak savages. Imperial training, you see. How lovely. But my guest has arrived, so you may leave. Of course. I'm sure one Jedi will make all the difference. My apologies. He tests a kitten axe, Patience. Sophia Farish, Republic Ambassador. What brings you to Voss, Master Jedi? I need to speak with the Voss leaders about recruiting some mystics to my cause. You... what? I... I should explain. Sith Lords have taken entire systems to war to gain a single mystic healer. One mystic visionary can change Voss culture with... with a word. And you want them as soldiers? How can one person wield so much influence? No mystic's prediction has ever been wrong. It's the foundation of Voss society. Please understand, mystics are rare. Only a few are born in a generation. And with the Gormak tribes expanding, there's even fewer. It's become too dangerous for potential mystics to go on pilgrimage and finish their training. Sorry, what are the Gormak? Local tribesmen who attack on sight. We offered to guard potential mystics from them, but the Voss refused. To be honest, our troops would be outmatched. The Voss are irrational about interference with the mystics, though they might be more accepting of a Jedi. And if they saw you help a potential finish his training... But it's long odds. Only one in a dozen actually becomes a mystic. Among the potentials, who has the best chance of succeeding? Now, Athel J is gifted, but hasn't studied much, and Heen Sa is sympathetic toward the Empire. Or, there's Gaten Ko, an acquaintance of mine, a potential visionary. If he becomes a mystic, he's entitled to a huge entourage, including healers and Voss commandos. Gaten Ko might see me as interfering. You'll need to ask him. But he's been petitioning to go on pilgrimage for years. Havran, please book a room at Bastan's tea house and send an invitation to Gaden Ko. Sorry, Madam Ambassador. Gaden Ko left Vaska with his family group this morning. He's gone without a real escort? They'll be killed out there. Jedi, you have to go after them. He will have gone to the closest holy ground, a cave below the mountain. Oh, wait. The ritual. Before you enter, cut branches from these trees, here and here. Their scent will make you pure enough to walk the holy ground. If that's what it takes to reach Gaden Ko and his family. Be careful. Away from Vaska, the Imperial's manners tend to deteriorate. A Jedi? My thanks. My family was not enough protection. All happenings are necessary. Still, their deaths trouble me. Your family is not lost. They have returned to their source. Beg pardon? Source? It means your family's all right. They're not suffering anymore. These deaths have a purpose. Pilgrimage would have revealed it. My journey ends. My family gone. Holy grounds defiled. An outsider trespasses. I came hoping to accompany you on your pilgrimage. A Jedi protector exceeds a commando skill. You're an outsider. 
Can I trust someone, not Voss? On my honor, as a Jedi Master, I swear you can trust me. You may accompany. When I become mystic, you shall witness my visions. You don't have the gift, what marked you as a potential visionary? Intuition. Enabling victories against Gormak. I go to Novices Hall at the Shrine of Healing. The healers will be honored to teach me. First, a marker on the pilgrimage path. I pay homage to Lishina. Gaiden Ko, your family should be laid to rest before we leave. I will send word. Time is short. Pilgrimage will explain this. You leave first. Call on your device if it is safe. I follow. The pilgrimage path awaits. Here, the heart of Lishina's marker. I'm sorry, Gaiden Co. Perhaps it can be repaired. Outsider misunderstanding. A foundation stone. The entire building is the marker. Ruins were built by Lishina and family. A symbol. Mystics are supported by all. Something is improper. Ah! Idiot boy! A perfect strike ruined by a centimeter. No matter, that scratch will finish you soon enough. Get away from Gaiden Co. or you'll answer to me. Predictable arrogance. There were whispers in Voskar of a Jedi stupid enough to escort a young mystic away from the city. But when they hear the brat died in your care, the Voss will see the Republic very differently. Don't move. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> the boy's as good as dead. The toxin on that blade was an exotic Republic compound, as any investigation will show. Even a drop is eventually fatal. The destiny of the Voss is to join the Empire, and it is you who have made this possible. Think about that as you die. You fight admirably for a Jedi, but not even the Voss can save your Republic. You are dying. Release your hatred. Feel the sanctity of this place. So naive. But I feel calm. <gasps> My wound freezes, burns. I've never encountered this poison before. The shrine. Take me to the shrine of healing. You mustn't die. Jedi, can't you do something? The shrine's healers. Please, be sure it is safe. Then call. We go. Outsider, you are not Gaiden Ko. What happened? I take it you know each other. All potentials are known. Come, Gaiden Co. To the healers. The shrine is not for you. I should stay with Gaiden Co. There may be another attempt on his life. The shrine is guarded. The trials protect the upper levels. They're for mystics. What do these trials involve exactly? Only those who respect our ways enter the trials. Suva Rock at the Pilgrim's Camp can explain. I will inform Gaiden Co. if you die. I am Orin Va, Ashamu. Gaiden Ko is our patient. You acted quickly, but the poison eats at him. We require another of great mental or physical strength to purge it. If there's anything I can do for Gaiden Ko, just ask. We need you. Healing takes life from one to save another. Painful, survivable. You appear worthy. Your friend also seems worthy. Gaiden Ko is fortunate. Will you take the risk, Outsiders? We have to do something. I accept the dangers for Gaiden Ko's sake. Gaiden Ko grows weak. Outsider, be prepared. We begin. feeds on pain, Jedi. What precisely are you? I belong to Gaiden Co. 
I am the part of Gaiden Co. that suffers and must be healed. Pain feeds on pain. You know this from battling the Empire. So how does one cope with the Tyrant? Or the Scalpel? Resisting the Tyrant reveals his weaknesses. Enduring the Scalpel leads to healing. Yes. Endurance leads to insight and strength. Your understanding will make this exchange easier. The treatment is complete. Gaiden Ko's recovery begins. It's over. You should take a minute before we go anywhere. Impressive. Gaiden Ko is stronger for this. Here, to aid your recovery, leave when you wish, outsider. Go well. I am improved. My attacker's weapon. Another Jedi? No. He was a Sith Lord, corrupted by the dark side of the Force. I saw you ease his death. It's what makes us better than the Empire. My journey is not right. My vision should begin to make me wise. Every Force-aware culture has trials. Perhaps this is how the Force prepares a mystic. Your Force is yours. I am Voss. Enough. Pilgrimage. I must contemplate a stone carving at the Holy Grounds. A potential who contemplates receives a sign. Guidance. I will need protection. I promise you will not be harmed again. The carving was broken. First we gather the pieces. I speak with healers. Go. Rest. Call on your device when all is ready. A sign to guide me. Soon my first vision. I contemplate the carving for a sign to guide me. All shards are one. The pattern is... is... no vision or sign. Improper. Insights come in their own time, not at our convenience. I have waited. A shelter we... Gate and Cole? Unescorted? If this place is dangerous, why are you here? Do not say, Captain Voss Commandos. Our mission in jeopardy. We had to retreat. Gaiden Co. Your intuition would help. No. I await a sign. There are no coincidences. You wanted a sign and these commandos arrived. You do not understand. I listen. For now. My sign waits. The Gormak mine a crystal outcropping. Crystals for mystics. The Gormak used the crystals. Tame beasts improve them for war. It must stop. What do the Gormak do to these creatures once they're tamed? Beasts are fitted with machinery. Crystals must be reclaimed. The Gormak have an army. We need help. Hunting Gormak. Proper use of my intuition. We can stop Gormak patrols. Their mining operation remains. I have few men. You are skilled. The Gormak will be prepared for Voss Commandos, not a Jedi Master. We in Gaiden Cole will distract most Gormak. More guard the mines. Do this, please. We will meet you here. Gormak withdraw. We fought seven patrols. Are the crystals safe? Yes. And I believe this rightfully belongs to your people. This is for the Tower of Prophecy. Two commandos vanished. Gaiden Ko's tuition saved another. Something hunted us. Not Gormak. Did you catch any glimpse of this hunter? No, commandos were there, then gone. We will search. I am not hopeful. I have finished here. Our last destination is ahead. The Deep Cradle. Rather an odd name for a holy place. We were created there, from Voss. I will see. You cannot. The lands near the Cradle are corrupted. The Nightmare Lands. I have seen for myself how the Gormak target your holy grounds. They poison everything. There are protective rituals. Talon Day at the Commando Outpost will guide. We shall go. You both shall promise. Goodbye. I... 
Jedi. A question. What can I do for you? You were right. Commandos were the sign to guide me. The sign came without a vision. You need no visions. Do visions mark my people as special? Or needing guidance? They may be your foundation, but you'd still have a civilization without visions. Intriguing. Great questions are for mystics, not potentials. This is new. Visions or not, your pilgrimage is certainly shaping you for a role. I may never be mystic, but I learn. I'd like to think about this myself, when we get back. Jedi, it's Sophia Farish, the Republic Ambassador. We spoke in Vaska? It's good to hear your voice, Ambassador. I'm glad you're both all right. Hello, Gaden Co. I heard what happened to your family. I'm so sorry. I seek its meaning. Jedi, of course Gaden Co.'s pilgrimage is important. But I have a request. A Republic team has gone missing in that region. Our top archaeologist, Dr. Carrion, ignored the warnings and took an expedition into those nightmare lands. We haven't heard from him since. He must have been pursuing something important. He said the ruins might give important insight into ancient Voss society. I need a guide. Landmarks are... changed. The deep cradle hides. Dr. Carrion might know. You've known where to go up until now. All looks improper. He filed an expedition proposal with his chosen campsite. I'll send you the location now. Good luck. And please, don't take any risks out there. Whisper all you like, la la la. They gave me a palace on Alsacon. I'd prefer a ditch on Alderaan. I'm here to rescue you. You're a real Jedi. I thought the madness had finally gotten to me. I'm Lefri, an excavator. The ritual saved me, but the team... Everything's gone wrong. Why didn't they attack you? I guess they still recognized me. They didn't do anything, just whispered over and over. The Voss said some ritual could protect us in the ruins. I figured, well, they'd know, so a Voss commando helped me do it. But Dr. Carrion said there wasn't time for everyone to see the native puppet show. He wanted to explore the Dark Heart. What is the Dark Heart? The oldest ruin around here. The Dark Heart. A part is the Deep Cradle. Deep Cradle? Yes, that's the part of the ruin Dr. Carrion wanted to get into, but it's all sealed up. We spent days trying to open it, then suddenly the, the madness started. Dr. Carrion ran off, the others stayed and stared at me. If the Doctor knows about the Deep Cradle, I need to find him. I can't let you go after him. Please don't leave. I will be here. You'll stay? Okay. I'll track the doctor's locator, but he's, you know, not a person anymore. Though, if he still has his hollow journal, his field note should be in there. This won't take long. If you can get his hollow journal, I'll play it for you. And hurry! We wait. Good, good, you're back. And so Dr. Carrion gave you his hollow journal after all? Unfortunately, I was forced to kill him. Dr. Carrion too, huh? Well, that makes his journal even more important. Let me see. Please don't be encrypted. Wandering off? This team's eccentricities are getting unbearable. The Deep Cradle's secrets should make up for it. It started like that. Here, the next entry's a few days later. Following me about, I led them here, and now they're... they're nameless. A switch. A little switch behind the cradle's third stone. I can't think here. Now, where did I leave my study? Listen, he said switch. The deep cradle's secret. Its altars grant enlightenment. I don't want to leave Lefri here alone. No. I'm not going out there again. Jedi, you can't leave! Maybe I can send a distress signal, but how long before I'm rescued? And what if the ritual wears off? You aren't scared. You're going to be calm, cheerful, and sane until help arrives. I guess I can stay calm, cheerful, and sane until rescue arrives. Take whatever supplies you need. I'll settle down with a book until the Republic sends someone. 
Good luck. When path is clear, call. I follow. Three altars. I meditate for enlightenment. Any nesting beasts will wake. You'll be perfectly safe with me. Inside, my journey's end. Light in darkness. Grandfather? You died. The cave and the beast before my rescue. Whoever it looks like, this isn't really your grandfather. My memories are real. Talons in my flesh, Gaiden Co. My breath fading. My last thought, failure. Grandfather, stop! Hope remains. We sprang from this deep cradle. The altars root us. Life, death, duty. Here, all is possible. Ask, and life returns. Your parents, sister, cousins, myself, returned. Shall it be? These lands are corrupted. This apparition could be lying. I... my family... No. I must accept. Learn from what is necessary. I cannot be selfish. You shoulder a mystic's burden. Willingly. Training ends, Gaiden Co. Grandfather, your death. I do not understand. It will take your life to understand, Jedi. Your protection made this possible. The Jedi way is to serve. A reward is due. You walk a difficult path. If you seek truth, ask. Can you tell me who the First Son is? The First Son stands always behind you. He begins, does not end. Wait, you can't just leave it at that. A small token, hidden, to ease suffering. It is yours. Darkness lingers. Healing must begin, Jedi. Seek the Divide. Gaiden Co. Farewell. Grandfather. I will. Jedi, wait. I see. The world is different. Beautiful. A vision. I... am a mystic. Your vision. What was it? Two suns. One a light. The other dead. A mountain to the stars. The three must know. Then, to Vaska. Welcome, Jedi. I am Sun V of the Three. This is a joyous day. The interpreters speak. Gaiden Ko's vision is genuine. Gaiden Ko, we ordain you mystic. Be always wise. Completion of training marks a beginning, not an end. I will remember. Gaiden Ko's entourage grows. Interpreters await. Healers travel from the shrine. Jen Arce volunteers to lead his guardians. Has Gaiden Ko's vision been interpreted? The interpreters speak. Gaiden Ko's vision is clear, unusually so. He must see your force, both sides. He cannot learn here. Gaiden Ko must travel with you. If he is willing, Gaiden Co. is certainly welcome aboard my ship. I will see the galaxy that made you. We gain a mystic, now lose him to the outsiders. I am not lost. I will remain neutral. So should Vaska. Not Empire nor Republic. Not yet. Observe us both, then. Our actions will speak for us. We await your learnings, Gaiden Co. Carry Vos with you. Always. I shall. Please, I must greet my entourage. 
Call when we leave. Hello again, Jedi. I managed to get away from the embassy for a minute. Gaten Cole, congratulations. I knew you could do it. And now you're leaving? Gaten Cole may lead his people into the galaxy. And the Republic. What a wonderful idea. But I'm afraid I can't allow it. My friend, Sophia? It's all right, Gaten Co. Your true destiny is just beginning. When the Jedi is dead, I'll explain everything. You're stronger than you look. I understand now. You're one of the Emperor's children, like Blasis. I bear that honor, yes. I intended the pilgrimage to truly test Gaiden Co. Power or death, hopefully yours. The first son will kill me for failing. But it doesn't matter. I've known the perfect enlightenment of serving the Emperor. Come with me. Let me save you from him. But who will save you? You don't know who the first son is. I'll share a little secret. Neither does he. You see, Jedi. Some children never know their true nature. They sleepwalk through life, until the Emperor wakes them. The first son serves the Emperor, then returns to normal, unaware. A politician? A soldier? Maybe one of your allies. How can the first son commit such acts and not be aware of it? The mind is malleable. We accept, we explain away. I trusted. I am betrayed. I'm sorry, Gaiden Co. I wanted to see you exalted at the Emperor's right hand. But you chose the Republic. I can't save you. We heard battle. The door was barred. Gaiden Co., honored one, are you well? I am well, thank you. We're a bit shaken, but everything's fine. We have had no Sith prisoners. Her fate is sealed. What's the penalty for endangering a mystic's safety? She leaves Voskar. Jenner say, you can't let her get away with this. She takes the step of harmony, down from the mountain, leaves Voskar forever. Jenner say, throwing someone to their death is barbaric. It is the law. She knew. Yes, I did. Enjoy your moment of victory, Jedi. It will be fleeting. We return when all is done. Master Mele, a sword in bend. Is Minding Sajanda. What he means is, on behalf of the Republic, we welcome you. And your very impressive entourage. Thank you. I have three interpreters, seven healers, sixty commandos. We must use the boss healer sparingly, but they could save thousands of lives. Jik inter, mebeg dressed pasiat dan ilbi, for cost in pain. What about this first son, Jedi? Has anything new turned up? Apparently, the first son may be completely unaware of who he really is. You mean anyone could be the first son and not know it? We must be vigilant. Around the men, anyway. I'm sorry to interrupt. Master Sio's hosting a war council. He said you should join in right away. Welcome, everyone. Supreme Chancellor, may I present? Our new allies. I greet you, Gaten Co. and Hello Voice. The Empire threatens our core worlds, and your strength will be vital in the days ahead. The core worlds founded the Republic we defend. They are centers of government and commerce. Our society would crumble without them. Now an Imperial fleet is en route to one of these besieged worlds, Corellia, carrying thousands of reinforcements. That fleet must never arrive. 
We are at your command. We're ready to be of service, Supreme Chancellor. The Imperial fleet is protected by a dreadnought, the Javelin. Without it, we could scatter them easily. A functional dreadnought would be a huge asset in defending the core worlds. I need you and your alliance to capture the Javelin. I hope you have a plan in mind for this. Your smaller force should help you to slip through the defenses, board the Javelin, and force the Captain's surrender. I must go. I leave this vital task in your capable hands. Good luck. Jedi, you have a rational mind. You know trying to capture a dreadnought with the forces we have is utter insanity. If the opportunity arises, I'm fully prepared to cheat my way to victory. Ah, excellent. To begin, our ships distract the Javelin. You board. They're expecting an attack, but a defensive formation at a distance would keep them distracted. That would keep our ships out of the fire, but capturing a dreadnought isn't like boarding a raft. We should go along. Me, Theron, Kaizen, everyone. We each take a few Voss commandos in our holo communicator. You head for the bridge. We split up and get the other sections under control. This mission will need all of us to stand any chance of success. Rock your hood, Lex. or Targorsk. Excellent. If you have this in hand, I shall go. Corellia's defenders would benefit from my help. May the Force be with you all. We're in the network room. Breaking Imperial coding makes me all tingly. Zenith sneaked off to security. I imagine he knows what to do with an Imperial security system. Ta-ta for now. Hold on, Jedi. Security system's being stubborn. Done. I'll watch for any more. Zenith out. Armory secure, but they locked the door to weapons control. We're cutting through. Not to jinx it, but I expected stronger resistance than this. Might be a harder fight up ahead. Arresto out. Maro gialdias mat kzenki. Tuom makorzki miestra hulba. Inem herbia tega, ledger konyat sertab. Ah, greetings, Master Jedi. All parameters are met. My work can finally be demonstrated. I have a bad feeling about this. Obeying my standard orders, I've seeded this vessel with detonite charges. These charges are sufficient to destroy the javelin, its occupants, and nearby vessels. I apologize for any inconvenience caused. These reinforcements were bait. The Empire wanted our alliance dead. Allow me to outline the genius of my work. I have placed multiple detonite charges in mathematically precise positions. All Imperial vessels have been signaled to withdraw as the countdown has begun. So we just walked into a trap? By my calculations, even if dozens of the charges are disarmed, it is now impossible to prevent the Javelin's destruction. But if we disable as many as we can, there won't be enough of a blast to destroy our ships. You may attempt it, but my placement of the charges is flawless. There are charges on all main coolant regulation systems to ensure complete destruction. I'll send the bomb locations out to everybody. You and I can take care of the charges nearby, and trust the others to reach the rest in time. A shame my accomplishment will soon be superheated vapor, but such is the nature of demolition work. Good day. Warning. Coolant regulation system ignited. Catastrophic structural integrity failure has begun. Destruction of the javelin is imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Repeat. Please evacuate immediately. Jedi, do you read? We're clearing the tactical stations and everything's flashing red. What's the situation? Hello, voice report. Did any of our ships get caught in that explosion? Me bad address, Bastiat Danel B. Nesfer Costinti. Watch that conduit! This area is getting too dangerous. We're pulling out to the ship. No, wait! Call us now. Take point. I can't leave yet. The Imperial crewmen were trying to erase these tactical stations. They might be carrying battle plans. I need to do a full download. Felix, in a few minutes, the Javelin is going to be drifting debris. Sorry. I can't turn my back on vital intelligence. Blast! This will take longer than I thought. I won't be able to join you. The pods. I saw a rank of escape pods on this deck. I can make it down to Corellia's surface. 
even if you survive the landing, you'll be in the middle of a war zone. I'll stay bunkered down. The state is more important than heroics. Be safe, and we'll rendezvous on Corellia. Arezzo, signing off. Oria, I have no affarget. Bien for Kdan Mitov. Makopiet ni horma. Gurm genak. If we want Felix back, we can't stand here talking. We think the pod was caught in an automated landing system for Coronet City's shipyards. So it's probably there. Somewhere. To Corellia. To search. And to war. I never thought the Imperials would make it this far. Not to the core worlds, not Corellia. Master Seal's briefings on the Corellian situation are grim. Treachery, Imperials invading, a resistance under fire. I saw it all back home. Did someone on Corellia betray us? Apparently the Empire made Corellia's backstabbing government an offer. There is good news. Master Seal completed work on the Guardian Holds before the invasion began. What are these Guardian Holds? Ah, of course. Master Seal only just passed on this briefing. The Guardian Holds are buildings across Coronet City, Corellia's capital. Factories, bunkers, munition stores, everything you'd need to conquer a city. Master Seals fortified each of those buildings with special defenses and codenamed them Guardian Holds. The Guardian Holds mean we have several impenetrable fortresses from which we can always retake Coronet City, even if it falls to the Empire. With those Guardian Holds and our military assets protected, we can concentrate on offense. That's the idea. Defending the Guardian Holds does make the Republic a little short-handed, though, which is where our armies come in. <laughs> Coronet City's shipyards are enormous. I won't find the escape pod without help. Repeat, this is Captain Trizan, calling any defenders near the Coronet shipyards. The Imperials overran Zone 12, calling for emergency assistance. We could search the shipyards while we defend them. Tell Captain Trizan we're on our way. Ties droids, Eshka, commandos, we land all. Now we find out if they're enough to save the Republic. Captain Dryzan, I believe my allies sent a message. I need your help to find an escape pod. Huh? I thought that was a hoax. Quill! Look, we really did get a Jedi Master. This is Quill. She and the other Salonians are helping us fight the Imperials. Your escape pod's somewhere in a hot zone. The shipyard guidance system brought the pod in. Isn't there some record? No, the guidance controls were damaged. The pod could be anywhere and recon's impossible. There are Imperial droids on patrol. When we leave, they follow us back to our bases and go on a killing spree. We're stuck. Your pod's important, but I can't send anyone after it. Not if those droids will track them. They can't track anything with a lightsaber in their circuitry. This won't take long. Okay. You clear the droids, we'll find that pod. We should have something by the time you get back. Nicely done. The droid patrol routes have enough gaps for us to sneak by, but they're tight enough the Empire may not realize there are holes. Your distress call mentioned that zone had been overrun. Zone 12's a private shipyard that happens to be a great defensive position. You're in for a fight. Good luck helping your friend. Uh, I know your mission's urgent, but could you do us a favor? What would you ask of me? We managed to convert two comm towers into AA guns. All good, till the Empire captured them. But there's an override to hardwire them for Imperial targets. Just enter this at both towers, and we get our guns back. Then I will make it happen. We don't expect you to neglect the pod for this, but we'd appreciate it. I don't want your people in harm's way unnecessarily. 
Be ready before you go near Zone 12. We need you in one piece. Give yourself a moment to recover. Just give me five minutes under this beautiful sky. Sorry about the wait. We came as fast as we could. Here, one Imperial Dreadnought's complete tactical database, safe and sound. I think this may warrant a medal. If you're offering, I won't say no. Just one thing first. One of these files is corrupted, deliberately maybe. I need Holiday to fix it before we pass it on. Is there somewhere secure we can go to fix the file? Its audio is broken up, but I heard... It might have intel about the first son. A friend of ours, Captain Dryzan, has a safe position. I'm not sure I can keep up. I got bounced around pretty hard. Perhaps this would be a good time for you to meet our new friends. Don't rush if it'll make his injuries worse. More dark enclosed spaces? If there's a Colto pack at the end, I'm game. See you at this shelter. Ah, oh, you're back. The Salonians brought your friend in a little while ago. The captain here patched me up. Luckily, they build those escape pods tough. This file could help us catch one of the masterminds behind the war. Oh, wow. If you need our hollow transmitter to check it, uh, go right ahead. Ugh. Someone corrupted this file into a big sticky mess. If there's anything about the first sun in here, it's all mixed up. Ooh, the Jedi Archives! They restore old files all the time, don't they? If I linked in, I could fix this in a snap! Only the Jedi Council can allow such access. Sending a request to the Jedi Council now. Ah, oh, you're all right. Reports of the fighting on Corellia have been dire. Indeed. We have the Guardian holds to oversee, troops to organize, and you want to access the Jedi Archives? Now? This file relates directly to the children of the Emperor, and their leader. In that case, you may have full access. Restoration in progress. Done! The file is... is... Oh, Jedi. You need to see this. Right now. Too risky. My superiors here still think the Empire will forget its debts. The children of the Emperor will remind them. When the Republic falls, I will ensure Corellia's government is rewarded for aiding us. But we've never heard of a first son. How can we trust you're as powerful as you say? Because we met once, Secretary. On Coruscant. Do you still doubt I can do anything I wish? I can't believe what I'm seeing. What have we done? Contact Sio quickly. Ah, you've arrived. Your forces are landing, the Guardian Holds are standing strong. The battle may yet go our way. Our way? Don't you mean the Emperor's? Isn't that who you really serve, First Son? We should give him a chance to explain. Seo, please. Tell me this isn't true. I'm afraid he cannot. I believe it is now Seo's turn to be silent and watch. Fate has set me a challenge. I had hoped for more time, but all things must adapt or die. Release Seo Bakarn. Immediately. He is beneath your reach now, Jedi. In the place I was forced to occupy. You kindly entrusted the Guardian Holds to me, and I, in turn, entrusted them to my brothers and sisters. Goodbye, Jen, Satil, and thank you. We just lost communication to the Guardian Holds. All our troops, their leaders, 
If he takes the Guardian Holds, he can take Coronet City. That's the entire purpose of the Holds. Corellia is lost! If we succumb to despair, there can only be failure. If we fight, we may succeed. That is true. We must act. We must ensure the Guardian Holds are not in enemy hands. But if they have fallen, your forces are our best hope to retake them. We won't let you down, Master Satil. The closest is Guardian Hold 6, a large walker factory. General Ave's team could get you there, past any Imperial resistance. I'll send word to our allies to meet us there, Jedi. Speak to General Ave's aide, Corporal Hartke, about getting through the Imperial lines. And may the Force be with you. Guardian Hold 6 must be saved. If Sio, if the first sun has already struck, you are our only hope. Jedi, we were heading to Guardian Hold 6, the Walker Factory, when we received a distress signal. It's... it's bad. Guardian Hold 6 has been taken by the enemy, apparently from within, and the other Guardian Holds have fallen too. If someone's calling for help, there must be survivors. Apparently a few soldiers escaped the fighting. They've made a small camp. We could meet you there and put a strategy together. Let these soldiers know that reinforcements are on the way. Actually, I'm not sure how that'll be received. We tried contacting the man in charge, but he's being difficult. Could you hurry? I have warned you enough. Stay back. I will not allow more lives to be lost. As I told you, we're... Oh, Jedi. Can you talk to him? We are friends. Remember, a Jedi listens first, and strikes only if necessary. So these people are with you, Master. I couldn't quite believe it. Not after today. It hasn't been a good day for any of us. I am Jari Ores. We are all that's left of the Defenders. Like Aelin says, we can never... The Council entrusted Guardian Hold 6 to me and... My friend, Aelin Calder. Just another battle together, we said. And it was, at first. Go on, when you're ready. Thank you, Master. Aelin and I were checking the sentries, just talking, when he... attacked me. Not with his blaster, with the Force, like a Sith. When I could stand again, he was killing our soldiers. I tried to stop him. Now Guardian Holt 6 belongs to the Empire. How could Aelin do this? Even as we dueled, I felt no darkness, nothing. It's not your fault. Aelin was a sleeper agent, placed by the Sith. I didn't think this situation could be any worse. The Imperials occupy the main factory. They're making military walkers building their own reinforcements. We must shut down the production line. But Guardian Hold 6 is a fortress with no way inside. You escaped with many wounded. How? In the fighting, a wall junction exploded and overloaded the security grid, but the junction will be repaired by now. If the wall itself was damaged in the blast, it could be breached. Yes. Your forces could break through the wall and distract the walkers. Then you could slip in and stop production but your soldiers will suffer heavy losses. Any loss is a tragedy, but this is the only way. I imagine Balmora's droids know what to do with walkers. Indeed. They'll crack the wall for you, then take those walkers apart. Here are the codes to shut down the production line. And Master, Aelin is still somewhere inside. Please, if you find him, try to help him. May the Force be with you both. Jedi, do you read? Our droids have made it inside Guardian Hold 6. How many droids did we lose, Ty? Jedi, the battle's not over. The droids report one of the Imperial Walker crews followed them and activated hostile units on the factory floor. Our droids are having a tough time. Anything you can do? Alert the droids that friendly forces are coming. Good, good. I can't send any more in time. Just come as fast as you can. I knew it would be you. Did Jari beg you to save me? Jedi are rats. Stomp on one, and another comes scuttling back in. Jari was a loyal comrade who fought by your side. And tortured me with his constant goody-two-shoes sniveling. I know what you did to Blasis and Geeland and Sophia Farish. I'm not losing Guardian Hold 6 to a monster like you. The Council understands what was done to you. There may be some way to stop it. No thanks. The First Son himself called me to battle. I won't go back to being some Jedi sidekick. Took me a while to find the Master startup code, but it was worth it. 
This is for my brothers and sisters. Since Aelin Calder has fallen, you and your curiosities have teeth. But the Republic is still crumbling. You grasp at sand, Jedi, and it slips through your fingers. I know you can hear me, Master. The Emperor can only trap you, not destroy you. Fascinating. Remember the words you spoke every day. Say them with me. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Enough. You shall watch, Sio, as your pupil suffers for this. Aelin? No, he can't be. Not like this. I didn't feel anything. A single day couldn't change a whole lifetime of... of good work. He must have become one with the Force. In the end, dark or light, all things are a part of the Force. Thank you, Master. That is kind. I think you turned the tide. Many of Ty Corden's droids survived the battle. If I move the wounded here and repair the wall, I believe we can hold Guardian Hold 6 ourselves. The Republic needs its troops in Axial Park. I take it the Republic is preparing a large offensive front. Another of our fortresses, Guardian Hold 4, is in Axial Park. We've had reports that it too has fallen to the enemy. The Republic is planning a push. They hope to overcome the Imperials and retake Guardian Hold 4 with sheer force of numbers. Now this Guardian Hold is secure. Our place is in Axial Park. There is a Republic safe house in Axial Park where you could hold your councils. I shall send word to your allies. Goodbye, Master. I will try to guard this place well. You made it through. Did the Republic have any information about Guardian Hold 4? Bad news. Guardian Hold 4 is far worse than the last one. I hope you're ready to hear this. Guardian Hold 4 used to be a small manor called Bakvalen Hall. Now, it's bristling with defenses, turrets, force fields. But after someone betrayed Guardian Hold 4 from the inside, it's all protecting the enemy. If the Betrayer is another child of the Emperor, capturing them might give us away to the First Son. The Republic gave us information on Guardian Hold 4's defenses. They're serious. First, the Hold has an early warning system. Sensors across the park report any approaching enemies. Then, a force field protects the courtyard, and past that, the main door is Durasteel, locked with a full security system. So we have sensors to disable, a force field to take down, and a main door to unlock. That force field is a major problem. I can't think of any way past it. Jedi, you destroy the sensors. Imperials will drop the force field to investigate. A surprise attack, then, would take our armies past the force field. So we need, say, a red team to ambush the Imperials that come out after the force field is lowered. Red team must be strong. Imperials will fight hard. I'd welcome any insights you have. Send commandos. That leaves the main door. With the force field down, we can get to the power generators. We disable them, the big door unlocks. We should assign a blue team to disable those generators. A very small group would work. Your droids would make short work of security. We can spare a couple. Teams will need your help later. Blue team, protection as they work. Red team, battle support. We have a plan. Once you destroy the sensors, go to Guardian Hold 4 to help your team. Are you ready? I am. And may the Force be with us. Trespass, Jedi. Guardian Hold 4 now belongs to the Emperor. This is a Republic fortress on a Republic world. I am restoring its rightful ownership. Even after one of your own welcomed us in? We are the Imperial Guard, the Emperor's chosen. We live and die as he commands. 
and his first son will secure our victory. I see your weaknesses, Jedi, and how to shatter you. A true Jedi knows how to bend, and so can never be broken. Empty words are no defense against us. You will never reach the honored daughter. One by one, your Republic fellows will turn. All is lost, Jedi. My brother said you'd be persistent, but I was almost hoping we'd meet. Pardon my forwardness to a, a daughter of the Emperor, but you should not risk yourself. The General. A chance to speak with the Barson Thor herself. You were actually mentored by the First Son. My mentor was Master Seo Bakarn, a Jedi Master and a force for good. And your First Son had nothing to do with it. You have to accept new loyalties as they come. Look at me. I was some nobody Republic Corporal until the Emperor's voice called me. I was reborn. Guardian Hold 4 seemed like such a paltry gift in return. If you truly wish to learn, the path of a Jedi remains open. You want me to betray my new family? I know what would please my brother. Seeing you humbled. There's so much I could still learn from you. Especially if I leave you alive. Let's discuss terms, gentlemen. Position secure. Pick trustworthy guards. Security grids being fixed. The Imperial Guard will soon return. You can't survive another onslaught. We only need to hold this position until the First Sun is found. We are prepared to be reasonable, Jedi. What are you doing? Merian. She just defeated Imperial Guardsmen and a child of the Emperor. Think. We don't know where the First Son is, but there's a government bunker below Capitol Square that's been transmitting our orders. The Republic called it Guardian Hold One. The Sith will crush you for this, Gran. After the Corellian government uh, betrayed the people, the consequences of a Republic victory will be preying on their minds. So, with two Guardian Holds reclaimed, Corellia's key officials will be hiding in Guardian Hold 1. The First Son has likely joined them. We should see what the situation is in the Capitol Square. A commando will see. Another of us dead because of you. It's tragic. Both Duresh's loss and your failure. A true Jedi Master could have guided her back to the light. The First Son does not speak for you, Master. Your mind is your own. Use it. You... do the Jedi credit. You must fight, and I... I will... Be silent. Dozens of my brothers and sisters still lie in wait. Even the best hunter's arrow only strikes once. You are going to your death. You are reaching him, Jedi. Whatever nonsense the First Son says. Leave these generals for the Republic. Got Guardian Hold 1 to handle. Capital Square has Republic and Imperial soldiers, all fighting. No Guardian Hold 1. A Republic checkpoint is close. They may help. I send the position to everyone. Are you in charge here, Sergeant? I need to find a bunker called Guardian Hold 1. Corellian officials may be hiding there. Oh? Uh, yes, sir. Corporal... Sorry. Sergeant Rossiker, Republic Operations. You said a Guardian Hold, sir? If there's some escape route nearby, we should have been told. It was intended to be a Republic fortress, but it's been appropriated by the enemy. Do you have any more details on Guardian Hold 1, sir? We're not a combat unit, but we do have resources. Imperial officers have been receiving transmissions from inside that bunker. So the Guardian Hold isn't entirely sealed. They're in contact with the surface. Right. Right. Any signal from inside would be scrambled, and they'll have the best equipment on the market. But our array could reconstruct it. A military-grade communications array should track the signal in short order. Ordinarily, yes. We just link to the communication points around Capitol Square. Uh, sir. 
Those points monitor and boost comm signals. But the Imperials captured them all yesterday. No one can get near them. The Empire has put guards on those points, I take it. There's reports that the Imperial Guard are on watch, and there's Sith with them. The Empire knows those communication points are valuable. It'll be a bloodbath. I'll leave most of the communication points to my army and take the rest. Some of the comm points are on rooftops. It'd take too long for one person to fight up to them. Even you, sir. Have enough Eshka for rooftop points. You take the rest. Sir, when you've retaken the communication points, just switch them to this channel. A few seconds will be enough. We'll do the rest, though I'm afraid the hard part is up to you. Please be careful. Sergeant Rossiker reporting. We're triangulating Guardian Hold 1 now, sir. Please stand by. Come on. Yes! Gaia, sir, this is our best estimate of the entrance within a few meters. And I'd recommend getting inside ASAP. Our reports on that zone look like trouble. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. Looks like the Imperials are trying to barricade Guardian Hold 1, sir. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I can do. You and your men have already been very helpful, Sergeant. We all appreciate that, sir. Good luck. Sergeant Rossiker, signing off. You promised us this place was impenetrable, Nadian. A temporary setback, sir. She's a Jedi. She can be reasoned with. I know the First Son is here. We're not at liberty to discuss that. If you've come to accuse us of selling Corellia to the Empire, save your breath. Jedi, please understand. We can all agree these consequences are unfortunate. But some of us were buying time. The Empire's offer was a chance to save Corellia and her people. And then those same people nearly ruin everything by fighting back. You sold their homeworld to the enemy. What did you expect to happen? Why can nobody understand? Profit and security against inevitable annihilation. It just makes sense. I don't have to bargain with you. We'll stay right here until the Empire sends reinforcements. Aha! <laughs> reinforcements. <laughs> oh, I, I, I am sorry. You're not all that you appear, are you? Does it shine through this feeble shell? No. You! You're one of them! The Emperor's words make everything clear, Jedi. The First Son will prevail, and you will die. Tas men yetke fulpa gegalyes tenti. Councillor Sayak was one of the children? What if I am too? What if I'm about to become some Sith puppet? Your selfishness is truly remarkable. No, please! You've got to protect me! The First Son. You can stop him, and, and then we'll all be fine, right? I'll be safe? There's a hatch that leads into the caves beneath Coronet City. The First Son went there, to our last sanctuary. We do not have the manpower for another assault. We can hold Guardian Hold 1 no more. Any reinforcements will overrun us. Stop him now. Brace the doors and fall back to this position. Don't fight unless you have to. Understand? I understand. Our men will give you as long as possible, but we may have to withdraw. If... if you succeed, meet us back at the ship. We are ready when you are, Jedi. Whatever happens, knowing all of you has been a privilege. <laughs> I applaud you, Jedi. Your fortitude and courage are remarkable. No one has ever proved themselves to me. You will be free again, Master. I promise. Just hold on. Please, Jedi. Seal has... has found his proper place. He doesn't have your strength, I'm afraid. Learning the shielding technique was only more evidence of your fascinating mind. But then, you chose to save Lord Vivacar, risking your own life. Intriguing. I did what I had to do. Nothing more. I underestimated how powerful your trials would make you. But this sudden miscalculation... not like you at all. You should never have come here without your army's protection. Losing you will shatter the Rift Alliance. The Republic will collapse. 
Fear, not war, will be the Republic's end. They will know the children remain, shielded by my will, and that their last hope is dead. I act as the Force guides me, and accept the consequences. Such a mind. You would have been unstoppable as one of us. But it's too late. I cannot let you live. stand unique among all other men in the galaxy. Why must I be destroyed? There is more to you than the first son of the Emperor. That part I must save. Gone? Oh, he is... is... Now, Master Seal, while he's weak, take control and unmask the other children. I won't allow you to... I am the one who will not allow this, first son. I know who I am. I am Seo Bakan. I am a Jedi Master, and you have lost. It's done. The shield is broken. The children's last protection is gone. You're safe. Your nightmare is over. No. It isn't. He's still here. Locked away, but awake. Like Yoreshka. I never suspected. How many died because I never suspected? You can't forget all the good you've done as a Jedi despite having such darkness inside you. I still have a task to complete. The First Son will never be free of my control again. I'll see to it with the Council's help and forgiveness. We'll always be here if you need me, Master Seo. I see there is little more I can teach you. I should stay here to recover, away from... from everyone. And thank you for fighting when I could not. You should go. Corellia and your Republic are waiting. There has been much turbulence in the Force. It's... I'm glad to see you alive, Jedi. We all are. After the First Son's shield collapsed, we suddenly felt every child of the Emperor. Their darkness screams at us. They can never hide again. And yet we didn't sense the First Son's death. Strange. It wasn't necessary to kill him. Master Seo broke the shield and is returned to us. You overcame the willpower of the First Son of the Emperor? Incredible. If Sio's alive, we must bring him home to Tython immediately. Are you sure that's wise, Satil? Sio faces a lifetime of keeping the First Son contained, and coming to terms with himself. He needs you. He will have all the support we can offer. Children of the Emperor are fleeing. Imperials are leaderless. The forces in Capital Square are en route. The Republic still has a fight, but with the Guardian Holds retaken, we have an unshakable foothold. It will be years before the Empire can muster an assault like this again. And without the children of the Emperor, we have a chance to rebuild without fear. Unfortunately, it's been necessary to elect a new Supreme Chancellor. We must inform her of these developments. Support the battle on Corellia, then meet us on Coruscant.
Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I present the Barson Thor of the Jedi Order and Defender of the Rift Alliance. In my predecessor's place, I have invoked the Protocol of Special Requital, which ensures the Rift Alliance will be properly rewarded. Several billion credits for rebuilding, privileged access to new hyperspace routes, extra support for your armies, these are only the beginning. Thank you, Supreme Chancellor. We sought only to serve. The resources of the Core Worlds are stretched, but we will try to grant any additional requests you have. What would serve you and your warriors best? You wish to begin a colony? Of course, I'm sure there are plenty of worlds that would welcome you. Hey, hey, hey. What about the Vos Commandos and Gaten Co? Commandos will be honored. I hope for learning. New Jedi come to Vos. Mystics can teach. Gaden Co, the entire Republic stands ready to grant whatever request you desire. You have been generous. This is my duty. One force. Jedi know dark and light. Mystics know gray. The pivot between. We can show. The Rift Alliance no longer requires day-to-day -day oversight, but they'll need a spokesperson in the Senate. Someone invested with your authority. Why, Supreme Chancellor, it'll be an honor. Duan is a stabilizing influence. He would be ideal as our representative. This is a small part of the greater victory you engineered, yet you've asked nothing for yourself. Your devotion to the Light and your diplomatic talents make you perfect to fill the empty seat on the Jedi Council. To me, that seat will always belong to Sio Bakarn. Sio can never sit on the Council again. But he should know his position will be filled by someone utterly trustworthy. But this is only a small reward beside the great service you have done for all of us. We all suffered under the Emperor's onslaught, but we have not only survived, we have grown. The Republic is entering a new age, and in victory our values, justice, compassion, equality, grow even more important. At least let us boast a little, Jedi. Baron, shush. I want to record this. But in the end, this success belongs to all of us. May that spirit of cooperation continue. Thank you. May the Force be with you. Always.